Sorry, I didn't see you come in. I was jamming. Hello. Welcome back, or welcome to more of this goddamn game. I'm having fun. Hope you're having fun. Hi, welcome. Hello. Hi. What's the suit? Ooh. Ooh. Hour early because DSD. Yeah. Even when daylight savings makes me an hour early, I'm still late. <laughs> nice. I mean, I'm early, I'm early, but I'm later than I should be. Maybe someday. Well, you know. I, I, you know, speak, speaking. Ah, speaking of uh, 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 maybe starting streams on time in the future. Um, the exceptionally eagle-eyed amongst you. I can't imagine anyone noticed. But there's a couple boxes missing from the corner there. I'm moving! I'm going to stream from home again. Uh, I'm moving out of the office. It's a locked in, so I can... Not that I couldn't mention it before. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm, I, it's bittersweet. Because uh, I've been streaming from the office for a long time. Um, my Mario tree? My Mario Day tree? Yeah, I put Ouija on there. Um, but yeah, I, I've been streaming from the office for a long time. And so it's definitely... I'm moving to the top. Yeah, <laughs> That's, that'd be good. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm kind of like, I'm a little sad about it, but I think it's going to be a good change. Because, um, uh, 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 not to get into crazy detail about it, but like, Trogdor was a man. Was a man. I mean, girl. he was a dragon man. Or maybe he was just a dragon. But he was still Trogdor. Thank you all, Rosebud. Well, for the hammy. Um, but yeah, I, I basically, uh, it's going to burn it. Um, the, the, it, uh, there's a number of reasons for it, but like, I think one of the biggest ones for me is that like, I just haven't felt like I've been making progress on the things outside stream that I want to. And one of the ways I know I can be more dynamic with my work schedule is working from home. Um, so that's one of the big reasons for me. Um, because I've just, I've like, for the last while, Every time I feel like I'm starting to make progress on a thing, um, I'm just like, things come up and, and distractions happen and life happens. And that's not going to stop, but trying to grab some of the uh, some of the workday back. Because, I mean, it's only like a 15, 20 minute commute. It's not that bad. Uh, it used to be way worse. Um, but yeah. Remember when I fought, I fought Donjon? We get green soon back? I mean, maybe. I don't know. I'm still figuring out the, the home office setup. But, um... It should be good. Uh, Bath's been streaming from there for a while. Um, so the internet is better than when I first moved in the office, which was a different apartment. Um, we've moved since then. Um, but yeah. Uh, trying to think what else. Please bring back with the office. I mean, I might. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. I'm planning on that happening by the end of the month, give or take. Um, so I might end up adjusting stream schedule to kind of... I'm going to have to finish packing up stuff, moving it over there. Um, but, uh, yeah. Streamer lights are, oh, I'm gonna go full stream. I'm gonna get a, a glass display of all my gamer stuff and then get the RGB lighting. Yeah, I saw the Mario, the, the Mario Thousand Door release. Nice. Yeah. Obnoxious mind. I'm gonna go full streamer mode. Um, but yeah, no, I, I definitely didn't want to just, like, surprise people with that. Because I'm still gonna be here for the next couple weeks, at least. Um... But yeah, it, it, it's it's. I, I think I'm I, I I'm again. I'm gonna miss this space for many reasons. Um, but I am excited to feel like I'm excited to soup. Thank you. I couldn't find the words for it. My put RGB in my beard and then have chat be able to change the RGB. What crimes did Pubberry commit? It's not clear. We just know he's guilty of all of them. But um, but yeah. Uh, thank you, crowds. No. Um, what I miss? Oh, I, 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 I announced? I mean, it makes, it makes it seem like a bigger deal. But, um, I'm taking these eggs by hey, the thanks. whisk. Gonna beat them and add salt and well. pepper. Gonna put them in a skillet. I'm moving, moving out of the office. Spatula. Watch me fold it Thank up. you, Meister Jazz. Enough. It's golden yellow now. Omelette. It's hot, so I burn my thumb. Omelette. But I took a bite, yo. Thank you, Sterlux. For the old hammy. You smell I didn't think about it. I Listen, I'm mad about a lot of things. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I'm moving uh, out of the office by the end of the month ish um and uh gonna be streaming from home which uh hopefully works out because i mentioned that bath has been streaming from our 
new apartment. We moved into it a couple years ago. The reason I moved into this office in the first place is because we moved to a new... I started streaming from an apartment. We moved to a new apartment within that first year, and the internet was really bad there, and I couldn't stream. And that's when I moved into Dodger's office, and then she ended up moving out of the country and didn't need the space, and I was like, okay, I'll take it. And now I'm reaching a point where we moved again since then, and at our new apartment, the internet is not as good as it is here. I definitely am going to miss this upload speed, but, like, uh, it should be... It, not Knock on stuff. should be good enough. Fast able to stream. We have had internet issues at home, but also I've had internet issues at the office. So it's like, is that going to even make any difference? It's still just going to be what it is. Uh, we don't have fiber internet anywhere. I'm so mad. I wish. I wish. Anyway, um, it's just, a, yeah, it's great. It's good. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I'm excited for that. Why Why the move? Yeah, so I, I, I mentioned it's a number of reasons. Um, but one of the biggest ones for me is, is being able to, for example, on the days that I don't stream, so I stream usually four days a week, and then those other three days of the week are what I spend on everything else in my life. Everything from, like, things I need to do to exist as a human being, um, from, like, personal things to, like, business things, to uh, 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 anything I'm trying to work on outside of streams. And I've just found that over time, I've taken more time to just do nothing and i've learned that i need that to exist as a person i need time to just take it easy the problem is sometimes inspiration strikes sometimes it's like 10 p.m at night i'm at home and i'm like i really will i have that creative bug i want to make stuff and i can't because all my stuff's at the office um I, yeah grocery shopping stuff like that so uh it's 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 driven by stuff like that also like not paying on uh, uh not paying for rent for the office as well as expenses related to driving to the office and uh not even deal with the commute uh, which is way better than it used to be but still is a factor you know if i'm like today was meant to be a day off but i kind of want to work do i want to get my shit together and go to the office so you know again it is bittersweet for me i really have enjoyed this space i've enjoyed other people here and to be extremely clear like me and gerard are still a thousand percent good um, uh, there's no, no personal beef whatsoever. Um, but yeah, so gonna be someone possibly, I don't know, but yeah, but I just wanted to make sure I, I communicated that. So I didn't just turn on stream one day and be like, ta-da, background's different. And you're like, why? So will there be a moving up party? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, probably not. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, we're at least gonna probably finish this game here and then some, because I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm shooting to kind of get out of here by the end of the month. So we'll see how it goes. Can be part of the house? Yeah! Flo maybe floor streams can return. <laughs> People have every now and then brought that up. It's like, well... Yeah, maybe. Uh, can we keep Michael? Yeah, I'm gonna put him in my pocket. We'll be able to stream together. Um, In terms of, like, we're in the same space, yeah. In terms of... I mean, there's nothing stopping Bath from just joining me here for streams. We've done that before. It'll be easier. But yeah, thank you. I mean, it's not, it's not that big a deal. Uh, at least for me. But it's just like, you know, I've been in this office for a long time. So, but I think it's going to be a good change for me, for my work productivity, work-life balance, all the above, and hopefully uh, making Sound more stuff comes out of it because uh, I like making things and I want to make more things. And uh, I like working on stuff on stream, but I also get a lot of stuff done outside of stream. And uh, yeah, I made the decision that I want to be able to, and I don't have the capability right now to just like build a second work stream rig at home. So, makes most sense to me. Bam. We'll have a hard time streaming at the same time as Bath. Uh, I think we'll be okay. We're gonna have to play it by ear a little bit. I think it'll be okay. Our, our up should be able to handle it unless the ISP is being an ISP. So, yes, it will never work. But, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, if it means we don't stream at the same time, I'm sure we'll make it work. But, yeah. Anyway. How you doing? Let's play more of the video game. And let me get caught up on stuff. Uh, unrelated to such things. I also, yeah, I also really wanted to mention it because... Once things off that shelf start disappearing, I think it'll be more like, hey, what's going on? So, I'm gonna get that. Talk about it. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, also, yeah, bath times go late at night. So, we'll work it out. Um, but, 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 uh, yeah, no, in the original FF7, Cosmo Canyon's where a lot of stuff comes into focus. So, at least a lot of like, this, a lot of Sephiroth stuff doesn't make sense until way later. But this is like the first major lore dump in the original game to go. Hey, let's just take a step back and explain what's going on. Uh, thanks to old man Bugenhagen. So, yeah, we were talking a little bit in, in early on time chat that I am also of the opinion slash belief that with, I think Bugenhagen's going to explain the stuff from the original. 
and maybe he's gonna talk more about the whispers because uh what i i was not expecting them to come back so uh you yeah. know it was gonna need new house keys i know we're gonna i'm gonna have to do an irl stream to lows no commute is great yeah i mean i i went back to work from home because of covid um but obviously that was not under ideal circumstances nor was it for anyone uh and i definitely there are there are definitely perks to working from home but i think it being an affirmative move <laughs> for like the second time in my life like i don't dislike working from home um it's pros and cons like anything else but to be able to be like i am choosing <laughs> instead of like uh oh let me grab my computer uh oh see you later like i think it'll be good um thank you yeah 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 um do you catch them on vods yeah if you missed the last vod uh things are happening in this game my stuff is in there uh shooting pete i mean literally literally Probably will. Uh, what? What on earth is... Crowds is sending me Kurt Vonnegut quotes. Crowds, I'm streaming. Hi. Um, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. let me close this and that and over here. Uh, what? What? No, what? No, I don't... Give me, give me... Just give me this. There we go. Um. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also make a nice one. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. We got a new Chocobo. We did. I forgot their name. Mm. Um, hey, uh, uh, oh, there was one really just complete non sequitur thing. I wanted to mention before I get caught up. Um, yeah, I'm reserving judgment. I'm, I'm grumbly about it, but I'm reserving judgment. Um, uh, Fango. No, a pony. Fango was the Gongaga Chocobo. A pony. <laughs> it's like Apony. A pony is the Cosmo Canyon one. Yeah, a pony. We got a, we got a pony, chat. We got a po his name was Sid. Okay, all right. Okay. Um. Uh. I mentioned I think last stream that there was a a a a, a, a breaking news story in gaming of um uh Adult Swim games. All of their games listed on Steam are are being delisted. There was one developer who said that they were told by Warner Brothers Discovery that their game was going to get delisted. Um, and it was like, uh, is this all of them? Is it just this one game? And more and more developers have come out confirming that yes, their game is going to be delisted. So it seems to be all of them, but it gets even worse <laughs> because, or either maybe not worse, but more baffling. I was reading an article about it where they interviewed this developer uh, to get his take about it. And um, he was saying that because he owns the IP to his game, they're saying, yes, you can relist the game once it's taken down. Um, he said, can you just transfer me ownership? It takes three clicks. I sent you the link. And they said, no, it wouldn't be fair to the other developers and we don't have the resources to do that for everyone. And it's like, you're a, how many billion dollar, you can't, you can't put like three people onto a team to make this happen. That, that is such a bad excuse to say they don't have, they don't want to. That's the real answer. Um, and it sucks because even though the game can stay up once they re-up it, they lose all the wish lists, they lose all the, the current sales. Um, anyone that owns the game can still download it, presumably. Um, but uh, anyone that wish listed, all the reviews will disappear. They're basically starting from scratch in terms of building up. Even for a game that's 10 years old, that's still devastating. Um, they said that anyone that owns an old and new game, they can't compare achievements, like the weird edge case stuff that you wouldn't really think about. Um, but there's an extra bit in the article where I was like, what the fuck? They said, uh, Water Bros Discovery said that when, if they want, if they choose to re-upload the game to Steam, they need to strip all mentions of Adult Swim games from the game. The dev asked for clarification, and they confirmed that includes the credits. They said, remove Adult Swim games and the people from the actual people that helped make that game happen. This is like, like, you know the MBAs aren't all right when they actually are saying, we want you to remove the names of people who helped make this game happen in order to divest ourselves. What the actual, like, I, I was like, that can't, there's no fucking way. That is the most, that is the most baffling MBA decision I've ever seen. So I wanted to yell about that on my soapbox because that is the most asinine indefensible thing I've heard. Like, of, out of all of this story of delisting all of these games and fucking over all these people, to say we want you to remove the names of people that happen to work with Adult Swim Games and help get the game published is like, what the fuck? What the fuck? So not only is it bad for preservation, but you're actually just 
like spitting on people's hard work. So fuck Warner Bros. Discovery. That is just, it's insane. Is that legal? I don't know. Presumably it would depend on whatever contracts they had at the time. I couldn't speak to it. Uh, but don't take my word for it. Uh, it was from this Polygon article. Please don't take my word for it. Don't take anyone's word for it. Including the art. Well, you can probably trust the article. Um, but uh, let me let me find the actual... Um, uh, according to the developer, Warner Bros. Discovery informed him he is allowed, he's allowed to republish on Steam. Um, but doing so would erase all wishlist reviews, community guides, forum discussions, uh, comparing achievements and trading cards, etc. The other legal requirements for republishing the game myself is to remove any and all mention of adults of Adult Swim games, Molinari said. I asked for clarification, and he even wants the credit sequence altered to remove the names of the Adult Swim games team. I'm a huge supporter of games preservation, and this is a direct blow to pro properly crediting the people that worked on a game. Which is, uh, like, 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 that is, that is so fucking bad. <laughs> that is, I don't, I don't have words. I've never seen anything like that. I do not have words. So I wanted to yell about that before we had fun talking to uh, Grandpa, because I, 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 I don't, I don't see enough people yelling at the top of their lungs about this. It's bad enough the games are getting delisted, but that nugget of that, I was like, I reread it like 10 times, like, that can't be right. That can't be right. Uh, I, I, Removing a logo from a splash screen at the start also sucks. But I understand if they want to be like, we have no part in this publication of this game. But the, the credits is just like... It's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's fucked. It's bad. Anyway. So I, I want to reaffirm what I said last time, which is that I hope David Zasloff and the entire uh, board um, stub their pinky toes every time they're barefoot for the rest of their days. I want to I want to one up that. I hope they stub the two end toes, the pinky toe and and the toe next to it. I hope they stub both of those every time they're barefoot. Every time they get out of bed in the middle of the night for a late night snack, bam, both them toes, and they have to be like ah shit every time, every time in Minecraft. Um, anyway, I gotta I gotta play a video game uh, and stop being so mad about stuff. But hey, thanks for the bits. Also, the the chat fixed itself. I was testing a new chat. I was testing Slime 2, which I recommend any streamers out there look into. It seems very neat. Uh, it's Slime2.stream. It's short for Slime to Stream because it rhymes with Time to Stream. Um, and it lets you basically create... Well, developers have made things like chatbots and, and chat widgets. Uh, and you run it locally because this is run through Stream Elements. Uh, a lot of my stuff is run through Stream Labs. And this is like, hey, you're basically running a local browser source that everything's pulling from. So it seems like fewer points of failure. It's going straight to the Twitch API, not routing through something else. So it seems kind of neat, um, but th this is still working from now. And uh, I still like the aesthetic of this a lot, uh, but I might switch to that in the future, or at least I have it as a plan B in case this shoots, shits the bucket again, because I don't believe the developer of this, uh, Zaytri, is updating it anymore. Uh, at least they don't link to it on their website anymore. So it might just be Slime 2 in the future, but yeah. I, I like the idea of it too, uh, and and you can support the developers that are working on stuff on there. Um, there's a bunch of different chat widgets and stuff that are pay what you want, or a few of them are, are explicitly paid, uh, and I think that's also rad. So, yeah. Nobody touch new chat, I might break in. No, no, the coke! The coke explodey is gone. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me, we, we, I've already been streaming for almost half an hour. Let's get the, can I blame daylight saving time? I'm choosing to blame daylight saving time for any part of my brain that's weird today. Uh, yeah, no worries. Have a good rebirth. Anyone that's dipping, I appreciate you swinging by and saying hi. Hi. Yes. Oh, good. All right. <laughs> yeah, go go, go have some gold saucer. I, I had a lot of fun there. It, it, I, I, I'm really enjoying my time through this game. Uh, it's, been, it's been a very fun time. And uh, the gold saucer was a highlight of the original. And... Uh, I, I still am not over the cutscene when you first get to the gold saucer. They went really, really hard in a very weird way. Um, but yeah. After that, I'll never poop rain. I didn't say that. Have a good rebirth sounds awful. It does. Maybe I'm talking about Binding of Isaac. Maybe I'm talking about... You don't know. Everything's fine. Deal my blood. Yeah. Shoot. Jesus. I'm glad that I, I, I uh, later in that stream showed what he looked like in the original. I feel like every so often I really need to pull up a screenshot of the original when it matches with Rebirth just to be like, in case you weren't familiar, this is what they were working with when they decided to do this with it. 
Uh, it's great. Um, bungling, I would never bungle. What drink I got? I got a, um, uh, uh, hazelnut oat milk latte something. I don't remember. I've gotten to the habit of, um, I, I, I did a bad, which was I downloaded the, the app for a couple different places. That's the other thing that I'm like, if I stream from home, things get simplified. I can do more meals at home and, and simplify things that way. But I, I often grab stuff on the way to the office and sometimes I grab a Spucks. And so I downloaded their app and now I'm like, shit. Now I just hit a button and then it's ready when I get there. And I'm like, mm. now I don't even know what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> I've lost control of my life. Sounds okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like, I like hazelnut. So it's, it's fine. I always get a, a, a tall. I get a small because I'm like, I don't need that much. It's just... I don't- caffeine doesn't even affect me that strongly. I, it never has, but, uh, it, for one, confirmation bias, for two, it yummy, and for three, when they put a fuck ton of sugar in it, like they do at Starbucks, that affects me more than the caffeine does, so. Does that mean Bath will get less fries? Well... I will make special journeys out of the apartments to obtain fries for Bath. Bath deserves it. So I'm good. Spucks of the package food for Starflake, that's the one. It's sugar, yeah, it's- yeah, it's mostly the- yeah. Princess, some some pretty serious tonal whiplash at points. I really hate the way he also happened right for the dine fight. I've seen that expressed a lot. I I don't disagree. I I agree. My take is I think the impulse that the developers had of making Palmer more prominent at that point in the story. Palmer comes into play. I mean, he's like one of the dudes of the boardroom early on in the game in the original as well as in, in Rebirth Remake. Um, but he kind of disappears until he sort of pops up later in an area we haven't gotten to yet. So like, I think it's okay that they sort of are like bringing him into play more, making him more of a known figure, giving him more of a connection to the gang. Um, and I don't even mind the sort of weird buggy chase sequence that happened after that. I don't even necessarily mind there being a boss fight. It's just that Palmer's a very goofy, weird character and they really undercut the tension of the Dine fight with a very, very silly thing that went on for way longer. Even if it was a five second gag, it would have been weird. Um, so it's like, I don't, I, I definitely see what they were going for, but I don't think it was successful. I kind of wish that Dine got his own moment. I mean, I also think it's an interesting change because they made it where Shinra's like swarming on them at the end of their fight. And then Dine kind of sacrifices himself and has like a moment of redemption. And that is not how it happened in the original game. In the original game, he goes, I have all this blood on my hands. What do you mean is Marlene is alive? Goodbye. And he jumps off a cliff. It's way darker. <laughs> so I, I don't mind that change. Um, but yeah, undercutting it with the stuff with, uh, with Palmer, uh, it just, it like, Barrett is going through a lot there, and when it's like, oh, silly frog robot time, it's just like, you could have given them the full moment, and then gone, bullets, oh no, hey, we got, Barrett, we gotta get out of here, look, the buggy, hey, let's go. They could have just cut out the entire bit with, with the frog robot, and gone straight to the buggy chase, and I think that would have still maintained that sort of emotional stakes without undercutting it. Um... So I definitely see where, where people chat. I I disagree with, with the, the message I've seen of like, it feels intentionally disrespectful. I don't think it's disrespectful to Dine and Barrett. I just think they sort of bungled the landing of what they meant to do. Like maybe it came out sillier than they meant for it to be. I don't, obviously I don't know. Um, I don't think they intend, because the, the Dine sequences with Barrett are very well done. They're very emotional and heartfelt and they did what they needed to do. Uh, they didn't cheapen that scene even though they changed the context of Dine's death. Um, in fact, maybe they reinforced it. I don't know. But uh, they did a good job with that. So if if all of that felt like it was silly and slapstick, I'd be like, yeah, that's disrespectful to Barrett's backstory to Dine. That's bad. It just feels like they tried to bring in some levity and they kind of fucked it up real bad. So I don't, I don't think that it was intentionally trying to fuck with it. I think they tried to kind of play with the tone and... Once you're late in development and have an entire boss fight, that's a tough thing to cut if they had that thought of like, this isn't really, oh well, what are we gonna do? We put 80,000 things in this game. So, what happened last stream? I will brief recap right after I get caught up on alerts, but uh, everything's fine, everything's good here. So, yeah, I don't think it was done with Malice. That's that's kind of my takeaway, is that kind of language I, I, I push back on, but 
I prefer for him falling off the cliff intentionally, but otherwise I think the scene worked really well. This was wasn't followed by Goofy Frog. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I need more time to think if I prefer one to the other. I just know it was like genuinely kind of shocking. Even though he's like a silly Roblox man and he's like, Bah! And falls off a cliff. It's still, you're like, oh, like, damn. N that's gonna fuck up Barrett even more. <laughs> like, it was, Barrett was going through it before and now this is, he didn't need this. And like, I think the way that he did in Rebirth maintain some of that without the like absolute gut punch of it the fact that he leaves the photo of marlene with dine is like oh that's that hurts man so yeah he chooses yes well in this he sort of chooses to sacrifice himself but it's like these external pressures that bring him to make that choice so it's, it's definitely different but again in the same way that in the original game when you go to the gold saucer and dine shoots up the, the, the lobby of the battle arena, it's fucking horrific, despite being on the PS1, and they definitely toned that down in this one, and I respect the decision to do so. With this aesthetic, with these graphics, shit hits different, so being like, we got a couple guys in the back room, and they're under tarps, sells what it needs to fucking sell. They didn't shy away from, he just killed a bunch of people. Um, it's just different than walking to a room and just seeing dead bodies everywhere, which is like, oh shit. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty fucking dark in the original. And they said Dio with his MIDI. So, yeah. No. Stay guilty, that was rough, and I'll get the choice. Yeah! Not everybody gets closure. It, it's, it's rough. It's rough, and then again, the tonal whiplash doesn't really give you the space to fully explore that before it's like, well, things are happening. But, yeah. It, it's uh, uh I, I remember I remember being very surprised because playing through the original game I felt like I know what I need to know about Barrett he hates the planet he's got a gun for an arm uh or he doesn't hate the planet he hates Shinra for what they're doing to the planet he's got a gun for an arm he's part of Avalanche or he's the leader of Avalanche whatever and he's invested in this journey because he wants to stop Sephiroth from blowing up the planet he hates Shinra got it I didn't expect them to actually go in depth about like here's his backstory, here's what all this happened. I mean, it makes sense. A lot of RPGs have a similar structure where you meet a guy and then later you get the flashbacks and see what their jam is about. But I just didn't expect them. To, I didn't expect what how it kind of comes about. And having um, what's her name, Scarlet, just like shooting his hand as he's holding Dynam. Like that is like watching that in the original is like how they can't do that. They can't do that in Rebirth, can they? And they did. <laughs> They're just like shooting the fuck out of his hand as he goes. It's like, yeah, okay, all right, sure, why not? Barry hates the planet. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Um, famous planet hater Barrett. He loves styrofoam cups and straws. Hey, cloud. And he's just got like a bunch of one-use plastics. Look what I found in the golden gold. I almost said golden corral. The gold, the gold saucer. Look what I found. Uh, anyway, I should play the video game. Uh, Toaster Posey, thanks for 41 months in a tier two. Happy Mario. I meant to, before that, in between streams, there was stuff from Nightworm, Grumpy Sass, Bacon Cheese Buger, and Wicked the Kid. Thanks for that. Toaster Posey, thank you for that. Pixel, Lilypad, thanks for two years. Waha. Waha des yo. I do like this song, but not while I'm, not while I'm trying to talk about things. There you go. I am the biggest threat. I mean, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. I am holding plastic <laughs> right now. Uh, Ipe, thanks for 37 months. I mean, at least, at least I have a reasonable water bottle, right? I mean, that's, that's... I did used to buy a lot more bo water bottles. Famous planet hater B Barrett Wallace's Golden Crow, you okay? I, I, I blame Daylight Saving Time. I blame it. In my brain. Um, ba, 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 ba. It bit. Thanks for 37 months. Cookie Dictator. Thanks for 69 bits. Wicked the Kid. Thanks for 26 months. I'm like three vods behind because these streams are an entire working day long. But have fun. You can watch them back on two times speed if that helps. I know these are much longer streams than I normally do. But uh, as I've explained in these streams, I, I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a great time. But I know for a fact that there's a lot of people who don't want to watch these streams for many reasons. Whether they don't care or they want to play it themselves and no one spoilers, whatever. Um, and so I, I don't want this game to be the only thing I play all month. Case in point, there were comments on the Triforce Hunt and Zooter VOD that were like, yay, something I can watch. So I, I'm not sprinting through the game, but I'm like, if longer streams help me get helps me get through it. It also has been kind of working out where like 
like last stream or stream before was like I did a chapter. It's kind of nice to be like, we did chapter eight today. Um, so making good progress. Feels good. You caught up. Nice. Uh, thanks for the hydrate. Happy catch these on YouTube. Thank you. Where I work, what time is it? This is a crime. It needs to end. I, I don't. We had a bill that passed the house and needed to go to Congress. I forget. There was a bill that was getting momentum to get rid. I remember it was they passed the bill that was like we're ending daylight saving time, but they disagreed over should it be permanent daylight saving or permanent daylight saving off and they couldn't agree and it's been stalled for years. I think that's what happened. It was like, it's like, hey, what? D flip a coin, man. I don't care. Just pick one. <laughs> like, whichever you pick, some people will be mad. They'll be like, I wish we had an extra hour at night, or I wish it wasn't so dark in the morning, or, or whatever the fuck. It, it, that's how the sun goes. It's just pick one. I don't care. <laughs> I just want, I just, it's the flipping back and forth that like literally kills people every year. It's like, it's, it's, there's like a spike in like heart attacks and shit every time the clocks change. It's like actually bad. Anyway. Invader Zerma, thanks for soup. A live stream of the live stream. And Tifa's in there waving. Smash, thanks for 100 bits. Happy Mario Day, everyone. I did think about streaming a Mario game instead of more of this, but I legit just want to play more of this. Uh, there were some announcements today. The one thing on our minds, why are Dr. Mario for the Game Boy and Mario Golf and Mario Tennis for the Game Boy Color coming to NSO while Mario Land 1 still isn't on the service? Thank you. I don't know. Mario Land 1... Mario Land 1 has the best Mario song of all time. The Muda Kingdom theme. This is the best song from any Mario game. And I will not take any... No one's allowed to say this song's better. It's baffling to me they haven't reused this theme in a modern Mario game. The, X the US tried no at the last things in 74. People hated it during winter, it got reverted. We can't have nice things. Reminds me of Pokemon Pinball. Them GB jams. Also, it's Tatanga, who's a cool villain, and sucked in Show Up in Galaxy. Yeah, it would have been a good place for him to show up in Galaxy. No one wants to tackle remaking this masterpiece. It's as intimidating as remaking, uh, like, One-Winged Angel for this or something. It's like, oh my, what do I do? It's like, oh, the weight! The weight! Anyway. But up, up. I'm just gonna keep this running, man. It makes me happy. You can't be mad when the Muda Kingdom theme from Mario Land 1 is playing. So give us give the give this to us, Nintendo. Um, but yeah, they they announced that they're making a new Mario movie, which shouldn't surprise anyone. I saw someone on Twitter was like, in honor of Mario Day, I've released my cut of the Mario movie that just replaces all the licensed music with music from the original soundtrack. The famous example that I saw reposted a million times was the um, when they're driving into the Kong Kingdom. And they replaced it with Welcome to the Jungle. Not even, no, it, was, it, was, it, was, it wasn't like Take On Me. It wasn't even Welcome to the Jungle, which would have made sense. Um, but there was a song from the the soundtrack that perfectly matched. It had like the Donkey Kong theme in it, Donkey Kong Country and stuff. Um, and uh, uh, they replaced it with licensed music. Take On Me took me out. It took me out. Um, it's like, if it was Welcome to the Jungle, then like maybe you, it's like about the jungle, sure, whatever. But it's like, take why, why? And there was a perfect song that had Mario music. I didn't realize that because I never listened to the original soundtrack from the movie there are apparently multiple songs that match up with parts of the movie that have licensed music instead so like there's a sequence where they are playing like Beastie Boys and there's a part of original soundtrack that has Mario music in it and it's orchestrated and it's like they 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 made the whole movie and then gutted it and replaced it with licensed music and it's like now I'm more mad than I thought I was I, I so that sucks but but I'm like Maybe because the movie made a bajillion dollars, the sequel can actually just use Mario music instead of relying on licensed music to keep the parents awake so they can point at the screen and go, I know what that is. I don't know. I'm, I have zero expect- I, I have zero hope. I assume that the sequel and any more other Mario movies they make will continue to use licensed music. That is my baseline, and I'm happy to be proven wrong. Universal Studio. I am, would love nothing more than to be proven wrong, but uh, yeah, I uh, 
I think it's just gonna be more. It makes me sad. Cause it's good. It's just, it's like th th there's a very very there's a clip from the very end of the movie where they're like Yahoo and they're running around and. I didn't even remember. They said in the video, they're like, this was Mr. Blue Sky. And I'm like, they ended the movie with Mr. Blue Sky? I don't remember that. But the, the orchestrated version, it's like playing like Mario music. And it's like, oh, I know what that is. It's fun. And it's got like some other motifs woven in. It's done with an orchestra. It's like, great. That's what a Mario movie soundtrack kind of is. Is just Mario music, but with an orchestra. And other stuff brought in. It's like, we couldn't have that. We couldn't have had that. Yeah, the Mushroom Kingdom movie from Mario RPG. They spent money on orchestra soundtrack, yeah. I mean, I don't know if it was recorded with a real orchestra. It might have been, like, digital, but I don't know. Maybe they made Luigi Mansion, yeah. I mean, at this point, it seems like it might happen. Anyway, um, the music, yeah, that's what I thought. The Mushroom Kingdom music! Uh, bu 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 It's so good. Rosebud Wolf, thank you for the hammy. I'm ready for space stories with Grandpa. Yeah, let's get to it. Thank you so much. Trumpet Wings, thanks for 69 bits. This is not Super Mario. Thank you for the not soup, though. Oh, and then Trumpet Wings said one-on-one. Well, on one. Oops. Thank you for the soup. I That's fine. Maestro Jazz, thanks for 17 months. Barotate, waiting for the Final Fantasy to be done. Hope you've been having fun. Barotate. It needs a few more minutes. And then it's going to be great. Beater Storlax, thanks for the old hammy. Have some bits funny, streamer man. I thank you for it. Uh, Smashman, thanks for the 96 bits. We all know Yoshi's going to be in it because of his teaser at the end of the last movie. He had an awful realization. Will he only say Yoshi and do baby talk like in the games? Or will he talk normally? What celebrity will voice him? Hey, don't fall asleep, PlayStation. Um, I'm horrified by the potential of what Nintendo Illumination will go with. Here's what they're going to do. Here's my prediction. Yoshi's going to show up and go, Yoshi! In like his fun little voice. And they're going to be like, oh my god, what's this talking dinosaur? And he's going to go, uh, 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 oh, hey guys, it's me, Seth Rogen, or whatever celebrity they have. And then he's going to talk normally for the entire game, or uh, movie. Um, they're going to they're gonna do the one bit, and then he's going to, uh, am I going to eat a head if I'm right? Yeah, I'll eat, I'll eat a Yoshi egg if I'm right. Um, it, it's, I, I, I was so convinced by my f fan theory, my prediction, for anyone that forgot or wasn't around, I predicted when they announced the Mario movie and they said Charles Martinet was going to have a cameo, I thought they were going to walk by a Toad store in, like, the end of the movie after their famous heroes, and there was going to be a game or a show or a movie, something that's a depiction of Mario within the world of the movie, and then that guy is voiced by Charles Martinet. Um... I, I prefer what they ended up doing, which was very cute, and having Charles Martinet be their dad. Uh, but I was like, it, to me, that's the most, like, Illumination Studios, just like, how do we make it a little gag that some people will point at the screen and everyone else will be like, huh, I don't get it. Um, but it's gone, you didn't miss it. Kevin Hart will be Yoshi, yes. Yes, and. Yeah, he had a, had a handful of small cameos, which is good. But up, up, up. Um, thank you for that. Uh, Mystery Who, thanks for 100 bits. I missed like three streams of this. I'm sure I've missed nothing. Yeah. I'll get you caught up in a sec. Dave, thanks for 54 months. Holy hell, that's a lot of months and years and such. I hope you enjoy your uh, key card. The beep. Or the card key, which is. Bellatro. Smash Man, thanks for 100 bits. Talking about fries. Reminds me how my sister would steal fries. Where do we get fast food? That is the, the way. Um, I used to make a face similar to whenever the AVG, AVGN got mad, and they call it the fry face. Has Bath ever stolen fries from you without asking? No. Bath has never stolen fries from me because I've never had fries. What I do is I obtain fries that are for Bath, and it's up to Bath whether or not they want them. It doesn't matter if I'm eating them. If I'm eating them, I'm, I'm depriving Bath of future fry. Any fries in the presence of Bath are theirs. That is, the, that is correct. Can't get fries stolen if you never had them to begin with. <laughs> That's exactly right. So I have had, I've had fries, sure. When, when Bath deems it worthy of me to have a fry. John Leguizamo is Yoshi. It would be fun to have John Leguizamo in another Mario movie. I don't know how I feel about him being Yoshi, <laughs> but that could be something. I, 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 you know what I want? I want a future Nintendo Direct 
where, where, where Miyamoto is like, hi, I'm here with Chris-san, and we're gonna talk about the Mario movie. Here's, like, the name of the movie, and here's, like, the poster or something. We're gonna reveal some more of the cast. Here's the care. who's- here's who's gonna be Yoshi. Here's who's gonna be Diddy Kong. Here's who's gonna be Daisy. And it's every- and I want- I want to, like, recapture the magic of that day that we all shared as citizens of this planet. Where we just got to all stare and scream at the same thing. We- we were united in one moment. And I want that again. I want that again. It was fun. Anyway, um... Goodbye, Muda Kingdom. What a great day. I want Wario to show up. Yeah. Wario and Waluigi. Get all the Koopa kids in there. Just- just go ham. Just make it a mess. A cultural reset. Anyway, uh, let me- let's, let's get back- oh, okay, so- so real quick, um... Last time... We went to Gongaga. We went to Gongaga, and there was a shutdown reactor in there. We show up, there's another weapon. And it's like, brah. It eats Tifa, and then Tifa is sent on a magical mystery tour under the planet through the live stream, where she sees that there are good guy whispers and bad guy whispers, and they're fighting? And then she relays that to the crew after the fish pops back up and, and releases her, and, and they're like, huh? And they're like, who's winning? And she's like, we're winning. So, so I guess the good guy whispers, and I don't know who we fought in Remake, but... She got taken on a magic school bus trip. Yeah, I don't- I, 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 She said that we were winning, but it looked like the evil whispers were taking over a lot of the live stream, And she just got a couple opportunities to, as a fish, be like, bruh, and chase them off, so... I, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Pearl or opal weapon? Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, also, yeah, Cloud did try to kill her a little bit. Well, I mean, so, yeah, Cloud shows up, and then Sephiroth's like, Hey, bud, go ham. And he just starts killing a bunch of soldiers, and, uh, being quite aggressive when he doesn't need to be. And Tifa's like, Cloud, please don't, what are you, that's, that's a lot. As someone who has punched dudes in half, I think you need to calm down. Um, and then he's like, wah! And Sephiroth's like, that's not Tifa. She doesn't have the scar. And Tifa's like, I showed you- look, I will show you again, however many times I need to. And he's like, LIES! And then he slashed, but it looked like she jumped off because she didn't get cut. But it also looked like she got knocked back, so I don't really know. The remake whispers are gray and these are white and black. Okay. I thought that they were gray. So, yeah, are there- are there three factions? Okay. I guess we'll find out. So, I mean, if you know, don't tell me. But... Either there's three or more factions of Whispers, or what we did in Remake m made made the Whispers mad at each other. They're like, you should have stopped that. No, you should have stopped that from happening. I don't know. Maybe they split up. That's also infuriating potential. Because <laughs> the Whispers felt like a surrogate for the developers, or or a surrogate for the fan community of this game. Whatever it was, the whispers were like a physical manifestation of it has to be the same as the original. And the idea that they're fighting each other now is so fucking weird. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. Again, we're, we've made it to Cosmo Canyon. So we got through Gongaga, we made it to Cosmo Canyon, we flagged down Sid Highwind, who is a- is- is... a sassy, sexy man. And I don't- I'm sure it'll be fine. I just don't like how pretty he is. He's too- there's too much life in his eyes. And that's not the Sid that I came to love in the original game, but I, I, there's plenty of time for him to get depressed before the third game comes out. Um, he showed up, he flew us in his little plane, um, uh, his fun little pink plane. He flew us over to Cosmo Canyon, dropped us off, he had to continue on foot, and we've now made it to Cosmo Canyon, which is where Red 13 is from. Um, which someone, I think at the gate, referred to him as Nanaki. So maybe I could talk about that soon. Um, and also Red 13 spoke with his real voice? He sounds like a, a Sonic character. Um, that's not even talking about the the goblin who's an actual Sonic character. Um, uh, Sid High Cheekbones, that's his name. Uh, and Red ran up ahead of us. He's gonna go say to Grandpa, and Grandpa's gonna give us story time, because in the original game, Grandpa, old man, Bugenhagen, uh, is the lore dump, who's like, here's everything that has happened. Anyway, I've been preambling for way too fucking long. Let's get back in the game. Uh, Mighty Q, thanks for 46 months. Remember to be patient, take care of yourselves. Thank you. Same to you. He sounds like Sora. He does a bit. I'm not really sure what all is happening. And I never know. 
So, put me back in. How come I'm still on time today? Because daylight saving? Gz. Also, yeah, I mentioned before that the Cosmo Canyon theme... Because I, I, having never played FF7 before, there are a lot of songs from this that I knew. Uh, just like, obviously, One Winged Angel, the battle theme. Some of the boss battle themes as well. Um, but I, I don't think I'd ever heard Cosmo Canyon before I got here. And I was like, this is so fucked good. It's so good. Did I keep up with knowing the original? But nope. It's been kind of close to the original. So far, the stuff that's been different has largely been superfluous. It's been like... Glenn showing up to taunt Rufus, and it's like, uh, huh? With like minor changes like Yuffie showing up earlier, and the other girl is fine. But that doesn't really change too much, so... Last stream was the first big departure. Having Tifa knocked into the live stream that early, and yeah, so... Anyway! Let's get back into the video game. We're climbing Cosmo Canyon. Well, grab that. Two legs, nothing to it. Uh, maybe later. I do like the piano, but I did, <laughs> I did get a copyright claim on a previous VOD when I was in Costa del Sol because I played Tifa's theme too well. And so Nobu Uematsu was activated and said, I made this. And I was like, oh, <laughs> maybe I don't play the music. Maybe I don't play the piano music then. Oh. Where's that choir? Oh. Oh, that's nice. Anyway. I did. Uh, where, where, how do I, how do I get, how do I get out of here? Do I just go back the way I came in? Is this a dead end? I guess so. Um. <coughs> Advent Children? That's Advent Children? What the choir was singing? Is this is this a lore? Is this lore? Yeah, bum bum. Two cuts to 14, they're very important. Also, very copyrighted square music. You gotta love it. Hey, buddy. Um, wait, that's the way we came in. This is where we're going. Didn't... Didn't we see... Red run that way? Did he not? Am I supposed to go this way? This is definitely not where you go in the original. But there is a fun thing here. Hey, Venus. Hey for the dollar we do. I'm... There is a scene in the original that takes place here that I am fully expecting them to remake for Rebirth, and I'm very excited. It's called The Promised Land, the movie's opening theme. Gosh. Is this where these people are from? What people? Whose people? When? Advent children? Or something? Something else. Opposite of Chadley, left of the inn. Gotcha. I'm afraid I can't let you pass. Okay. Yeah, the main scenario is called Welcome Back, Nanaki. So, you know. The planet cult people. We have been seeing them throughout the game, too. Each town kind of has a priest guy talking about the planet. Uh, here. Yeah. There you go. Big sign. Perfect. Weapons. Tiger Lily armaments. Hello. No visit to Cosmo Canyon's complete without picking up one of the replicas sold here. Just so we're clear, I only sell to customers I deem worthy. Uh, am I worthy? Yes. Don't have anything new, though. Better Bye. Watch how you wield those things now. So, so people mentioned that if you miss stuff, they show up. I think the game itself has said, if you miss stuff, they show up at later shops. What does that mean? In ter like, for example, there was a weapon underneath Gongaga Village. There's a little purple chest. If I skipped that and then went to Cosmo Canyon, would that weapon be here? Or is that like, well, that's in the open world, so that's still there? Yeah, so if I've so it doesn't mean everything you've missed is here. It just means like if it was in a main story dungeon or something. If you miss the weapon chest, you'll find the next area shop. It would be at the shop. What would happen if you then went back? Would that chest still be there? Would it be open? Is this Chrono Trigger? Can I time heist multiple weapons? That chest turned into something else. 
Is there a strat? I mean, it must not be that good. Otherwise, like, is the strategy skip the chests and then go back and get their stuff? That is strange. Hello. They're in the life stream. Hello. Um. Yeah. All right. Do you still have a path next to you? No. Please come again. The materia vendor in the original game has a little. Like, he has like a materia sitting next to him behind an area you can't get to. And it's later, much later in the game you can get it. And I've always, it's such a pet peeve of mine, and specifically in RPGs. It weirdly doesn't bother me as much in other genres. It does bother me though. But in RPG, you go to like a town and there's like a chest up on a ledge and you can't get there until like 30 hours into the game. I'm like, ah! And it's never like worth the anticipation. It's like, oh, it's just a thing. But it's like, finally, God, it's like scratching an itch that you just couldn't reach. Books, books. The history of Some weapons from side quests don't get shots. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense if that's the case. Uh, anyway, we'll get it. Our great mother's memories will always be. Weapon cost can't equate that item's chest value. Right, it has to be something not as valuable. It can't be something rare. So it's probably just like either materials or gill or something. That's interesting though. I don't dislike. The mechanic. Um, hi. I'm sorry, but the elevator is currently undergoing maintenance. I don't mind that. Because I get to learn the lay of the land on my first time here, and then later, I can just take a fast trip up to the top. If I so choose. Hi. You find you could have gotten to Beach Dump? <laughs> that's, that's the worst. So, like, I, I, di I could have gotten it earlier. Chimerical creatures, stranger than fiction. Oh boy. <laughs> Sir? Well, see you again Are you okay? Tonics, liniments, filters. We have everything you need to cure what ails you. Do you have what you need to cure what ails you? Did you find everything you were looking for? Hold up. <laughs> Only the best classic canyon medicines. <laughs> Hope to see you again sometime. What what were they doing in the recording booth? Like, okay, so you're you're a shop vendor, right? You're also dying. <laughs> Go. Come on, take a look around. Look around you. Uh, eh, cool. Thank you so much. That cough sounds bad. That's a good cough. That's realistic. Least favorite version of that is in Pokemon Black and White. There's a season mechanic that changes every real world month. Their items you can only get in certain seasons, so you have to wait actual months to come back and get it? I can't imagine going, oh, look, there's a cool thing. I'm going to quit and save the game because i got to stop. I'll pick it up next time. Boot up the game the next day. Hey, it's spring now. That item is no longer accessible. Jesus. Oh, yeah, you could just change the date, right? Change the spawn rates. I remember hearing about the butterfly. born and raised here. In this canyon. Anyway. I was to become a watcher of the veil like those before me until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. No, don't go. I appreciate all that you've done for me. No. Thank you. No, stay. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean... I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig. Is that you, my boy? Oh, God. <laughs> Coming! Oh. He's just a little kid. He's just a little guy. So, was that goodbye? Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. What the is real going question on? Is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on. That's the scene, VA. Hell yeah. Get that materia. As for me. Ah, that will do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then. We can see the sights. Good thing we're gonna date him like oh. Yeah, 
Uh, yeah, no, you, uh, you, you'll learn more about Red Thirteen. <laughs> Soon I will return to your bosom. Learn well. Bosom. It means titty. Kane and Bill fucking boots. This is chat when I. Good chat. Good talk, buddy. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Feel the energy all around you. It rides the winds across our planet. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. The cards may serve as a conduit for the very wisdom of the planet. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Oh. There he goes. Oh! Dog be riding the elevator. And she will speak to us. The bond between us. Oh, this is probably the elevator. From beneath. These guys are like astrology and yeah, I mean they definitely seemed like they were really in tune with nature in the original. This feels a little bit more culty. Just the fact that it's like really populated makes it feel more different. The original felt more of like slightly isolated. Planetology's the future. Marco's old news. I say we replace the stuff with wind power. Yeah, down with Shinra. We'd be so much better off. It feels kind of touristy. Yeah, there, it feels like a tourist trap, which changes the vibe. Astrology is an actual magic job. That's neat. A lot of folks downplay the planet's peril, but if they saw the weapons up close like we did, they'd have no choice but to acknowledge how bad it really is. Folks around here, though, they get it. They want what's best for our planet. You can see it in their eyes. Wonder if it ain't too late to recruit them to Avalanche. There may be. Yeah, I don't remember planetology in the original being a thing. Not a named thing like this. This variety of That's okay. Ah, uh, the music. So good. Since time in the morning, Pardon. These sacred lands have been rich in spiritual energy to pass through the veil. Yeah, okay. My precious material, where are you? No need to be shy, come out. Yuffie's gonna take you home. My precious material, where are you? No need to be shy, come out. Yuffie's gonna take you home. My precious material, okay. where are you? I was like, what if I keep doing it and then she does the whole song? It's the Chocobo theme! Didn't rhyme though. Room to improve. Hey, Snaps. <laughs> Fancy running into you here. Say, how about I get a shot of you giving thanks to the planet? Thanks to the planet. Hey, get out of the photo! I'm taking a picture! The beauty of this place is unreal. Pictures can't do it justice. Fuzzy pickles. Wonders such as these have to be experienced in person. I want to believe I can capture this That's magic. not the whole song? I'm looking I for meant... spots with a spiritual feel, if you know any. That's like the first measure. Like, ba ba da 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 ba 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 da ba 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 da ba 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 the, the the second part so expansive and enthralling which right you know it does, it does, it's not like a key change but it, whatever battle fanfare so they've all done it individually do it all together uh yeah up we go beep boop boop Still working on that ostrich theme? Hell yeah. Ostriches are very cool and they're big. They got big old feet and a long, long neck. Dude. 
do 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 the planet all just makes sense as a deepened part of the world building so people would have figured out how Mako and the livestream works so we'll naturally get very spiritual about it I definitely think it makes sense and I'm not saying I dislike this just that the vibe that the original gave me is distinctly different than the Cosmo Canyon vibe here, where it's like a like a bustling town with a inn and people hanging out playing cards. Just feels a little different. Ah, not so fast. Sorry, but visitors aren't allowed in here. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. Oh, let me in. I want all your valuables. Ah, not so fast. Sorry, but visitors aren't allowed in here. You see. This is where we keep all our valuables. Fine, then. Keep your secrets. Nanaki! Nanaki! Oh. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, yep. Space. The last place untouched by capitalism. Yay. 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 Hi, you keep valuables in here? Only those who have the key, as well as fellow Bugenhagen's permission, are allowed inside. It makes sense to put some of this. I'm assuming I know what's in there, and it makes sense to put those doors up here instead of if halfway down. Anything to fear. It is not our fellow man, nor any creature big or small. Let me throw. With whom we share our home. It is that which comes from beyond the confines of this world. I just that pick up everything that isn't bolted down. I love nature. We which may attempt to claim See ya. consume the planet. Oh, there he is! Oh, these are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after my monkey. Yeah, he's flying. Alright. My Good. name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh, 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 oh. Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. You hate Red 13 being baby? That's a secret. But where are my manners? He was always baby. Please, come in and have a look around. You just didn't know it. <laughs> I don't remember his difference in the way he speaks being so pronounced in the original, but obviously it was it was text. They're selling the idea that like he is uh, he is a kid in terms of his species, but he is forty eight years old. <laughs> Just... But his species lives a long time. So yeah. Anakin never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. Old man voice is much better than the years. Oh, I agree. I love his old man voice. Oh. <laughs> Have my devices piqued your curiosity? They are essential to my studies of the planet. I love Bugenhagen. <laughs> He's such a weird old dude in the original, and they just went to a thousand on him. Because in the original, he just kind of like floats around, and it's just it's silly. He gives a PowerPoint presentation about the planet, and he just kind of goes, whoop, over here is a thing. Boop, over here is another. And they just were like, yep, that's who he is. Nanaki never had much exposure to the outside world. Red went from Batman to Simba. With you have to Young Simba. Shimba. Pa Whoa, Wait, sorry. Oh, I'm supposed to go look at all the things. I never thought you could become even more enchanting. And yet, 
It's like you're singing to me of the planet's wisdom. Don't you worry, my dear. I'll find a way to bring out the cold death. Uh-huh. What do you got here? That records fluctuations in various energies. I must ask that you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. Personally, I'm delighted by the twist. I love the idea that this teenager wanted to be taken seriously, so he pretended to be this wise adult. Like, it's such a kid thing to do. Hey, it's like, I wanted you to take me seriously, so I talked like this. Like, bang, bang. Yeah. Books, huh? What are you, a nerd? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Those devices are testing the pull of gravity. Uh huh. What's this? That's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. He just said, oops, I haven't cleaned it, but that's science. That's, that's intentional. Upstairs? Sitting here? Wait, the rocks. The rocks. They're minerals. Well, that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance. It is, in fact, a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. Merhol. Here we seek to gather the wisdom of the planet. Don't you worry, my dear. I'll find a way to bring out the mm. of your beauty. Books. A thing? Manifestation of the planet's mercy? Working here is an incredible honor. Mayor. Oh. Do 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 oh, ho, ho. They are essential to my studies of the planet. Bugantona. Let's blow it away. There, there you go. There he goes. Oh, whoa. <laughs> do you recognize that little scamp? I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. Oh my god. Baby Nanaki looks the same. Looks the same. He's riding his Roomba. Yeah, he is. Uh huh. Uh huh. This reminds me of when I played Escape Simulator with Bath and Nicole and Ansta, and they were just fucking with the grandfather clocks, pendulum things. He was smaller. Oh. Uh huh. And then, uh huh. And, uh, wait, what do you got here? That is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. Why is there a hologram? Hmm, though no, I suspect it can't detect much now. Maybe it's just a very fancy photograph. <laughs> Let's not be hasty. I'll show you that room later. Okay, all right. I just want to make sure. It's such a smooth jam version of this. A balloon, huh? That right nice. there hey, tornado? is a type of a current generator. It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. I mean, I saw some in the distance, but I didn't really explore Cosmic Canyon. Oh, careful down the stairs! Oh, he's, fine. he's using one of them chairs that sometimes old people got. Go down the stairs. Um, just got back from my spring trip to Ireland. They use game design and parts of the path to the cliffs of Moher. I can show if I get a permit. I probably didn't pronounce that right. But yeah. I want Bugenhagen's house. Bugenhagen's got a sweet house. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Beautiful. 
Yeah, game design. That's right. Confirmed. Ireland has game design. Thank you, Tornado. <laughs> Parkour! Yeah, that means you can mantle that. Hold up and maybe jump. Oh, 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 yeah, oh my god. Oh. How do you even use any of those, man? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, hell yeah. Sup? The lights we observe here have traveled to us from the far reaches of time and space. To gaze at the stars is to gaze into their past, what they once were, eons ago. Can't say I'm all that interested in the future, but that's just how we're wired. Humans can't help but fixate on the past, on what used to be. I'm sure they can climb fine. It's not about whether or not they can climb, it's about whether or not they know where to climb. That's the insulting part. Wow. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. Wow. Hey, look, a Chadley Tower. Hey, look, another Chadley Tower. Hey, look, another Chadley Tower. Goddamn fuck the bloom lighting. I want to look at the view. Yeah, this is, this is what I'm talking about where I can't stand how aggressive the, uh, fake dynamic lighting is, or the exposure. Because as far as I can tell, it's not an actual, like, lighting detector. They just set up zones with collision that adjust the, uh, the, the exposure. So, like, when you're hitting an invisible trigger that's changing the exposure. But they didn't set it up properly here. So if you walk into the railing, it gets blown out as if you're going back inside. And that sucks. <laughs> I don't like it. Is it realistic? I don't fucking know. I just know I don't like it. Like, that's an easy thing to patch, but I'm like, I just want to enjoy the view, and it's like, this this is, yeah. Anyway, I'll get off my my high horse, my low horse, my small horse. It connects us, one and all, for everything exists through her. Oh, fuck yeah. Man, few things make me happier than... I don't even know what this aesthetic is. It's like kind of diesel punk. Where you have effectively old CRT televisions and like a typewriter hooked up to machinery. Oh. It's not just old, it's like it's just the bizarre. Connects us one and all. Anyway. For everything exists Ooh. Through her. Pull me in. Pull me in the machine. Yo, you got you got any games on here? Oh, oh, oh. You won't find a larger telescope on the planet. Obsolescence punk. You can see to the edge of the galaxy. That's There's fun. no better view of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning. The, My apologies. The dust represents all the people. Bugentone no away. Out of my way, punk. Can I race this Bugenhagen and Chocobo racing? At this speed. Pardon, pardon me, 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 pardon me. That again, huh? Is that a weapon? <laughs> Yuffie's gonna steal his scooter. The planet crying out. A sorrowful dirt indeed. One I've heard all too often of late. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. Tubin? What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them with our own eyes. Two in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> Dirge. Cerberus? A fascinating account. Were it true? Oh. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Oh, Bugenhagen's um, misogynistic. Excuse me? He hasn't believed oh, the ladies. Oh. Yes. That would do them some good. Uh, there's a place <laughs> called Gongaga? That's Judging absurd. from everything you've said. The three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. 
Tifa got too close to Sin's toxin. Uh huh. Well, fuck that guy, am I right? Oh. <laughs> PowerPoint time? Yeah, it's PowerPoint time. Put me in the PowerPoint chamber. Yeah. You, oh, can't, I'm not allowed to look up. <laughs> Good. I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado... This gatekeeper's accusing our girl boss of gaslighting. He is. Oh. That was a pretty seamless transition to pre-rendered video. Neat. Wow. <laughs> this is only the beginning. The shooting star. This is great. Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. Behold, the planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted. Again! Again! Of course, these are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery then fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Damn, dude. Hmm. Damn. However, that can be overcome <laughs> with time and education. He's so mean to Tifa for you some rang? reason. Like, wow. Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? 
I thought they were like that. Right this way. Wow. Okay. I thought they were hey, gonna say that. Can I come? That's like where the whispers came from. It's like live stream energy that can't return to the live stream proper, or something. And he's like, "No, that makes no sense. Goodbye." <laughs> okay. Uh. Yay. God forbid a bad bitch posit an alternative hypothesis. <laughs> it's like one of the favorite things I've ever seen in my chat. Thank you. I can roll you my five-year course. Free start at 5,000 gil a month. All right. Feels like a scam. Got a question. The planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies, right? <sighs> yes. Is there any way to avoid this? Like, making the spiritual energy stronger? Why are you asking me such things? <clears throat> You're the expert? I'm sorry. I've come to realize that I'm somewhat stuck in the past. We've entered an era in which humanity exerts unprecedented influence over its environs. And as both the planet and society evolve, so too must science. Thank Yet it seems that I cannot. Perhaps I'm much too old of a dog to learn any new tricks. He just asked the question, man. <laughs> Damn. Was my explanation of planetology not to your liking? Perhaps a seminar would provide a more agreeable experience. I don't know where uh, where this Bugenhagen is coming from. He seems much more straightforward in the original game, but this one's like very conflicted and sassy. It's interesting. Was my explanation of planetology Nearby. not to your liking? Perhaps a seminar would provide. More... See ya. Are they upstairs or downstairs? Where do they go? Higher learning. Uh, well, they're somewhere out there. Is it afraid of being wrong? I don't, I don't know. Hello? Y'all got any seminars out here? Thanks oh. so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Ooh, check out the storeroom when you have a chance. Oh, I could steal all their stuff. No, I, I got it. You don't have to believe me. I'll let myself in. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to be your guide through there. No, I got it. I'm gonna steal everything. Oh boy. Oh, goodies. Yay. Oh. 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 The fucking lighting. I'm trying to. Hold on. Like over here? Child. The way that that light is bouncing around on there. Take everything. I'm going to take it all. Can't really get a good, clear look at it, but I'm, maybe that's intentional. But there's there's a big guy and a little little guy and then another another guy. Simbo. <laughs> Simbo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he hates his dad. His dad's a good for nothing, didn't you hear? I'm sure he won't learn anything more about that. Ooh. I hope this is concept art. That they just put in and slap the filter on. Look like a painting. Because that's what they look like, the, the little Mako deposits we find. I always think it's great when games are able to reuse development assets like that. Put them in his paintings and sketches and stuff. Take the painting with you. I'm stuffing it into my pockets. Uh. Oh, oh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I better not see a big spooky door. And he's like, oh, right, the demons are in there. Heaven forbid. Something ominous like that was down here. Calling out the 50 screen stars out of those areas. Mm hmm. Yeah, they're pretty. Could never happen, man. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh, weapon, 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 weapon. Gimme, 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 gimme. 
A crystal megaphone? Here you go, Kate Sith. He's like, this sucks. I yelled into it and it exploded. <laughs> that's a lot of materials. Ooh, that's just good on good. Ability, Moogle magic. Gorgeous gems add a soothing resonance to the user's voice. That is fancy as fuck. Compared to his starting one? Damn. Uh, Moogle magic. Use an equipped ability. Equipped summons ability. What? Can only use while riding Moogle during battles in which summons are available. Cooldown increases with each use. You could just use a summon as like a one-time thing. What the fuck? What the fuck? All right. Well, he needs to have a summon on him. What do you got? Titan? Who do I want him to just be able to launch out of magic from? I mean, maybe Titan's fine. That's wild. Uh, raise damage to my luck. Increases the luck. Yeah. Increases damage dealt by basic attacks. Reduces MP cost of attack or healing. So you could just kit him out as your healer. Reduces damage by Moogle. Or definitely do Chalice to Toilet Kate Sith. People mentioned that before. If there's a specific reason or just like to help me understand. Because I think I get how he works, but I... I won't say no to a better tutorial. Or if there's just a nice reward for doing so. Is it worth to? Um... Yeah, yeah. And, um... Yeah. Meh. Yeah, meh. Um... Meh. I'll figure that out later. Music is great for each tutorial. The music has been great in everything. I'm the agreeing. You're giving Bugenhagen an arc and he didn't need one? Um... I'm not gonna say he didn't need one. Because... Yeah. If it is meant to be more of an arc for him, I can see what they're doing with it. Right this way. Auto ability would be useful in Kate. I just like having control over what they're doing. Seems like there's times where they just kind of randomly fire stuff. And I'm like, I... There's randomly firing stuff and there's... Oh, but you didn't fire the thing I wanted you to do. Yeah. We can try it. We can try it. Um... Blessings of the planet upon you. Okay, where... Where... That's gotta be down below. Flight of Scholarship. Are these the floors of the... That must be the names of the floors. Okay. So, we're going down over there. So they've all brought us down here. That makes sense. Also, yeah, that little interior vault was not what I thought it was going to be. There's another interior spot of Cosmo Canyon that I'm like, where, where is it? Doop, 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 boop, beep, 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 boop, 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 Hey. Your faith in our great mother. This village is lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. The materia isn't real? This village is lame. Is that? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Is that? Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound See you, of their own voice. See you, Fee. Good luck. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow oh. me if you would. Damn. He really, he really went. These, these people need an education. Who among us? Meow. Are we getting culted? Yeah, I think so. The seminar is in progress. I've uh, always been on the bigger side, but I've never been into physical stuff. Blessings of the planet upon you. Fellow Bugenhagen sent word that you might be joining us. You are more than welcome to do so. Is this like a group According therapy session? Him, a big kid like me was using twice as much spiritual energy as other folks. And I was a burden on the planet. What? But he was wrong. Damn. That Woo! 
thank you for sharing. What That's a fucked you, up thing miss? to say. Mm -hmm. You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't, I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Yes, it was. Who has less Please, scary things to talk about? Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us. So let us head to the torch. The what in the what? I'll see you at the festival. Thanks for the bits. Keep it in, say anything wrong. No. No, she really didn't. Nah. This must be probably a pledge all the world to go into the cult. Yes, put all of your gill in the pile, so you must be cleansed. Very, yes, you. You've got more in your pockets. I can see them jingling. Join the pile, good. You next. Very good. The River of Light ceremony will begin shortly. This night comes but once a year, bringing us closer to the planet. Well, that's I've convenient. no doubt you'll feel her grace. A once a year ceremony and we're just in time for it? Ah, the river of lights. Once a year, we gather the souls that have drifted to our veil and return them to the planet whence they came. I heartily encourage you to join us in this ceremony. Pass. There is no seminar being held here at the moment. Once a year, pfa. Hit me with that once a millennia. So many seminars. Millennium. I ask you this. Who among you has looked Who? with boundless love for the soul? I like how they're adjusting the time of day. It's like not real time, but they're like updating it to be further in into sunset as we're like progressing here. It's nice. Um Nah. Can't take the elevator. The bond between us and the planet deepens. <laughs> they, they do it every day, but they tell the tourists once a year. Oh, please buy your uh, official Festival of Lights pendants. You were here for once a year manifestation. Very good. You have a choice coming up. You want to know what to say? Yeah. Maybe we should rephrase dating Red as more hanging out with Red. <laughs> I still think it'd be fun to hang out with him. Oh, he jumped. I, hmm. Lend him an ear. Thank you. I will do that. Yeah, he is the happiest with us out of everyone, but. Look at them, gathered around the fire. 
Just like us that day. Me and Mom and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. Don't give me that, but one listening. <laughs> this is pretty obvious with the right I'll one. Lend an ear. Thank you, Whenever though. I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. Oh, buddy. Take as much time as you need. Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. It's so funny. <laughs> just to be mean. I'm gonna save and talk to everyone and then load the save. So we don't make anyone else happy. Well, yeah, so the first trip to the Gold Saucer isn't the date. They give you, like, an indication of who you're most friendly with. But the date from the original game, and what seems to be the case is in here as well, is Man, I can't wait to see what they um, got a second trip to the cat. Hello. Some savor like grains of sand on the beach of the universe. Fatalist idiots. Spend my whole life trying to prove them wrong. But sitting here, looking up at the sky, you kind of help feeling pretty minuscule. Yeah, you can't, you can't date Kate. I, we'll see how this goes. Um, there's there's a sequence in the original that takes place here around this bonfire, and it's not a festival with the whole town. Man, I can't wait to see what they've got planned. So we'll see. Anyway. When you die, yeah, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. I totally agree. Yeah, I totally agree. What? Oh. Ugh, should have known better than to get philosophical with you. That was being sarcastic. That's fine. I can live with her being a pale green. Basically, if anyone turns blue, I have to be like, undo, undo, undo. Your faith in our grief. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? Uh, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Not nothing, that's for damn sure. At the same time, though, I don't know if fighting's the answer anymore. Maybe it's time for some good old-fashioned introspection. Introspect. Wait. I'll start walking around. So. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? No. You did. I felt. You just gotta laugh it off. Ha ha ha. ha just gotta ha. laugh it off. It's that simple. Except it's not. At least not for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm too serious for my own good. No, Tifa. You did nothing wrong. They suck. It's not you. It's not you, Tifa. All right, I don't need to load the save. I think we're fine. Violence is always the answer. FIFA forever. Yep, fire still works. Feels like Nanaki should know what this is. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet. One of those ancients. Or, to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, 
something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never gonna be normal. That much was clear. Smiling seems like it'd be creepy. Oh. So my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life. Music. Friends that I love. And for once, it's definitely. <laughs> I think I'm okay. No, I wish I picked it. Happy even. I just can't and stand being mean to her. Or weird. Worth it. And now we begin the human sacrifice. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. It is time! <sighs> Whoa! Half expected Bear to start shooting them down. We got company! Pretty sappy, huh? No, wasn't listening. Said something about being ignored. Meant every word, though. Oh. Hello? So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? What did you all think of the River of Light? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the veil. Trying to listen to the old man. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception. I'm happy to say, to stir the human soul is no small feat. And it pleases me to know that the River of Lights possesses such power. I, I can't help but hear him say overwhelmingly positive and think of like the reviews on Steam when this game comes out. Yeah, oh, it's been overwhelmingly positive, wouldn't you say? Wink, wink. Make sure you leave a review that says the same. Alas. 
My hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual Paris, curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation. Yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. Right, is all oh, of us. Forgive me for Whoa. sharing my idle thoughts. Oh, he's booking Keeping it. them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. I think he's leading us to the spooky to door. Like to why, why on earth? Why on earth? Did they go, time to walk and talk with Grandpa, or we're going to surround you with 50,000 NPCs that are all talking at you. Ah, shit. Hey, Spooky Door. Oh, 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 oh. Well then, shall we proceed? Uh, but I thought this door was... Spooky, Spooky yes. So that none may enter? Why, yes. And by my own hand, no less. However... You've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a Watcher of the Veil, that is. I presume you are prepared. It's a Fallout Vault. Vault yeah. 7. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. Good news, everyone. I have decided to unseal the spooky door. And off we go. Now then, don't let me die in there. It's very deadly for me. With my weak constitution. Holy shit, that I forgot it flipped up like that. I almost got bopped on the noggin, wouldn't you know? Huh? Now we follow the cave where it leads. Deep as it will take us. The cave of Gee. Gee. Why is Red so baby? Always has been. He's only 48 years old. Basically a teenager. Who do you hit the switch? Okay. Mm hmm. He sounds like Farnsworth a little bit. So, um. And he could have a He told you anything about his parents yet? No. They were watchers, both of them. But they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him. Why would I? Oh. I see. Ho, ho, ho. Family drama is so funny, wouldn't you say? Uh, Clud, you said your name was? Well, here's our stop. Whee! Ooh, a bench. No. <laughs> Chamber of Deception. From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial and his observer. Clutch roof, you say? Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Oh, 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 Only two. Oh. <laughs> oh, that would render the trial meaningless. What? But what? if not him. What do you mean? Why? Ah, you'll do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. Oh, oh, oh. Whenever you're ready. I mean, I'm down ready. to. Oh, oh, we're playing as Red. Oh, I was like, I'm down to play as Barrett. I guess it makes way more sense to play as to play as Red. Can he sit on a bench like a person? Get him, get on there. That's good too. He rests quicker. Wait, this is a store? How does that? How would how? Huh? When I huh? When I what? How do you how do you figure? Road warrior bank. Uh, who has one of these? 
It's on sale for a way off, so... Give it to Red, I guess. Bam, 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 ba da na na da na 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 and should I give him or Barrett the heal? Well, he's okay. Giving you the healing. Boom. Um. Maybe, maybe make that more efficient. That seems good. That seems good. Um. Maybe I replace poison with fire and ice. It's gonna level up soon. Sweet. Press touchpad in this menu. In this menu? In which menu? I'm pressing the touchpad. In this menu? Oh. What the f- Is that always been there? Set for all. That has always been there. Thank you. Is there an equivalent for, for um, gear? If I'm in here. So that, this is good. And very similar to a similar, there's a menu like this in the original game. My main complaint has been, I want to be able to equip gear and accessories, specifically gear. Because juggling the materia slots and everyone's uh, currently equipped stuff is like, I, I just want to see at a glance, this is good for this character. So I don't have to go through every single character to see what I want. And... This is good. Don't get... I thank you. Thank you. But I specifically have been like, I want to be able to change everyone's gear. But this is good. Be able to get everyone's... Again, there's a menu that's basically identical to this in, in 7 as an option, and I used it a lot. Um, so... But also, you didn't have the option in the original to go like, I want this. I'm going to steal it from this character. You had to go in here and grab it from someone to give it to someone else. Or you had to unequip it to add it to the pool. So... Anyway. Great. Um... So I got Assess on Red and Steel. Don't I have... She has Mug. Eh, she can keep Mug. They'll level up pretty soon. Alright. Yeah. Cool. Disempowerment warding against... Or do I want... Do I want this? No, that doesn't work on that. It tells you the compatible material. So it works on empowerment and disempowerment. Pairing with warding grants resistance to physical and magic attack reduction, which is the same for both. Okay, well, I don't know if anyone's going to do that, but just in case. There you go. It's not warding, it's the other type that I guess I haven't seen yet that works against fire. There's two different types. It's, it's like there's status effects and there's elemental stuff. And both have their own applicable versions of, like, support materia that augments them. And then if you put it, at least in the original, you could be like, on the on your weapon means you deal element. So if you could be like, I want fire, link it with this element materia. Now I'm dealing fire damage. Or I link it with fire on my armor, and now I'm taking reduced fire attack when people attack me. And I thought that was a very interesting nuance. So you could, like, either choose to add an elemental attack to your all your attacks, or have granted immunity or weakness or resistance. You get that in side quests? I figured. <laughs> I figured I'm missing out on a lot of good stuff from not doing side quests, but so be it. Let's get out of here. Am I happy with this? Yes. Am I happy with this? Yes. Cool. Save. Save and a haircut. Two saves. Tomorrow I get one. I think I'm on through a VR fight. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's, it, it's, I just can already feel that there's going to be people that watch these streams, either live or the VODs, and they're just like, oh my god, if you just did a couple side things, you'd have so much more materia to play with, and I'm sitting here like, if only I had more blue materia, and it's like, yeah, that's what I get for trying to get through the game quick. I'm not even getting through it quick, just, you know. Uh, reduces all element damage by 10%. That sounds rad. 
Stores 5% upon defeating enemies in battle. Ooh. Or... Ringmaster with Aerith. Lightning. I like how this theme has a little bit of Cosmo Canyon in it. It's really good. Max MP, maybe. Increase spin potency. That's with Yuffie. Um, just give me the... Restore HP. That's nice. And Barret is good. As 100% player of the game, usually a lot of fun toys to play with. Jump and Comet are Chadley exclusives. Yeah. Comet is a very good attack in the original that I used a lot. I paired Comet with, uh... Was it? I think it was Comet. That I applied with a Quadrata Materia, if memory serves. So I, I could cast Comet and it would fire four times. And it was just disgusting damage. That was fun. Make sure that you are well prepared. Yeah, if I wasn't streaming this game, I would probably be doing a lot more side content. And also, with how many hours into the game I am, currently 41 and counting. Um, give or take, I'm sure that includes just sitting here idling. Um, like in the menus. Uh, I'd probably be maybe in Junon <laughs> by now. Doing all the side content and all the VR and everything. It's just like so much. You gonna watch my back? Yeah. Earning holes in you right now. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. What is this? This is a place of deep sorrow. A place where those who have been sealed away are left to mourn their fates. Aerith cast Comet for free anytime she else anyone else is using ATB? Holy shit. Yeah, I definitely I love how customizable the materia lets you The materia in the original lets you do some really wild stuff and only playing through the main story in this game for the most part. Definitely, I can tell I'm not getting as many cool cool toys. I can get through the game, so I'm fine with that. It just kind of sucks <laughs> that I'm like, but it's good that the side content has good rewards, so I, I can't be that mad. Anyway, let's fight. Leave it to me. Nidhogg! Snake-like creature that slithers in caves. Uh, they possess venomous fangs, can poison their prey by biting or spitting a toxic secretion. Explain how much we just pressure them weak to fire. Go for it! All right. What? Ah, no, well. <laughs> Don't worry about it. All right. <laughs> Help! Don't choke. Don't do. Damage worth time. Mm -hmm. Um, fiery impulse. Oh yeah, another one in the bag. Yeah, I I genuinely might fuck around and do open world stuff that I skipped over once I'm done with the game. Look here. Probably not on stream though. Walls should be well within your power to climb. The organic natural yellow paint. Approach yellow glowing surfaces and use left stick to scamper along walls. It's called scamper. Stop moving or press circle to drop. Remember to watch where you land. Nature itself has created yellow paint, not in the key. This is the way we must go. Um, let's go here first, I guess. Time to scamper. Whoa, camera. Oh, the camera's doing some side to side tilting. Oh, come on. I'm a little bit bummed that when he opens chests, he just kind of nods at them when they open. I wish he, like, batted at them with his paw or something. Doot, do doot, doot, doot. Some comforting tilting. Yeah, I'm getting tilted with the tilting. Yeah. A moss, a gate. Yeah. Whoa. Mm. This place is giving me the creep. Your discomfort is only natural. A fierce battle was waged here. And even after 45 years, the scars remain fresh. What? You're saying the game managed to make it all the way up here? <laughs> okay, somebody fill me in. Who are the key? The tribe knows a very few people outside of the veil. 
The rest you will learn in due time. Of that you can be certain. For now, let us proceed. The fact he walks so effortlessly, completely horizontally, I mean vertically. Yeah, he's just like his normal walk animation. Just meh. It's a little bit goofy, but literally, I prefer this to like, you can climb walls, but it's really slow. And you have to wait for him to finish the animation for the change from like up and down to side to side. It's like, for gameplay, this is, this is great. Animation wise, yeah, it looks a little silly. But I'll take gameplay feeling good every day. Stinger, ah! Ah! You know, maybe I should put a Cess on Barret, just cause it's easy for him to load up on ATB from a range. Quadrupedal arthropods that scurry around caves. They stabilize themselves by plunging their hind legs on the ground line, but don't they still have the attacks? Splendor element of the weakness, weak to fire and lightning. It's over. Now. Hate those. Yeah, they're fun. Someone mentioned Starship Troopers earlier. These are like, kind of like that. Um. Didn't mean to do that. It's getting real. Uh, I'm gonna do that real quick. Do this real quick. Do that real quick. Barrett. You can, um, you can take assess, and you take poison. Yep. Yeah, well, uh, here, Biora. Still don't think I've used poison. Well, I, there's a lot of material I haven't used once in the game yet. But uh, oh my god, the Doom Slayer was here. Bum, bum, ba -da -ba -ba. Red's whole personality is different. Well, yeah, the idea Only got is. Two legs here, you know. See you later. Yeah, the whole, the whole idea is that Red has been putting on a persona. Damn, if that doesn't look convenient. It's very silly. Boom. Revival earrings, eh? Give those to someone who dies. Going in. No, 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 everything's fine. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh. Kind of like having these, like, sort of, like, ancient temple looking stuff in here. Bum, 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 bum. Man, it seems like I should try to find more of the Moogle shops to expand their inventory. You see more of what he's really like, no, he's not pretending. Mm -hmm. I like Red 13. I like Nanaki. Oh. I don't know, I think it's, it's well done. I like, I mean, it's, uh, there's a little bit there's like, there's definitely a trope of friendly character you thought you knew. It turns out that he has secrets, you know, or you learn more about him. And I feel like this is a version of that that doesn't feel super tired and done a thousand times before to me. Like, he's been hiding who he is both to protect himself and, you know, to make him seem more imposing. Bring it to heat. Hit him with fire. I like that everything's weak to fire. Makes it easier. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, don't. No, don't. Healing leveled up. Nice. Does that mean we have regen now? Yeah. Nice. 
Oh, come on. <laughs> I didn't get the first strike because it the game didn't expect me to go here. That's what it feels like. Hey. Nah. Roll away, baby. Uh, maximum fury. Oh, there's many of them. Uh, um, Blast that one. Ah. 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 Jesus Christ. Yeah? Okay. Can you... Can you... Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. There's way too many of you. Blast C. And, uh, uh, where? There we go. That should help. Yep. Yep, that'll do. Sheesh. Okay. Hi. Uh, huh? Why don't you. Uh, there you go. Tracing body, see if it also deals damage. That's a good point. Oh, Barrett does not have a lot of MP, does he? He has 41. Oh, I did cast fire a bunch. Or Fira. Yeah, I should probably try to poison some guys. But if they deal poison, I probably can't poison them. So I can at least check first. To see if they are poisonable. Bam. Uh, something up there? Mayhap. Uh, oh. Uh, something over there. We <laughs> Nope. Then I jump from there. How about here? Well, oh, okay. Why don't I give you an ether? There you go. Delicious. Oh. Yeah. Eat it. Chew on it. That works. Just pull bear with you. <laughs> Just drag him along. It'll be fun. Damn if that doesn't look good. Mm-hmm. I think that's just the wall up there. Yep. Bunch of rubies and shit in there? Man, so many boxes in this game have had nothing in them, but I keep breaking them mostly because they're satisfying. And this place actually has really good stuff in there. I say that, and then I break a pile of boxes and get a spider web, so... I should have just kept my damn mouth shut. Huh. Fiends. Okay. Uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. I only got two legs here, you know. Yep, see you later, bud. I mean, he turned into a Sonic character in voice, so... Now we can turn into a Sonic character in you run off to? movement. Good loot in general. Celestial Bangle? A Celestial Bangle? Uh... Oh! That's a lot of material slots, too. Um... That's plus 5, plus 2. Okay, plus 37 minus 18. Eh, I guess... Give it to red. What on earth else do I want to give him? Uh, different poison, different barrier. He doesn't have barrier, does he? He's empowerment. Guy goes sideways. Hey, chili dogs. <laughs> Red, what are you talking about? Ch chili dogs. 
Uh, eat, 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 eat. Maybe I can steal one of the... Maybe an MP up. Or maybe Barret. Could have that in exchange for... Hmm. 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 So there's no emerald. Oh, God. Nothing would be worse. Uh, he does have automatic fire. So, um, what was I, what was I doing? HP, or MP up. Which is here. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Nope, doesn't want to jump. Yeah. I wish it was brighter in here. Damn, I, that doesn't look at least red has a glowing tail. So, even through, whoa, even through the crunch of stream, it should be easy to tell where he is just from the glowing tail. Like, everything has, like, a hazy, washed-out look in here. And I kind of wish it was a slightly more contrasty. Just for my personal preference, but... It's all right. I love that his dialogue in fights is different, too. Yeah, all right. Here we go. Think about it. Old man loud striding through that kid. Yeah, he's loud as fuck on that scooter. Come on, bud. Monster's gonna hear us from a mile away. With any luck, Nanaki's gonna give us a da 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 ba 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 da da And he's gonna flip around and pull out a latent adventure with his dog limbs. Hello! Oh, there's many of you. Oh, there's many of you. Oh, good. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build up some of that and blast them with a Stardust Ray. There you go. Who needs to fight enemies? Just blow them up. Yeah, just like that. But it's red and he's all fucked up. Um uh, was there anything up here? Yeah. Hey, where'd you run off to? A time worn talisman? That's just like me! Wee! What is that? Uh Ah, right. Increases spirit. Here before. Face for the prime for three zero months. Enjoy your outhouse key. For Shidden and Farden. And I hope you're doing well. Um. Um. Uh, did you know that with Prime? Herbivore knew. But did you know? Uh, yeah, might as well level that up. Hey, Viz. The finals are fantasying. Um. Red13, whose real name is Nanaki. Is now voiced by a Sonic character. I downloaded a mod that replaces his quips for the Sonic character. And we're gonna go fight some evil demons. This is rad. This is cool. Oh, good. Yeah, that's how I feel about it. Um, you're not a living statue, are you? What the hell is that? That is a key. It's huge. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, I would stress that you mustn't judge a book by its cover. Hey, Shiv. For the key, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Nanaki, this shall be your first try. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, we'll do. 
Uh -huh. Seek the relic of our past. Carry it forth and bring the truth to light. Only then shall the path reveal itself unto you. Press and hold L2 near an object to grab it with your mouth and release the button to drop it. Initiating combat will also cause you to automatically drop a held item. Grab the Gi artifacts scattered around the cavern and ask Bugenhagen to inspect them. Oh. This hurts a lot, Nanaki, so please be quick. Nanaki, what do you have there? A knife? No! Well, if it isn't a gi arrow, its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. Oh. Probably shouldn't have been holding that with my mouth then. A gi warrior's charm? I actually got a thing from that? Um. Um. Gi warrior's charm. Charms one of the Gichem that served as a constant reminder of the righteousness of their cause. Increases limit gauge fill rate by 10%. Bring back everything else before the thing at the very top. All of it is loot. Gotcha. So the very top one is the one that then progresses you. Thanks for letting me know. Maybe don't hold the poison that turns you into stone with your mouth. Maybe don't do that. How do you draw an eye? I've never had it come up in Pictionary. With great difficulty. Eh. All physics. What do we got here? Oh, you got like a rock. What do you have in your mouth? What is that? Drop it. What's in your get back here? Play. It's just the tennis ball. You drop Bill Nye oh, and remove the bill. Sorry. I haven't slept well of me. He's me. Crimsonite crystal. What's this? <gasps> a bone! He got a bone! He got a bone! Yeah! Nanaki, this is important. What do you have there? Nanaki! We! Give it here. Er. Earth. Nay. That is not the relic we seek. <laughs> that is but a mere bone. Ooh, it was a good bone, though. Don't think there's more down here. Blessed be that bone. Oh, what's that? Oh, the big club. Nanaki. He's Nanaki. He's the greatest guy in history. Nay, that is... This is... I'm not sure, but I'm pleased to see that you're enjoying yourself. A piece of bow bow boy! Nice. Yeah, Uncle Bunga. He's hanging out with Isla. They would be friends. Just putting that out there in the universe. What do you got over here? Nothing. Spooky noises. So there's that up there. There must be stuff on the other side, though. It's the squeaky hot dog toy. It's just shaking around. Now, 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 Nanaki. Whoa! Is that materia? Ooh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Now, now he actually has a tennis ball in his mouth. <laughs> now he actually just... He's got a squeaky toy. Maybe it is. It's not really glowing like materia. <laughs> he's got a ball. Yay! Yay! Yay. Most would call that materia, but it is far more than a magic stone. It is a crystallized collection of the planet's memories and knowledge. Oh, big stretch. Healing materia three star. What the shit? What the fuck? What the, what the, what the, uh, uh, yeah. It just, it just already has regen on it. I literally just, leveled up my healing material from the beginning of the game to unlock regen and <laughs> just found another one in this game. Son of- well, that's really nice. That's great. Um, fuck, I'm tempted to put that on red just so they both have it. Uh, 
Yeah, well, that's gonna level up soon. Maybe... Uh... Gah... Buh... Um... Nah... Uh... Hmm... I don't want to replace any of these. Uh... Yeah. If he tries the privates, you're out of his, house, his mouth. Mm -hmm. They're fighting. I mean, the thing is, I'm not really using, like, barrier or disempowerment or innervation, but I'm like, but what if I want to? What if I want... Okay, it's gone. It's gone. Um, put that on there. Yep, yeah, bup, 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 bum. You do, do, do. Okay. I'm assuming that's everything. Damn. I'd be very mad if I missed that. Nothing up there. Thanks for telling me to get to the ones first. You made a Boogan Ride emote? Show me. Show me. It probably won't show up on stream, but... Show me. You never know when it might come into play. <laughs> oh my god, and it's the original from the original PS1 game. Holy shit, thank you. Boogan Ride, my beloved. Here, let me, let me show it on stream. It has transparency. It's just the way that's running there. That's that. That's how you looked in the original game. There you go. Hold on, I'm on my way. Gotta float along. He's going. Maybe I don't know if I even real realized that he was meant to be riding around on a ball in the original, because he was just zooming around. And I was like, "Whoa, look at him!" See you later, punks. He's just a pile of polygons. Yeah, that's everything from from FF7. I don't know if I can... FF7, Boogenhagen. Is there like a clip of him in context? Here you go. Here's a screenshot of his PowerPoint from the original game, which, for reference, was also a pre-rendered cutscene. It was one of the handful of pre-rendered cutscenes from the original game, where presumably the CD-ROM starts spinning crazy fast and the PS1 sounds like it's gonna explode. And he's flying, he's like, oh, the live stream energy. This is what it, this is, and this was amazing, I'm sure, at the time. Even playing a few months ago, I was like, damn, look at him go. Look at those planets in that solar system and such. That's great. Peace out, non-believers. Bro, maybe a voice of the same old guy as the old king in the modern king's quest. Type, being typecast as old guy. Wait, so there's a thing here. There is one more. Yeah. Oh, Boogenhagen for Halloween. You mean Hagenween? Oh. 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 Oh, I definitely want this. Oh, I definitely want... This looks like a new weapon. New collar. Ah, yes. An armament of the veil. The carvings on its hilt should look familiar. Indeed, you'll find the very same markings on your own body. Mr. Collar. Boogenhagen tuber. Uh, I'm gaining a material, losing a, a linked slot, though. And the stats are pretty good. A dignified collar once worn by the Watchers of the Veil. Watcher Spirit, deplete the Vengeance Gauge to increase allies' ATB. Potency proportional to amount expended. Activate when the Vengeance Gauge is full. Ha. Oh. Ha. Huh. Okay. Damn, we're getting a lot of material slots. Which means the next one we get is probably gonna have zero slots on it. Um... Maybe we go back to the thing I had on it that I was like, I don't want to get rid of this even though I never use it. It's because it's about to level up, and that's nice when things are leveled up. Ha flax! Thanks for 73. No, you got your boogin in my hogan. <laughs> Thank you. Hope you're doing well. 73 months is uh dare I say too many. Thank you so much for all the years of support. Um Siphon Fang HP up, increase the amount of HP absorbed with Siphon Fang, increases vengeance mode duration. Restores HP when activating Vengeance Mode. Yeah. Weapon Ability Damage by 5. Days Basic Damage by 5%. Magic Attack by 20. I think maybe Basic Attacks up. Because this has slightly lower regular attack. If I recall correctly. Slightly worse attack. So, yeah, that bounces out. Alright. Yippee. Signed a lease on a new apartment. Ooh. Hope it goes well. Congrats. Alright. One more. Try about the damages. Next enemy I fight that does not have resistance to poison. 
Wait, is that... Oh, up here. Wait. No. What am... It's on this side. Only this side. Yeah, da, 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 da. Yeah, ba, 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 ba. Oh, yeah, that looks important. Ah, a remnant of our struggles, of our desires. Red, what do you got in your mouth? Red, drop it. What do you got there, buddy? Get rid of that thing! Oh, what have you done? Uh, not me. Ow. He's deflecting. He... Oh, Barrett's fine. He is uh, less resistant to what is that? Proportional damage. We can poison him. Spirits of the Gi that perished during the invasion of Cosmo Canyon now curse to haunt its caverns, sealed underground lest they unleash their deep-seated hatred upon innocents. Explain their elemental weakness with magic attacks or hitting them with healing spells. Hitting them with healing spells will pressure them. Okay. They spin their spears to deflect all ranged physical attacks, hitting them with strong close-range physical attacks. While they're doing this will pressure them. They will not remain dead so long as a Gi sorcerer is present. Heal them to death. I mean, that is a thing in the original, but this game doesn't have um, all the types of damage. Because the original has a holy type of damage and like a another thing. And things that are weak to whatever. Yeah, healing undead. All right, well. You got this. All right, time to yeah, all right, let's go. Animus? What is that? Oh, he's got attack up. Alright. Um. Steal steal from him? Hey, I saw a crystal. Anyway, um poison him. So it says right there, poison and deal an amount of non-elemental damage. So it does damage no matter what. Well, let's him with Biora. Nice. Uh, wait. Never mind. That specter you fought was a fallen key. I was gonna heal him. Items work too. <laughs> Get throw a potion at him. Their lingering enmity manifests as such. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies. Nor make light of their plight. Yeah, same one. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Grab it and Deliver shake it. Unto us the remnants of our past. Anarchy, not gonna lie, that's cringe. Did you say cringe with a D? No. How do you say it? This region turned to a, a damage over time? Oh, that I gotta know. Cringe. Is that not how you say that? So it does kind of, well, I guess, yeah. I was like, you can still run around in there, but if Buganagan doesn't have his little circle there, maybe they do lock you out. Though I would hope that that stuff appears in shops if you missed it. Yeah, drop that. All right, let's go. It's over. Here goes. Here goes nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I'll spin on them. That'll work. Haya. You said it. I wanted to go into here and put this to assess. And then on red, 
I want to drop a uh, wildfire on there. Because I'm using that a bunch against these guys. Am I, I'm assuming I'm supposed to bring this with. I just, uh, oh, oh, well, hold on. Exquisite beast times. Get some slobber on it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. We got, oh, I got to put a thing on a thing. Yeah, all right. I see. Drop it down there. <laughs> and go. That's a lot of live stream Mako down there. The Chamber of Observance. Are these <laughs> altars? He dropped it. Oh, what is going on with those statues? Is this a Zelda dungeon? Because my first thought was, are we going to make it out of this place alive? <laughs> its decor is indeed the opposite of inviting. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason for everything, then one could argue that everything has no reason. What? Old man? Regardless, you know what you must do, don't um, you? No. Deliver unto us Hot dog. the remnants of our past. Hey, folks. Restore them to their rightful place. Free elemental magic? Yeah, but you gotta unlock it. You don't get it for free. But you can choose to have free elemental magic. The ruby altar stirs. Do 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 do. begins to fade. Marlene, Daddy loves you. That it? What? <laughs> Not in the least. Barrett, you good? Barrett. Been doing every side thing for basic chapters. I've been doing almost no side stuff. This game's very big. Cool puzzle. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like, oh, you bring one down and then you have all the other ones that are different branch paths you have to take. It seems like only one is one we gotta find. Baird scared it. Cosmotite ore? I should probably try crafting some stuff, huh? Oh, I can't. Um, wait, I can make adrenaline. Uh, use this plant's mercy, sure. Great. And no, and no, and yes. Um, I think I'm happy with everyone's accessories, but I'll make it. And people said the karmic cowl was good. Yeah, grants vitality spirit by 30, grants immunity slow and instant death. But I need to find a Tomberry King's robe, which is definitely an optional thing. Okay. Uh do 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 You do 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 Yeah birdie Burpee beep burpee Some of them's Um mm, Yeah one of these yeah, it's fine. Working night and day on the sucker. Locked in gamer mode. We gaming over here? I didn't realize I was in the presence of a gamer. Look away. I will embarrass you. And myself. With my game it through. Uh, hmm. Locked by Coral Region Life Springs. Playing on roll without doing side stuff is basically hard mode. <laughs> I mean, I am on normal difficulty. Hey, let's get out of here. A mysterious power blocks the way inside. Unto us the remnants of our past. Yeah, I get it. Restore them to their rightful place. Yeah, alright. Wait, here. Yeah, they've made it clear that crafting recipes are ones you find in the world. 
I was hoping as I played through the game, I'd have a little more time to do stuff off stream. Chip away at some open world stuff so I have more toys to play with in the main game, but. I only got two legs here, you know. Barrett left the party. Oh, well. So it's gonna be a lot of beat. Yep. I did get Titan with two of the three things. And I got all three of the things for one of the guys, but I haven't fought him yet. Ooh, Materia. Um, wait, so this, is this the main path here? Seems like this is the main path. Um, yeah, hold on. Phoenix. But yeah, I've as yet not played this game at all outside of stream. But if I do play some off stream, I'll be sure to mention what I did. So people aren't like, wait, why do you suddenly have all these things? What we got? Fortification two star. You know, the good thing about being, if not under leveled, just not having done side stuff is I'm now getting two and three star materia from progressing plot. That's like better than what I have from just playing the game. Uh, did Barrett have fortification? He did, which is already two star. Okay, well, I have another one. Great. Bam, 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 bam. I don't exist. Yeah, it's true. Object permanence is a hell of a drug. You can swim in the Mako? Seems like a bad... I mean, maybe, maybe Nanaki's fine, but... Oh, look at him go. Now that's a doggy paddle. He's fighting that water. He's level boost on revive. So I need the 5, eight, five KP to make it arise. That's smart. I have my AP boost on... What is it on? I don't remember. Um... Uh, my magnum, my magnifies just sitting there. Damn it. Oh, AP up is on HP up. Didn't I have done something smarter than that before? I have level boost on luck up. Oh, level boost, right. Yeah, that's a good idea to put level boost on some. I guess because it started with Kate Sith, so I didn't take it off of him. And him having luck is good, but I should definitely put that on something that's going to take forever to level up. Who Does Aerith have revive? Who the hell has revive? Now I'm curious. Kate Sith has revive. Why did I get, why did I do that? That must have made sense at some point. Well, the doggy shake dry. If you hop out of water and then stand still for a bit. Pretty good. Hello. Spooky. Do, 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 do. They give me a lot of Phoenix Downs. Like a lot. I'm sure it's nothing. I'm by myself. What could possibly happen? Hello. Y'all mind if I grab this? You cool with that? You cool with that? You cool. Whoa. You cool with that? Yeah, they're cool with it. Run! Nanaki, run! This one's definitely not gonna come to life. I'm gonna run straight at him, though. I'm gonna hit him with a, um, with a regen. You feel better, bud? I don't think it's doing damage over time. Unfortunately. Full heal revive? Yeah. Wee! I'm gonna throw a regular potion at him. <laughs> he's he's so considerate. Uh sting. Yeah, I think we did all right back there. Can I not target him? Yeah you I couldn't I did. I thought I did. I targeted red? Oh my bad then. Well Region gives a small heal to start. Mm. 
I tried the expo on the boss in the original game. It didn't work. Oh, darn it. Beep, 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 beep. Hey guys, I got a creepy statue in my mouth. Are you looking forward to shuffling your primary material loader around again? No. It would be nice if I could set. Maybe I can. If I could set a loadout and save it. And then swap back to that. Don't know if you can. Would be nice. History of the Veil vale is intertwined with the Gi, for they first came to these lands many millennia ago. This sanctuary is proof of their persistence, for it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the Veil? Vale? That I cannot answer. Only the key themselves could. But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Naraki. Okay. See you later, Grandpa. Oh, there you go. Bugenhagen. This cave serves as a boundary between our world and that of the key. It was vital to them and their plans. Were the key to seize control of it, the canyon would be doomed. And the people. When the Gi moved against us yet again, a certain Watcher recalled this vulnerability. Huh? Since time was of the essence, he entered the cave without reinforcements. As he had feared, it was teeming with Gi, ready to descend upon the village. Determined to protect the Vale, he pounced from one foe to the next, felling all who dared oppose him. Hold on. If there was a Watcher who single-handedly saved the canyon, how come I've never heard of them? <laughs> For now, you should focus on your own struggles with the Gee. Their malice grows more potent. Uh-huh. They're laying it on pretty thick. <laughs> oh, it's spooky down there. If anyone doesn't get it yet, you will. But... Good. Yeah. So many goodies. What we got here? Oh. Before his voice changed, he would include it on that. It's definitely good. I'm the uh. Do not allow fear to take hold of your heart. You are your own master, Nanaki. You and no one else. Never forget that. Look to the crevasse and the gates beyond. Pass through all to complete your trial. But that's easier said than done. See you on the other side. And he just hovers over there. If everyone grew up in New York City in the 2000s and went to Mars 2112, Red Ground is giving me memories. I don't know if I've heard of Mars 2112, but also I didn't grow up in New York. Oh, silly little guys. Silly little lads. Hey, Coyote boy, welcome back. Roulette. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, wait. You got this. Oh, eh, eh. Let's make this. Cursed beings. The once mass using ghee rituals have become possessed by their own overwhelming enmity. One side shows a pleasant smile, other shows terrible anger. Come pressure from suggesting their opponent take a gamble, hitting them with a powerful offensive ability at that time will spin the roulette, enhancing or enfeebling their assailant depending on which face they land. Okay. They're weak to ice. Take a gamble? Okay. You say if you say so. He's spinning. 
faith. That's good. Don't, don't, ah, shit. Um, Blizzard. I'm not only native, I am. I went to school in New York. But I'm born and raised in LA. Last chance, oh. What? Is he? Oh, there he goes. Take a gamble. And get him. Please be good, please. No! He fade. My fade. Hey, thanks! What friendly guys. Did I do good or did I do good? Great work, Nanaki. Is that a path I can take? It is! Thank you, yellow paint. Oh, that's many. Hold on. I have a thing for this. It's over. Now I'll show you. Yeah. Uh, Stardust. Don't get poisoned. Didn't need to blow that up, but felt good to do. Sick him. He says it to himself. Bump, bump. All after a bottle of ether. Nope. There's more. Or rather, it loops around. Okay. I see. So that was just an optional path. For speedrunners to forgo one battle for another. Beep, boop, boop. Beep, beep, beep. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, okay. Bunch of silly little lads down here, huh? Am I welcome at the Silly Lads Expo? Whoa! Uh. What are you weak to? Fire and lightning. Right. Um. Ready? Hmm. No, don't. I do want to charge up vengeance mode. I should block him. Okay. What do you got? Thanks. You want to attack? You want to attack? Come on. Attack him. Do more. Do a little more. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I'm trying to get my proficiency bonus. Stop attacking Barret. Damn it. Alright, fine. There we go. And now actually Oh. Okay. Um do that. Good to go. Oops. Did I? Okay. Do do that. And then you can watch the spirit. Oh, recharges his ATV too. Nice. The watcher's work is never done. You see, Ether. I just kind of. Calamitous Bazooka? I think I would normally pronounce it ether. I just like saying words. Hey Barrett, you want a Calamitous Bazooka? No. Really? No! But, I mean, by no I mean yes. Whoa. Yeah, okay, that's... That's pretty rad. Smackdown. 
Strike the ground and send nearby enemies flying. Strike two or more enemies. Okay. That's good. Uh, they started being in front of the overcharge. Increase the amount of energy re regained when charging. Increase crit hit damage. Crit rate. Increase damage dealt by basic attacks. Recover HP when dealing damage with unique abilities to a staggered enemy. Give me that. And unflinching. Yeah, that's fine. Um, give him a fire. Give him a poison. Fortification. He already has that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sure. You good? Ether or saying words funny is fun. Yeah, <laughs> I don't mind someone asking, "Is that how you actually pronounce that word, or are you doing a bit?" Because it's a coin toss. If I'm actually doing a bit, or if I'm like, "Wait, there's a different way to pronounce that," and I like hearing, especially with things like this, where it's like. RPG words that we've heard it seen written a thousand times. So how are we supposed to open but maybe not read out loud. A lot of people have different pronunciations for stuff. Sometimes, yeah, that's the thing. Sometimes you rewire your brain as a bit and you're like, oh no. It's just a couple of statues. I'm not worried about that. How are we going to open this door? Nanaki opens the door. Wow! You're so resourceful. We're saying Nanaki different than I thought I said? Nanaki is how I thought it was in, when I read it. How did you, like, like, Nanaki or something? Nan, Nanaki? I don't know. Anyway, hi! Damn. You got this. A Gee Archer. Wait, that's new. That's a different guy. That's a new guy. Uh, the Archer. Explain the elemental weakness to magic attacks. Him, refresh them. They don't remain dead as long as the sorcerer is present. Yep. Okay. So they don't have anything fancy about him. Mm hmm. Hey. Yeah. Oh, oh. That's a lot of things. Uh, whoa, what is... Hello? E. Um, spirit? Yeah, I need to not die. Preferably. Let's just cure a... Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. Ladies and gentlemen. Foo Fighters. Did Barrett not heal? Did he not get did he get interrupted? He got interrupted. Shit. Hey bud. Please don't be dead. He's fine. Wait. Can I may I have Thank you. Uh, da, 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 da. Actually, just have a Mist High potion. And then bear it. Hit yourself. Hit Red with some regen. Yeah. Things are happening. Hello! What a cool battle! I was watching it. From right over there. Bop, 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 bop. Uh, yeah, you know, that looks like a thing I'm supposed to do. Oh, did that not hit reach Nidhogg B? I don't think it did. Darn it. 
English is a hell language. Yeah. Sure is. I bet Red one is Sean Connery for Halloween. Which Sean Connery, though? Like James Bond Sean Connery or Zardoz Sean Connery? Or Highlander Sean Connery? Or League of Extraordinary Gentlemen Sean Connery? Red October Sean Connery. A very good Sean Connery. They're playing both sides. Can I? Oh. How do I? Did I just miss a very obvious path? Sure did. Yeah, that's Zardoz. Because Halloween's in October. Oh. You were making a really obvious joke. Got it. Red October. Got it. Okay. Yep. I overthought it. Prince of Thieves, Sean Connery. That's a good Sean Connery. Uh, Robin Hood. So make sure we're good. In the, the, the apple sauce. Please hand me the apple sauce. He's fine. No, don't. No, no, wait. No. God damn it. Leave him alone. Wait. Group him up. Group him up and then hit him. Right? They are very grouped up. This has to work. There you go. Just a little more vengeance mode. Just a little more. Come on. Or not. October makes me remember it's already March. Yeah, it's fucked up. It's already March. Me, 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 me. Have you seen the Hagen Dust? I'm hungry for Hagen Dust and Apple Sauce. Apple Sauce flavored Hagen Dust. The chain cannot be secured to a, to a broken fastener. Uh, all right. You're welcome. Xbox 360, PS3, Nintendo, Wii, <laughs> One Winged Angel. Oh my God! I used da -da 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 -da. no no compliment this time. I just used my brain to solve that puzzle. I think you'll find. Hello. He said the thing. He said the thing! Ow. Well? Well? Still here. Yep. Fine. Um, wait. Hold on. Yeah, that's fine. Let me... Regen Barret. I wanted to block that. I'm trying to block things, y'all. Thank you. More? You got more? You got anything else in there? Can't get me down. I almost have my proficiency bonus on red, I think. I could probably just use it, but... Just want to make sure we got it locked in. Come on. One more. One more. One more. Thank you. I don't have... Hey. Brain of death. Well, that's great for blocking. What? Do I have it? It's both. Isn't it both? It's both. I need both. Whoa. Okay. All right. Hold on. Please hold off on the Hagen-Dazs. 
All right. I guess I didn't lock it. Well, good. Gonna go to bed. Have a good one. Thanks for swinging by. Uh, yeah. All right. Do I have... <laughs> yeah. Do I have ferrets? I uh, not yet. I uh, not yet. Oh, you go feel it. Bonus gained. We don't have it. Yet. Um. Do 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 do. Throw the dog! You ain't getting that ain't no limit we can't break. We beat them. Ain't no limit we can't break. Sense, they have yet to truly pass on, and their rage remains unquenched. Come, let us keep pressing forward. We're very nearly there. Good old Hagen does. Look, he's a Sonic. All right, let's go, Grandpa. Hey, Gocho. Boop it. Ugh, what? Breathe in, breathe out. Happy Final Fantasy. Just start the first VOD, dip and back out. Hope you enjoy them. Thanks so much, Gocho. And enjoy your very mildly cursed skeleton key. I got this one. Uh, yeah, da, da, ba, ba. Wildfire the thing. That's the wrong guy. Mm-hmm. Can I just blast him? There you go. Hello. Let's go. Just like that. There we go. Boom. Thanks for the faith. Uh, that's not needed. Hello! Did you miss me? Okay. Um. I think I'll stick with this. And bear it. I think I'll stick with that. Mm. Good. Like playing with fire? Uh, sometimes. I think everyone has a little pyro in them. Uh, so that leads there, which is probably where I want to go. Although it does look like it connects, so... They keep giving me Phoenix Downs, man. Damn it, that doesn't look convenient. Ooh, five sprigs of oregano! Maybe they keep giving me Phoenix Downs because I can use that on the boss. This reminds me of those altars. Instead of X-Potion. A similarity, yes, but this sanctum is much more ancient and serves a rather different purpose. The altars we came upon before were built to imprison the key. This, however, was built to provide the Cetra with a means to commune with them. Commune with them? Why would the Cetra do that? The Gi were the enemy. <laughs> Good and evil friend and foe. Dichotomy is not set in stone, as mutable as the winds. But for now, Anaki, let us concentrate on the matter at hand, clearing a path to the truth. The truth. Just make sure I didn't skip anything. I did. Delicious. Eh. Alright. Stuff up there, stuff up there. Hip. Hop. Ah. 
could make a whole Phoenix loss down. Do a vote quite a bit. Quite a bit. <laughs> oh, care careful, bud. Delicious. Scrumptious. Manifestations. Gotta love them. Gill. Nothing. All right. Ah, a riddle. I have solved your puzzle. All right. Hello. years ago. A watcher fought his way here alone, and in his bravery took upon himself the burden of our home. I made pancakes, no big deal. Put applesauce and haagen on them. <laughs> Have you tried the applesauce? Have you tried the haagen -Dazs? There's some, like, evil energy shit going on. Neat. I think we're gonna find Ganon soon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, give me that either. Give me that Phoenix down. And. Uh, that's actually what they're saying. I'm going to say hi, currently catching up on SFF7 VODs. Hope everyone's well and you're doing great, Barry. Thank you, OK Kaylee. Hope you're having a good as well. Make sure you get yourself some applesauce and haagen -Dazs. Appreciate you stopping by. Have a sit, Nanaki. Have a, have a sit. There you go. Hot applesauce and vanilla ice cream is a great depression meal dessert. Oh, yeah. Apple pie with vanilla ice cream is great, so why not warm applesauce and vanilla ice cream? It just makes sense. Could I have them do wind for free? Could I have them do static for free? Max MP up might be nice. It eventually will duration by 20%. Or snow for free. Or can I spin? You know, I haven't given him a new free element. Let's give him lightning. A little lightning dog. And Barrett could give him ice. Enhanced physical guard might be good. Uh, increases HP by 10% when healing. Increases defense by 35. Yeah, that's pretty good. Increases overcharge real armor centers. Yeah, give me that. I like some cinnamon pancakes with some apple pie filling on top. That's pretty galaxy brain. That sounds really good. Ice cream depression is bad, just hits different. You gotta treat yourself. You gotta be nice to yourself. Yeah, all right. Let's do a quick save. Highly recommend. It's not good. McDonald's Sprite, specifically from McDonald's. I have my pancakes with maple syrup and a fork. Ain't nothing wrong with, oh. Uh, um. Okay. Um. That's neat. Y'all got some crystals in here. Hello. I remember this guy kicking my butt a bit in the OG. No. What is it? Their ire manifests once more. Do not underestimate this foe! Oh, yeah! Talk about an axe to grind. Why the hell is this thing pissed at us? 
Anguish thrashing. So relatable. Uh, oh, oh. Okay. The leader of the Gi, a people who were driven to extinction and cursed to roam as spirits, rejected by the life stream. He and his clan have been sealed in an underground cave, left to fan the flames of their hatred and the red miasma that envelops them. Inflicting enough damage will pressure him. A curse will activate when the soul flames possess a statue. They can have HP, have MP, deplete ATB, or shrink the battlefield. Staggering him will undo the curse. Doom will inflict instant death after a certain amount of time. How do I circumvent Doom? Uh, okay. That'll be fine, I'm sure. Let me, uh, get some of this going. No, no. Stop it. Phantasmal Scourge! We're fine. Just watch. Yeah. Now I'll show you. Uh, you and me. No one messes with me. Bring in the heat. Oh, oh no. Leave it to get, me. get him. Help him out. Help him out. Uh, you know, I did want to try. Just see if there's even the option. Um, I can use... Can I use anything on him? I didn't mean the shit. Hey, Barrett. Um, like a potion. Yeah, those work. What happens if I use a phoenix down on it? Oh! Okay, he did not like that. It didn't delete him or anything, but... He tried to give him unsolicited uppies. Get him! Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's good. Nailed it. Don't count me up yet. Duel. Guess it's my turn. He's almost pressured. Golden opportunity right here. Yeah, there. There you go. Fuck him up. Um. Yeah. Get him. Hmm. Just that's fine. Holy shit, Baron. Yeah, get him. Give it all you got. Now the fun begins. Oh, Vengeance Boat's smart for when he staggered. Hello. Oh! Oh, you're very fun. Um. Where's a big bucket of water when you need it? Soul fl What is this? <laughs> Enkindled spirits of the geese summoned by Gita talk. They only should curse once they find a statue to possess. Oh, good God. Once their time has passed, if there's something, they'll possess a statue. Oh, no. They're immune to a lot of shit. Um. Uh. Shit. I need both of my ATB meters. I want him to Stardust Ray. Let's summon in Shiva. B. 
Banjo Kazooie popping in to say hi. Yeah, that's what it felt like. Ma'am, can you get to blasting, please? There's a lot of these guys. Uh, yeah, that's that's no wait. This 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 group. There's so many of them. Possession? No, 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 no. Oh, no, you don't. Uh... Yep. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Execration of the gi. Uh, uh. MP has been Oh my god. He just did a bunch of shit. Bonk him on the noggin. Whoa, that was close. Stop it. Oop, do it. Nice cozy area. Yeah, we're having a good time. Nice. How are you you in trouble now? Yeah, yeah. Um Is he weak to Is he immune to poison? He is not immune to poison. What are those icons? Hey, we haste the Gred got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of abilities that I forget about as soon as I max out the proficiency. He's mean the petrify, stone, slow, and morphable. So yeah, poison him. Although red has a better poison. No, don't. No, don't. No, don't. No, don't. No, don't. Yeah. Uh, that's not great. That's not great. That's not great. That's not great. Um. Now, more of them. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that. Yep, up, 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 up. Yep, up, 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 up. Um. Yeah, just get blasting them. I thought I did good because I blew up all of them last time. Yeah. One is already possessing? Come on now. That you don't need to do that. What if I what if I do What if I do this? Does that do AoE? Okay. I was like, that'd be great if that actually impacted other guys. No, no. Hey, get back here. Get back here. You. No, don't. Oh, no, you don't. Smackdown's good. This gotta be some good abilities. MP have ATB balance the trunk. Great. Um, what's that ATB haste thing you were talking about? Boy, we have a lot of stuff. Have there's something I'm shaking. Keep it there. Does that work on him? It did. Ow. That's fine. Doom! Doom! Uh oh. The Doom countdown has begun. 
Oh, that's going real quick. Um. Hey, is that a thing I can circumvent? Do I have items for this? Uh, what counteracts doom? Uh, all detrimental status effects. That's bad. Death cures it? Okay. Okay, great. Do or die. All right. Oops. Let's go mode. Wait. Oh, baby! That's how you block. No. No. Boy, that's counting down real quick, ain't it? Uh, wait. No. No. Uh. Shit. Just blast him. Fuck it. Damn it. Fuck. Do this. Do this. Please die. Whew. That went well. Good timing on that limit break. Oh. Hello. Rancor everlasting. Well done. You've become quite the formidable fighter. That grows quite park bones, Nanaki. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? <laughs> I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone. <laughs> he was a black robe guy? Oh no. Let us consult with one. Or qualified. That's a pog bones from the chat, Nanaki. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Oh. I'm assuming this is where we came in. Oh, goopy stairs. Man. Yeah. Just gonna hop on the bench real quick. There you go. It's time to learn the truth of the th secrets of the realm of Nanaki's past and then the, and the planet. All of, it's all coming together. What is Pogus, Nanaki? What compelled me to say that? The Wall of Honor. Meh. Yeah. On your marks. Oh no. The Watcher of the Veil fought valiantly and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait. Is that. Seto? My father? No. There's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh, oh, oh. why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto, who asked me to see her off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid, because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore. 
Heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> But this is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Vale once more. But I'm a Watcher now. I gotta protect our home, like he did. Listen to me, Anaki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, you start to believe you've seen it all, but no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki, before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry. We will. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki. Watcher of Cosmo Canyon. And son of Seto, protector of our veil. to me. My name is Guy Natak. O oh, brave and noble Seto, I beseech you once more, hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. The warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. turn of events indeed we'll back you up for two thousand <laughs> no this one's free <laughs> does cloud have a sense of humor or not no. Hey, Cloud, everything all right? You're doing your I want to kiss somebody face. What's going on? Within that piece, flesh is a tumult of emotion. See to it that Nanaki remains safe. Oh, oh, oh. Our world is filled with wonders. 
I bet you'll seek them out. <laughs> Cloud Stride. We will escort fellow Bugenhagen back home. Take care, friends. Please look after Nanaki for us. Blessings of the planet be upon you all. Yep, up, 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 up. Oh, there he is. I was like, I don't see him. He's up there. Yeah, that's a very good scene in the original too. Let me let me see if I can find the uh, the little pre-rendered. Um. It's a good little pre-rendered sequence in the original. Um. Is he still conscious? I mean, he cries. Is this the shot? Beep, 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 beep. Um, I think this is it. I thought it was like from the side. Maybe there's more than one shot of it. But it is pretty good. Yeah, there's also this. I think this is part from the cutscene that plays. You're not dead when you're still in FF. Usually someone's like super petrification. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, every chat just like, just cast, just cast the Suna on him. Somebody. That's the disc change image. Gotcha. I was like, I don't remember that, but yeah, I think the second one I showed is on the cutscene. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, when I playing it on the Switch, it doesn't show you the disc change art. Get that super soft. Well, in we go. Although. I got it. Yeah, I got. All right. <laughs> like, uh, hold on, hold on. Um, yep, up, 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 up. Let's get. You know what? I, well, yeah. Who do I want in my party right now? Honestly, this is fine. Cloud Red and Kate. Let's just get some stuff off of Barrett. Like the assess. We got magnify, which I want for cure. Not that. Uh, healing, which has more, yeah, probably that, and AP up, I can't link to anything, though I probably should, such as, what, get that HP up going, I could swap out this HP up for that one, and... Drop warding over there. Where that HP up go? It's one of these. There you go. Um, just toss that over there. Magic efficiency. Fire poison. Wait, where the um? He has fire and ice. There we go. Fire and ice. Lightning and wind. MP up. Probably good. Fire poison is fine. Fucking fine. Yeah. Make sure you stock my gold needles or Asuna. Yeah. Thanks. Um, we're good. Although I don't know if I have Asuna on anyone. So actually, that's a good point. Um, we have a lot of gold needles though, and by a lot I mean at least one. Um, does anyone have? Instead of binding. Um. What is Asuna on? It's on cleansing, which I could level up. So that's not a bad idea. Maybe as soon named. I like healing magnify though. Uh, maybe we toss it on to red. So yeah, the level boost is on luck. So let's swap those and swap that and then put this here, cleansing. So now I got a suit on there. All right. I could also do. Well, I couldn't do it. Yeah, never mind. I was like, I could magnify it, but then I would lose the level boost. That works. And I don't think I can. I make gold needles. I can. I have twelve of them. If that ain't enough, then I deserve to die. Let's go. This one is more for VR missions where you can't use items. Can anyone explain to me why we're even taking this detour? Anyone? 
Cause some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to, you know, save our homeland. How can you talk like that in a place like this? I'm scared of it in the lips here. I don't know. This gi dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning. Stay alert. This is new, right? I don't recall a guy showing up after the stuff with Nanaki and his dad. To be like, hey, follow me down here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't remember any of this. Hello. The home of the Gi lies beyond. Also, Bugenhagen didn't explain shit. Begin our journey. I thought he was gonna have new information about the whispers so and stuff. Maybe What's these for us? maybe these guys Unless do. Materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention materia. My people are also in search of it. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all aboard. George Washington. <laughs> Would have stayed longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. I promise. Try swaying with the rocking of the boat? I want to move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Well, only because he mentioned materia. Be quiet. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears in due time reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> you are indeed one of them, by lineage alone. You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. Their history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. Yeah, I was trying to place his voice, and I'm pretty sure it's this... I don't know if it's meant to be this guy, but the, um... Meanwhile, Zack? Um... So there I am. Oh, wait. On the ground, bleeding out, watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. Only, it isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. It tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. I'm feeling every single force. One minute, I'm outnumbered, and the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. Yeah, it seems like 
I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that, that all of... And now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Jesse Wedge and Biggs all die in the original. Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. It, the, the way that they showed the whisper flying by and all the fire disappeared almost made it seem like, yeah, he like, is like, this is the bigs from our timeline that jumped to this timeline. It could just be indicating something else, but yeah. So the, the, the voice of the Gi on the boat, he sounds like the same voice actor as people in chat were pointing it out um, from the initial trailer, the reveal trailer for FF7 remake. Not the PS3 tech demo that didn't have any voice acting. When they first went, hey, we're actually remaking FF7, there was like shots of Midgar and it showed Tifa, Baird, and Cloud walking around and he's like, there's been an awakening. I don't remember what he said, but it was a really good voice. And I don't think that voice actor was in remake, but he's here. It was neat. It's a good trailer. Pretty sure the guy who played uh, Geralt in Three Houses. I mean, I'm sure he's a voice actor, with, but he's been in a bunch of stuff. But I don't think he was in uh, FF7 Remake. And it sounds just like him. So. Sure, the before that. Yeah, I got confused so, too. I forgot about how's that. How's Cloud holding up? Mako Poisoning's done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, Hope Springs Eternal. Right. <laughs> if he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been no through ten times that work. shit. Are we talking about the same cloud? No, Come on. The down, Guy's desperate to prove himself. Not us. like he needs to. Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. Huh. Hey, why don't you try picking up some work as a merc? A zack of all trades. Why? The top of the ship. Yeah. One's not enough. I'll think about it. Now I'm extra confused. I thought it was bad before. Bigs jump the timelines. Is it true? Oh, that's wild. Get a load of this. Uh, okay. no, Cloud's baby. Let's see. The destruction of Sector Seven was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off Petal Lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. Thank you, Orange. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks will risk it all. Wait, don't tell me you're going. Yeah, maybe. The things I do for friends. I, I need to, um, I need to look at Remake again. Um, because I don't remember it super well. He does his fucking squats in the pause. That's great. Um, the, uh, uh, I don't think we see Biggs or Wedge die in Remake. I think Jesse they have a scene with. Where Cloud's like, no, you, we, we, I, you gotta give me a pizza. And she's like, yep. And then, eh. And then I think you see Biggs at the stairs where they showed him getting, like, taken away. Um, and then I think you see Wedge where he goes back to the sector to get a bunch of cats. And you see him surrounded by Whispers. Wedge was killed by the Whispers? We saw him. Well, yeah, I thought we... He's, like, grabbing the cats and he's surrounded by Whispers. And the plate falls right after. So it's very clearly implied... But if he got slurped to another dimension, maybe he's, maybe he's okay. Maybe he's bar okay. I don't know. Wedge was pushed out of a window of Shinra Tower, but the screen cuts to black. Oh, I don't remember that at all. He got in the Shinra Tower? 
When did he get... So that is that after the... Play, it must be after the plate falls. He's seen the tower later. He's alive with Marlene. Wedge was a shame to... I gotta look that up again. Good enough summary of FF7. I mean, I'm confused. I don't remember being in the tower. I gotta rewatch that. I kind of wonder how that rift looks to all the folks topside. Yeah, that's not good. Spoilers for Cosmo Kid. Well, you don't gotta spoil that. Also, if Wedge is dead, we don't know. Oh. <laughs> He's dragging me forward. We don't know if um hey, he got teleported you to this universe. About your purpose in life? This timeline. What you're doing here? That's the point. Sure. From time to time. Or all the time. Anyway. I never have guessed. Didn't used to, but things changed. Yeah. Went through a lot after I joined Shinra, like a lot. Chose you did not need it. I asked, cause ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all this time I've been given. I just very I I, I don't know yet if I like this or not. Did the remake need this timey whammy bullshit? Probably not. Is it interesting? Uh depends on what they do with it. So far, it's just like, huh? I kind of need to see where they're going with this before I can decide if I like this or not, because the stuff with the whispers in the original were just kind of like, this is a weird idea of like a meta narrative of the remake has to toe line to line with the original, and they're like, now it doesn't. But the fact of the FF7 remake not being tied to the original is an interesting point of like, it can diverge in small ways, but more significantly in large ways now that the whispers are out of the picture, but now they're kind of back in the picture. And now we have like people being in alternate dimensions, and I'm like, I, I, I what is this for? And I, I, I'm assuming this game will give us a little bit, but we won't get a full understanding until the part three of the remake. And if it turns out that it doesn't matter, then I'll be mad about it. If they do interesting, cool things with it, then I might be like, okay, that's fine. Regardless, it made me play through the original FF7, and I had a great time, and that exists, and this game doesn't touch that. So. They're not retroactively going, you thought that's what happened in FF7, but actually it's this. They're going, this is a new retelling of the story and things are different. So, the original game is still good. It's still a fun time. I was able to get through it as someone who's really bad at JRPGs. So, uh, anyone can play it. You can have a good time. You can look up, look up guides if you get stuck. And it holds up well, I think. Especially with modern ports that give you little cheats and stuff to speed up the game and stuff. So, I think it's, it's, I think it's more interesting than if it was exactly one-to-one -one the same. If it was exactly one the one the same, I'd be like, alright, it's fine. We're playing through it, having fun. But now it's like, what is what is this is new, this is different, so yeah. But there's there's the two types. There's the 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 Gi guy is taking us to his clan? Or so I don't know what that's about. That's new and different. And then there's this, which is like, huh? So there's like two levels of like I imagine the people that hate this are probably less mad about new stuff in the cloud world, you know, of like you know, things are different here. It's like, you know, anyway, I'm going to just shove and play through the Zack stuff and get back to whatever it was. Yeah, that's how I feel about it, in a nutshell. Hey, Biggs. Big one eventually. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. Sorry. Uh, worth noting, per several interviews, Nomura wants it to be more like the OG. Katase and Nojima are the ones playing with their old writings. That's interesting. So no more blaming Nomura for anything. Other, may, other than maybe character designs. <laughs> this is on this is on Katase and Nojima. There you yeah. Go. Cause one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit reactor one. So uh how long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. My internal clock's busted. Yeah. Mine too. What's that These about days, anyway? Every time I sleep. <laughs> Good question. I dream about all the things I wish I'd done differently. Is everyone in this timeline from other timelines? So, what do you think's gonna happen to our? I'm so confused. Don't know. Welcome to the news. People are sitting. Hey! I just like that the game is acknowledging that I was like, when is this? You know. I'm sorry I keep pausing. I promise I'll stop. Because Zack shows up, and then you see, like, everyone after the reactors and, like, Shinra, and it's like, how did, huh? And now they're like, huh? So, like, it's consistent in that the timelines are not matching up, and they're aware of that, so it's fine. I'm okay with it. 
If they were just like, oh, everything's fine, I'd be like, wait, ha but how? How is any of this? So, yeah, anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I prefer yeah, being number two or three. Suits me much better. The yeah, sky is falling apart. Camping. Like, the guy who only has to worry about the how. Doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. And who might that be? You were the guy uh, with Aerith, right? Whoever brought you Is back, I guess. We can and do assuming there was someone, who could it have been? <laughs> That's a good question. Hey, kids. You have to unfreeze the kids. Now they're playing red light, green light. Let's just do what we want. Start and folks and stuck it's just up ahead. Keep your eyes peeled. Copy. Is this the bad timeline? Well, it's the bad... It's the timeline where fans get what they want. It's the timeline where Zack's alive. And Biggs for some reason. Everyone loves Biggs. Hello. Empty lot. Yakuza. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> hmm? Huh. New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. Goodbye. <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. It's the monkey's pot time. Here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. <sighs> Big Star Clive's one Sorry for go. wasting your time. It's true. It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's got to be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. You know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> the world's lucky to have you. It's a start. Hmm. Anyway, I gotta run. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. What on earth? Think about what I said. You gotta hold your dreams like this. I I should no, like this. Head on too. Hold your dreams like this. Oh, okay, like this. Yeah, now you got it. Oh, huh. It's beautiful. Like that. Hold it like a rat. What was the purpose of this cutscene? <laughs> Just... Alright, what, what you got in there? Kyrie forgot her backpack, which is filled with traveling supplies. Perhaps she is. Sh Perhaps she hoped to join Avalanche after all? What? Why? What? When at any other point in the game have you interacted with a thing and then text pops up on the side? Like it's a text adventure. Alright. Now. Since now. Hey, you guys. Kyrie. Yeah. We gotta explain it. Welcome home. Welcome home. Guess who I just saw? Biggs. Really? Uh. Said he'd visit too. Oh yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? Oh, uh, sorry. Forgot to ask. Aww. Kyrie. Zach, 
Would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Just hop in a live stream, kiddo. Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. That sounds menacing. <laughs> you wanna see him now, kiddo? You wanna go see your pops? Text popped when I know the UP's chalk drawing in Mount Coral. That's true, but I didn't inter interact with it. That's just when you get near it. It's me. It's a very minor um, actually. The wind. That was you, wasn't it? Was it? She might be tied to the whispers. Hello in there. Kyrie roughly means have a mercy. Which is how I feel when Kyrie shows up. I mean, as far as we know, we actually, we don't know anything about the whispers. What? 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 Can the live stream transcend dimensions? We've arrived. Village of the Gi! Yes. <laughs> Is that where they're going with this? A fish grabbed my hand. I mean, if the live stream... Still standing. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it, we've been checking in on Zack like once a chapter or so. I'm progressing his story a little bit. Hmm? Bye. Oh. Welcome to the village of the Gee. Alright. I wonder if important stuff will happen here or if it's just gonna be more fighting dudes. And they were like, well, we can't have the Cosmo Canyon section just be one little dungeon. I guess we'll see. A ceremonial staff. A ceremonial staff. I forgot to. Well, I guess I haven't done anything with Kate Sith. Um, wait, not not you. You. Hey, you. You want to have a ceremony staff? ATB ward. Conjure a ward. Fill ATB charges within the ward to increase your allies' ATB gauges. Ooh. Activate the effects of the ward one time only while ward is on the field. One time only. If you dispel the ward and make a new one, can you do it? I guess we'll find out. Um, neat. That seems good. Um, uh, that has two material slots. Great. What are the other ones she's got in there? Prayer and HP up. You walk up morph. Get rid of that. You slap that over there. Slap that over there. Uh huh. Uh, fire, enduring ward, spiritual harm is going to run every children. MP up, altruistic buff up, extends the duration of beneficial status effects by the wielder. Next, MP. Magic. And she has ice and lightning. Alternatively, I could give her fire and ice and lightning and wind and make her actually a decent. <laughs> for like the first time ever, make her decent at magic. Because I kind of keep uh, making her garbage and then going, well, I don't want to use her. She stands there and casts shitty little magic and it does nothing. And wind. Her lightning. There you go. Now Cloud's got some stuff. She's got some stuff. Do I want any of these? That magnifying level boost. Yeah, everything's fine. He's still got... Um, or no. Red has our Asuna. Let's just see how it goes. If I start getting hit with Petrify left, right, and center, and I'm running out of golden needles, we can try using that. Um, maybe I should try to get some points on that so I don't need to use level boost on it, though. So I could... I could swap out for... 
Um, don't I have Kate Sith in my party too? Yeah, I do. I mean, I I will. Uh, so maybe Kate Sith can grab it because he's got a billion things I'm not using, uh, like uh, empowerment. There you go. Um, yeah, uh, cleansing. There you go. Get that going. Get that leveled up. And you know what? Let's get that AP up chewing on it. And real quick, make sure I get the party. Get Aerith in there. One place I got closest to Petrify Wipe. Yeah, I mentioned that that happened uh, when I went back to the OG after a couple years of not playing it. Um, where I came back. I got Yuffie in my party and then fought dudes in the forest where I got Yuffie outside of Costa del Sol. And these dragons blasted me with... Um, with Petrify. And then I won the battle, but the timer hit zero, and then I died. <laughs> it was like, game over. You lost all your progress, because there's no autosaves. So that was great. Um, okay. Good. So Aerith needs to... Actually, let me check this really quick. That is better defense for worse magic defense. That is just better, but fewer materia slots. But only slight... Eh, she's fine with that. And the Platinum Earrings is Magic Power, or is there something else? I gave a Cess back to Cloud, right? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, hey, Cloud, you have a Cess? Is that what this is? Perfect. Gam. Gam. It's Gam. Final Fantasy, and yet it's the seventh one. Not so final Checkmate Atheist. It's the second seventh. Again. Hi. Hope you're doing well, Gam. Petrifies a bitch and have interesting way to work in an action setting. Yeah, I'm assuming it's the same as like Doom, where it just adds a counter, which was how it worked in the original. But I guess we'll find out. I think we're good. Uh, okay, but yeah, Aerith needs to conjure a ward, fill ATP changes, activate the effects one time while in battle, and he just needs to finish off an enemy with Moogle magic. Moogle magic. And I'm gonna goddamn save the second, second seven. Some of those. Uh, you got anything cool in here? No. They do sell gold needles for 100 a pop. But I can also make more. If need be. Hey. Right. And how are we doing here? We got some stuff to do. Jetstream Sam. Wait. I made myself excited. Increases elemental damage by 3%. Increases duration. I feel like it's size. Increases HP recovery by 10% when healing party members. Done. Increases max. Do. Do 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 do. Do 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 Uh, Kit Sniff can do what? Mega Moogle Mash! Aerith embiggens Kate Sith's Moogle and launches it at an enemy. Isn't embiggen a Simpsons word? Like a word that they invented? I could be mistaken. There's a number of words that were originated from the Simpsons that just have entered the public lexicon. That's a cromulent ability. <laughs> I don't know if anyone can confirm if that's true, but it is. That's sweet. Thanks to the Simpsons, we have a good word in Final Fantasy. Uh, that's great. By that fraud Springfield. Officially recognized the real word. Right, it, it, again, it's a, like meh. Meh also came from the Simpsons, if memory, meh, Marie, is correct. Um, Clown's got 15 points. So they're not words people associate with the Simpsons anymore, but came from them, which I think is neat. Hold the button to gather strength, team up your partner, unleash a charge attack. Melee blade is neat. Increases only gauge rate. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that. I was saving it for that for a while. Cool. Anything else worth five points? Probably not. Okay. Matt came from the Simpsons. I'm like 85% sure. 86% sure. Memory. We should do more stuff with the other Final Fantasy worlds. There's so many in 7. Well, 7 is... 
one of the most well-known Final Fantasies. A very beloved entry. A very successful entry. So. I get it. But maybe the success of 7 Remake will result in... I mean, people have been clamoring for like 6 or 9 to get maybe not similar treatment. I mean, they recently said they're not going to remake 6 because it would be too much. And it's like, but they don't have to do this to it. You know. Same with 9. Like, they don't have to blow it up to 3 games. 8. Yeah, 8 is a controversial one from what I understand. 4. Spinoffs. Yeah. 6 and 9. Nice. <laughs> Y'all hear that just now? No. Our flesh is gone, yet our spirits are condemned to linger. God, his voice. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. I feel for you. Can only imagine how tough that's been. My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you. Lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means... These dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean, are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both. Yeah, huh? Wait, some mad. We will not rest till the materia is ours. Um. Wait, some mad was a Yiddish word? Someone said, she's going that way. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, cool. Nothing here. Goodbye. Yeah. Yes, what you keep saying. ATB Ward on air. Proficiency bonus game. Sweet. Ow. Ow. Uh, let's ride. Ow. Hit him with Moogle magic. Yeah, get him, Titan. Oh. Proficiency bonus game is... Okay, so Kate Sith has been... Okay, golden needle. Golden, golden, golden needle. Wait, Cloud is also being petrified? Oh. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, um, 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 uh, yeah, uh, yeah, cloud. So, how does it work? Because I'm seeing that there's the little meter underneath her ATB meter. Is it just once that fills up, or once you get a, it's gradual. Come on. Oh, I'm going to just die from normal damage. 
Hold on. Can I do this again? I can. Master Google magic. Sweet. Yeah, here, buddy. Whoop. This music is rad. Petrifies explained in the manual. Good idea. Uh, battles. Status effects. Petrify slowly turned to stone, KO'd when fully petrified. Meh. That's what I figured. I don't know if there's more to it than that. Mini games. Oh my God, there's so many. <laughs> uh, hmm. uh, okay. We can swap out Kate's sip for someone else, or we can keep him. I do like him, but I wonder who would be better. Maybe Barrett, because of his range. Taking damage of the status effect fills the petrify. Gotcha. Yeah, this is rad. Uh, Alright, Kate Sith. See you later. Thanks for hanging. And where is he? Lock up revival, AP up cleansing. Could do that. It's warding. You know, you're just gonna eh. And eh. Um, revival. Sure. Wind healing. Don't I have a better healing? I think I do. Lightning, HP up. Unique ability. Wind. Red has it. Yoink. And. Hmm. Does he have HP up? He does. Is there a. Better. Yep. Oh, Yuffie has a very good one. Yoink. Here, you can have a less good one. Enjoy, kid. And... Morph. Why not? Okay. It's a real threat you need to play around. It seems to come on with a vengeance. Gotta be careful. Stealing the good material from the material thief. Yeah. It was our pain to be spurned by the planet forevermore. Thus did we resolve to forge our own path to salvation. Okay. Materia, you mean? We long to lay hands on the materia of peace. Uh huh. Materia of Peace. I'm assuming that's holy, but maybe it's something else. But we've got bad news for them if they're looking for holy. Yeah. Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, okay. Don't, don't, don't. No, don't, no, don't. Please don't, dead. Shit. Ah, that was a bad, that was a very bad play. Uh, uh. Yeah. Don't overdo it. I'll show you what I can do. Whoa. Hello. Hello. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. A little bit. Bless them. 
This is going great. This is going really well. You know, do they have a morph? They do not. Does not seem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you just eh. Get him. A lot of damage on top of Petrify. They're spicy. I mean, I remember the um Let me pray again. Yeah, bleh, 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 bleh. I mean, I recall the the uh, the the what you call it, the little dungeon we did with Bugenhagen. It's beautiful. I am gonna turn it down a smidge. Um, I recall the the dungeon you run through with Bugenhagen uh, being a bit spicy in the original, where I wasn't under leveled, but things were hitting really hard. And it seems like maybe that that's what this is now. It's meant to be like the, the skill check. Are you doing good? I don't know. Yeah, I could use more potions on him. These spiders, man. So they're, they're looking for material that can actually kill their souls or something. Neat. Yeah, the Gi were not given this much attention in the original. But it's kind of neat. Capitalism material. Never played seven, and I played most of them. You ever played seven? You should play seven. It's neat. But this was not in the original seven. This is new. Hello. Hello. All right. You good? He's good. Oh, they're all. Oh, there's. Oh. All right. I like that Yuffie's leading the charge here because they're talking about materia. Oh, hi. Wide open space to fight dudes. Don't know about y'all. But I got a sinking feeling. Think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. Little late for that. <laughs> what do you think he wants us to do for him? That's what they want.
Is that good? Don't worry about it. Ooh, the music. Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. It's fucked up, Cloud. Don't know how far we can let this go. But for now, we play along. Hmm. Hmm. This is this is becoming more interesting to me. Cause at first I was like, okay, they 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 are expanding the Cosmo Canyon section with a second dungeon. Sure, why not? But uh it's neat. Uh did Aerith get her thing? She didn't yet. Almost. One more. Is building up to a T fending with versus Aerith ending when they use the black material side of the G. I don't think it's that. I think they're just giving more context for the black material, which shows up in the original, but anyway. Yeah. A sorcerer. So they are aliens. They just kind of show up out of nowhere. Yeah, I didn't mind it. I wasn't like, I'm confused. Just, uh... What you can do. <laughs> ah! Sir. Go on. There we go. Well, ah! What? Are there two sorcerers? Were there two of them? Wait. Uh, there sure were more sorcerers. Oh my god. Turns out a spellcaster can be pretty good in this game. Kill the sorcerer! Quick, no! <laughs> Damn it. Uh, we're about to die, aren't we? Um... No! Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't do that. Don't, instead. Damn it! Everything's fine. Everything's chill here. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, no, I, I get I get it, I get it, it's fine. I just want to do another prayer real quick. That'd be nice. Alright. Hey, where's, where's the, uh, wait. Final sorcerer. Great. And then the other one. Eh, we don't need a summon. Blow up the sorcerer. Boom. Bam. No. Don't let him. Cloud hit him with fire. Thank you. That went great. Have the FF games about aliens to be real? Yeah. A weird number of Final Fantasy games do have aliens in them. They're just not always like... You know, I don't know. Aliens in the, like, spooky gray alien sense. Um, about this. And how about a mixed potion? And, uh, they're never, like, great. Yeah, exactly. It's just, like, weird alien, like, not aliens. You know, weird creatures that just could be anything, but they're like, oh, actually from another plane of existence or something. He just smile and nod, and then you kill them. But it's a neat backstory to give specifically to the Gi. 
and kind of explains why they're sort of undead. I think it's an interesting idea in terms of a thing they could have expanded on from the original. Neat. Am I going backwards? I think I'm going backwards. Yeah, I'm going backwards. I was like, that's neat. This looks familiar. Yeah, sorry about that. I keep dropping it down. This area is like several decibels louder than everything else in the game. Like I, I've been like hovering around like minus five decibels for gameplay and then like up to like minus two or so for cutscenes. And this area, what? This area is just like way louder. So yeah, please always let me know about volume because I'm hearing it at the same volume as you are, but obviously I'm not trying to hear myself talk. So. Those not born of the life stream can now I'm turning back up. Its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our soul sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release. Yeah, right. Uh, whoop, okay. Yeah, I was gonna try adjusting the volume. I know I have the music down a little bit. They're very con We're all very concerned. Uh, you can- there's a cider just for the volume, but... Can't just- can't touch it right now. Anyway, Shrine to Oblivion! Hello. We fighting? You wanna go? From the planet, we claim the greatest of materia. A most sacred treasure. And imbued it with our desire for freedom. Thank you. That's very kind. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice, knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. The planet's not rejecting the Gi, they're not from the planet. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Damn, Cetra. That's cool. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it. The Black Materia. He to our oblivion. Oh. Please. It alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. The narrative from Soul Calibur 2. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Have they done the original it? planet? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. Wait, are we doing this now? A place of Cetra worship or temple. You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now, hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. Hmm. He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. Huh? Hmm. Alas, it appears we have been discovered. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment.
That's a weird layer of xenophobia. Again, my, my read on it isn't that the planet's rejecting them. It's that they're not from this planet. They're life stream that exists within them. Wow. Uh -oh. uh, I Can't return to a source it's not from. Yeah. And their planet doesn't exist anymore, so their souls have nowhere to go. I mean, just going off what they're saying, but I don't think... We need I to get moving. Yeah. Right. It can't process it or something. Only the link can defeat... I'll make papers. you proud, Dad. Just wait. Bum 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 bum. Bo 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 bo. It ge it ge gives the live stream indigestion. What were it's they discovered? Good to see you again. Oh hi. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. Yeah, all right, okay. Yeah, during one of the battles, they were talking about how the, uh... <laughs> their planet exploded. It, like, collided with this planet's star or something. Give him back their materia. That was they a called it their salvation or whatever. But to me, it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. Nope. No way in hell are we letting them have it. Can't let him have it either. Him? Sephiroth, did no one else sense him? No. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I'll believe you. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying Sephiroth's after the Black Materia too? Probably. Oh. Better to assume he is. Well, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my Materia! So, Kate Sith, I gotta ask, how do you know about the Cetra Temple anyway? Uh, well, I, uh, I wouldn't say I know about it exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. The terminal, huh? They set any up here? I think so. But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. Boogie! Boogie hoogie. Boogie hoogie. There he is. <laughs> Thank heavens you're alive. I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. No. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon, so... Where is it? Oh... Well, what did become of that thing? He actually has hands in there. Ah, yes. Now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say. Though it was quite a lot. Did you destroy it? But now it serves a decidedly more... practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Cetra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Cetra never engaged in such practices. I didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead yeah, it is a sign of importance to the Cetra that you seek, Texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh... The village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. Yo. 
My man literally Simba. Traversing the settlement. What? Speak with one of the guides and they will escort you to various places around the settlement. Okay, fast travel. A privileged service offered only to the guests of fellow Boogie Dog. Fellow Boogie. <laughs> the workings of our planet are most fascinating, no? Yeah. I, li I like Booby Hogger. That robed man is at the I was worried gate. at first, but they gave One him a little mini arc. Is tending to him for now. They gave him a little arc where he came around and be like, okay, I guess you young people are all right with your crazy visions and theories. Let's clarify the reunion story then. Yeah, we haven't gotten to the reunion stuff yet. We've just seen guys saying reunion. When? I don't recall. Oh. Oh. Neat. Are those meant to be Cetra or what? There's like live stream up there. Or no, those are the Gi and then those are the guys up on top, like sealing them away. It's gotta be what it is. Um, when, when does the black materia first crop up in the original? And then like learning it. I think that's much later than this. But maybe they do learn about it. I mean, it clearly it wouldn't have been in that context because all that was new. Ho ho, I realize my name is Boobinit. <laughs> Gold saucer guys, the Sephiroth was looking for it. Aggressively clarifies everything but the entirely new stuff. You know. Definitely later. Could be easier to follow now. I was not confused about the reunion stuff. I feel like by the time they explained it near the end, or pretty far along, I was like, okay, I, I get it. At least I maybe made assumptions about how it works, and they lined up enough with what was At happening that I got it. It's Disc One Temple of the Agents? You don't learn about the black material till the Temple of the Agents? Really? Then why are you at the Temple of the Agents if it's not... I don't remember. Eh. I'm going here, Cloud. And he puts a big point on the map. Wait, but oh, oh, wait. So it's after Gold Saucer 2? I'm trying to remember. I mean, I even looked up the order of the first game and I've already forgotten. Whispers, the Whispers Done took it all. Alright. I could just fast travel there, like they told me to. Hello. Blessings of the planet be Wait. upon you. Are no. You in need of guidance? No. I, I was gonna forget. We're at the Cosmo Canyon, Cloud. A long-standing dream of mine has finally come true. Planetology rejects our Mako-consuming society, insisting that we have much to learn about this world. And now, we have the opportunity to share in their planetary knowledge. What we think the third name is going to be, it won't, it won't be Reunion. Yeah, I thought it was going to be Reunion and then Crisis Core Remake use Reunion. My money's on Requiem? That's pretty good. Um, I'm going to do the Kate Sith tutorial. People kept telling me to do it. Do you get the part of the key to tell me the OG? Yes. Well, I mean, that, that's the thing we haven't gotten to yet. But in the original, they learn about the, the, the Temple of the Ancients and uh, they have to go back to the Gold Saucer to get the key back. And a bunch of other stuff get, happens there. We're not there yet, so I don't know what's happening. But, um... Tutorial, Kate Sith. Tell me what to do. Oh, I want Evil Chadley, too. Desperately. I don't know what I'm... Return? Renew renewal? Renewal could be good. Ooh. Press square to perform combo attacks with Kate Sith's megaphone. Hold it down to unleash a magical sound wave that harms nearby opponents. Pressing square after dodging will unleash a magical sound wave. Try and go by himself to execute Kitty while pouncing attack and also summon a move fight alongside him. You're gonna love this one. Oh, this is goofy as hell. I didn't realize you could just hold square with him. Got him! Stop Got him. <laughs> Bard class, right? Get ready. I'm ready.
Let's ride Sun's giant Moogle. While on the field, the Moogle will attack enemies independently. It will withdraw once it reaches zero. Let's ride while Moogle summoned will fully restore its HP and remount Kate Sith if he's not already mounted. Swiss abilities, including limit break, can only be used while Moogle's on the field. Activating one of these Moogle abilities will help Kate Sith automatically hop aboard his push power. Yo. Yeah. This is goofy as hell. Case of the hop on his move once the summon get this one versus server remount with triangle. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. Single mounted will increase the power of your attacks so they can be gauged faster. Turn the same foe off. What? What does that mean? I'm turning it down. What does that mean? You hop onto your guy, you can hit tackle with square. Sure, hold down for a combo. Targeting the same foe while mounted will increase the power of your attacks and fill the ATB gauge faster. Dismounting will allow you to choose separate targets. I know I can hop off. They're just saying if you're mounted, then you 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 increase power in ATB. I don't even think it's possible to target a different person than the mount. So I don't know why they're specifying that. I think that if... Right, but it says while mounted, Maybe I'm just re-reading re I'm reading into it poorly. Yes, no, I, I get that. It's just, it made it seem like if you're riding him, you have to deliberately target the same guy's mount, but you, it, that happens automatically. It just seems like they're clarifying a thing that doesn't need clarification. It's fine. Yeah, they just, I get it. Excuse me, he did the theme as meowing. It's, uh, yeah, I just, the poo brain, it affects me, so. As the Moogle attacks, Moogle meter will continue to fill up, or strangle will mount it to deplete the meter, activate a Moogle ability. Default level one is drop kick, a powerful physical ability, physical attack. Yeah. 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 Uh, roll the dice. He's fine. As the Moogle attacks, the meter fills. Why is he not... Does he only attack when I'm not riding him? So that filled it up a little bit. But why isn't this attack filled up? Did sound disappear? Hello? Don't hold the direction. Oh. Don't hold far while mounted, it interrupts mod combo. Oh. Why didn't they tell me? Did they tell me that? I, it, okay. Uh, dodge and dive, evade and attack the cannon with reckless charge. If which move, withdraw. Can be someone else on the field. Roll the die. Fire and thunder, hyper beam, arrow blizzard, total outrage, regenerative aura, expansive shield. Sure. Hyper. Oh. I didn't realize that a directional attack while riding the Moogle doesn't count. I guess it makes sense because you're able to reposition. All right. Well, I guess I learned something or several somethings. Thank you. Uh, all right. Goodbye, Chadley. Thanks to you, my archives are filling up with He's a Pokemon. Data. Goodbye. I can't help but wonder where we'll meet. Yeah, all right. So many yeah, okay, kid. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Yep. Are you in need of guidance? Now I can play. I mean, I could before. Just I can be slightly better about it. Cause I was like, yeah, not sure why some things didn't. Nanaki. Add the, the meter. Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. I'm not sure why though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Evil. Tifa and I grew up. Ah, oh, of course. 
house. Mibelheim has a terminal. I'd bet my whiskers on it. It, uh, had a terminal. Cloud, remember what you told Gein attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm gonna prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. We should go. Hey! <laughs> Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. We tunnel through air. the earth. Oh. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then, back to the airstrip we go. No quests are available in the car. Uh, got what? Cloud. Mm -hmm. Proto relic energy signature confirmed. And relatively close to you. While the signal is on the weaker side, it may serve as a good place to start. I'll send you the coordinates right away. Dear. Planetological ruins. The ruins. Yeah, he did a big stretch. Um. <laughs> Two plans of action, chat. Two potential options available to us because um, we didn't make much progress. See, we only did two of four. Oh, granted, we were waiting for a text message from the Goblin King to do more of those. I didn't even go to any of the Proto Relic stuff like Mungaga. Um, we didn't start it. So I'm thinking either we take some time to do Proto Relic stuff now, or I just save it until later in the game, and we try to just kind of knock out a whole bunch of them back to back to back. He's just a goblin. He's just a goblin. So I'll, I'll do a, I'll do a, I'll do a little poll. Um, what you feeling, Proto Relic? N now, do them all later. Yeah. It's time for Mark Four Con. No, never again. Never again. That's what I'm thinking. Is 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 the Proto Rock stuff seems to be pretty involved. Um, so I think doing them. I don't know if it'd be an entire stream, but it'd be like probably a lot of a single stream, just kind of going through and doing them all. And that'd be nice to do before we end the game. Yeah, I, I plan on doing them regardless. The question is just, do we want to get started on this? Because this might be the rest of the stream. Uh, is just doing the Proto Relic versus heading into Nibelheim, maybe doing a little stuff. Yep, bu, 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 bu. Could have actually just mentioned the mansion, the reason why I need Exposition Roadman. I guess it was more about he needed the reminder? And also, it gives us two reasons to go to Nibelheim, one for the terminal and one to be like, well, the Roadmen want to go there. So, yeah. Let me see how that poll turned out. 60% said do it meow. All right. Let's do it meow. Yep. Bo, 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 bo. Uh. What else we need to do the thing there? Scenic spot. I don't even know how the hell to get there. Yeah, I mean, they've been good. I just, the, the only problem was, um, Fort Condor sucked. <laughs> but it still was, the cutscenes were a great time. Um, I think we're gonna just explore out. Well, how do I get off of this area up here and actually drop down? Oh, it's probably the launch pads with the chocobos. Because I didn't do that. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah, also, we there's a new lad, a new friend we can find at uh, Nibelheim. But well, that'll probably be next stream then, by the looks of it. Who knows? Maybe, maybe this proto relic goes quickly. Um, there it is. Call. I can't call my chocobo. There you are. There's a pony. Thank you, Yuvu. Let's ride. Gliding range number one. 
What the fuck is the Skyward Sword? Glide, motion sensor function, descend, ascend. All right. Sure. Where is there? We can activate a tower and make Chadley happy. Anything for Ch Oh god. They're nothing. <laughs> They're weak to ice. Oop. Good. Mm. Tifa's level 37. Tifa? Chill. Tifa, where are you? Great work, Tifa. There she is. She does that every time you get on a chuck one series, it's so annoying. Wait, every time? Nope. You've just gotten incredibly unlucky. <laughs> this is just like Star Wars game. It's just like Star Wars with more Chadley. What? <laughs> Desert Rocky Planet? There's a Star Wars. It does happen way too often. Gotcha. Where's Turgor? Where is my son? Is he safe? We'll find him. Maybe that's what the Proto Rel quest is. It was every time. I mean, listen, I'm about to hop on it again. We're going 200 some meters that away. There's a chest on that rubble over there. Ruin. Oh, man. This this is like my favorite world exploration theme so far. And they've all been good. Just got that that drive and energy. Yeah, you. Pardon me. He's at the Temple of the Ancients. He's waiting for you, Cloud. All right, Yuffie, you gonna do it again? She didn't do it. I, I definitely can understand if it happens too often, but uh, that's one for three. Oh, oh, oh. Where are we going, Mr. Bird? Eh. Yeah. I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's a big old lad. The fuck is that? All right. Uh, more this way. Is it? Is it just this? Hello. What? I see you're approaching the signal. Yeah, huh? The source appears to be somewhere in the canyon's ruins. Thanks, Chadley. These ruins are closely connected with the life stream. And it's thought that they were created to help guide it through the veil. I have complete faith your efforts will greatly aid our planet. Isn't it because of the gliding? The gliding seems like a better version of the bouncy mushrooms from Gongaga. Where you have more, you like launch off and then you get a little bit of control where you want to land. The mushrooms are just like, now you're over here. To just be in the presence of the Nanaki is such an honor. Oh yeah, he's my bro. I beat him at cards once. You. Materia, I smell my precious materia. Where are you? 
No need to be shy, come out. You be's gonna take you home. Oh, well, hello. Oh, the avalanche Yuffie. people. Nile, Hulk, Billy Bob. From Integrate. It's so good to see you. Did you play Integrate? You we were worried you might not have made it out in time. Nothing can kill this bloom. <laughs> good old Billy Bob. Clearly. Hmm? Say, where's Sonon? Um, here. Hey, you three! <gasps> He's fine. Splinter Cell. Well, where are my manners? These guys are from Avalanche HQ. They're the ones who helped me out back in Midgar. And I don't think they need an introduction. Y'all were at the Shinra building, weren't you? Tell me, was Wedge with you? Or did you see him? <sighs> if you can tell me anything, anything at all, please. Wedge, he... I'm sorry. Don't be. Just... I need to know. He's fine. He's... After the Sector 7 plate fell, the things we saw and heard... All the carnage... It was... Hell. The cats got out we though, right? We wanted to help. We really did. But how? It all seemed so hopeless. That's when the call came. From the folks at Avalanche HQ. We learned it was the company that dropped the plate. And that they were gonna drop another... Unless we stopped them. HQ needed volunteers to help storm the Shinra building. This was our chance. We knew it was the right thing to do. All of us. At least one cat survived? Let's go. Huh. Wedge and I ended up being assigned to the same truck. He's got a sandwich. We'll infiltrate the building via the underground parking facility. From there, we make our way up. Taking each and every floor. Hmm. We've lost contact with Lucia's team. <sighs> I think we have to assume they're all. That's enough. First, we'll check in with Matt. On it. <sighs> Let me just scooch on over here. I'm Wedge with the Splinter Cell. Barrett's crew, right? Mm -hmm. Here, try one of these. It'll help you calm down. Thank you. Here, hold this while I eat this one. I'll need that one in a second. Go on, eat up. <laughs> the paper's the best part. And then he lived forevermore. Was heading upstairs to take out the president. I know what you're thinking. Avalanche doesn't do that. But when the plate fell, the rules changed. This is like some MGS3 secret uh, sh secret theater come bullshit. On, man. Get the let out. Don't want to be uh, left behind. Like, here's what Wedge is up to. Assist. Help me out here. This is so goofy. Alright, we're almost there, boys. Yeah. At long last, we're gonna take back our world, find yeah. the bastards who stole it, and send them to hell. Yeah. yeah! I've got friends up there who need to know we're coming. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, but I didn't want them to get hurt, sir. <laughs> Go! I'll catch up! Right. We were all fired up. Ready to fight. <sighs> Is Ty died? Yeah. The mayor killed him. Captain! You got me! Our heroes are down and I've lost contact with the reserve! We're not going to make it to the president's office! Avoid! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Niall! 
couldn't believe it. It was him. I wish his hand Thank was in a you. thumbs up on the ground. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, man. Don't worry. It's all good, bro. No way. No way. Hey, y'all heard that, right? That was Wedge. He's okay. Aaron, those who pass on become one with the life stream. No, it's him. I know what you thought you heard. No, no, it's him. It was probably just the wind. He's alive. His force goes. Whatever. In times past, Toad the yelled and the like pipe. bees to give thanks to the life stream. There aren't many left, so we wanted to help preserve the few still standing. It felt like the least we could do, you know. He All those this. who fine. return to the planet. Hey, Barry, why don't we give them a hand? Help them spruce things up. There anything we can do for you? I don't know. Restore the planetary fonts? They're this region's main source of energy. And kind of like relief valves for the life stream. That looks super evil. But when they're as busted as this one here, you can't even get close to do repairs. Mako's way too dense. So we figured we'd use a probe. Fix the fonts remotely. Whoa! Thing is, little guy's just too old. Probably better off in a junkyard. Than I'll with take us. him. I'll take him. Chadley's like, gimme, 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 gimme. Perhaps I can be of service? Robotics is one of my areas of expertise. Uh huh. Robo Chad? Eight. Robot Chadley. Robo Chad? <laughs> or Robo Chad, if you prefer something abridged. I do, At in any this rate, case. You should now have complete control over him. Go on, ask him to do something. Good night, thanks for hanging. This baby can fit so many mini games. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I have to. Uh, uh, wedge falling off the Shinra HQ would be like. Okay, sorry. I had. I <laughs> He's okay. He's fine. Beep up beep. In Gears and Gambits, you must program robots with gambits and actions. Then send them into battle with the aim of reaching the center of the spring and vanquishing the enemy leader. What? Emerging Victorious will store the planetary font. What? Okay. All right, buddy. Head in the... Head into your battle world. How do I know what to tell him to do? What? Oh, this is... Okay. It's better than Fort Condor? Good. I was about to say. Three types of robot can be deployed. Each operating in accordance with its gambits and actions, which are programmed prior to the battle. Gambits determine a target. Actions determine what the robot will do to that target. For the first battle, let's use the AI set by Chadley. Begin. Okay. I don't know what I'm looking at. Is this Unicorn Overload? Is it? Forward week to an element blizzard. Sh what, what is any. There's a triangle of elements. Lightning beats fire, beats ice, beats lightning. Weak to Nomad Thunder, Lariat. Hybrid loadout resources. Oh, deploy. Go. Three minutes. Portal skills deploy. What the fuck is this? The robots can be deployed from any of the three portals and then will move along their lane towards the enemy leader in the center. I'm playing as a creep in a MOBA. Press X to view each available robot's gambits and actions. The icons above a foe's HP gauge indicate its elemental weaknesses. Try to deploy robots that exploit these vulnerabilities. Type 1, effective against foes weak to ice. Type 2, effective against fire. Type 3, effective against lightning. Okay. So, let's deploy a T3 robot. ATB gauge in the bottom left slowly fills. Once it's reached the required amount, you can deploy another robot. ATB cost of each robot type varies according to its gambits and actions. Try to play another unit once the ATB gauge is sufficiently full. You can always assess enemies with square. Pressing square allows you to view any information on enemy units, such as their games and actions, same mode that can be used to view your robot's remaining ability uses. Okay. So, oh, I can slide it around. Can I? Okay, I can also just D pad. So that's my jams. His jams is that's what he can do. Fire, bite. So, so it's everything has rules. 
So it's saying if anything has any weakness, it hits it with fire. If there's a foe nearby, it tries bite, and if it's near the portal, it uses bite. Is that my assumption? Um, if it's weak to an element, it'll use thunder. If it's a foe, it'll use lariat. And then the big boy is... A he will use it when when health is less than 50%, he'll reconfigure infinite times. When there's four plus robots in a lane, he'll use barrier. When he's currently targeted by five foes, he uses mighty splat, otherwise he uses vicious bite. Yeah, we're like program so you have to program the robots and then Okay, it shows it here. Reconfigures own gambits. Okay, it doesn't heal. It just can change what its abilities are. Okay. Do I want to send out another robot? Maybe I do. Um, this one. It's weak to fire. Get him. Yeah, fuck him up. Go, little robots. Go. The hell are portal skills? You can access special abilities shared between your portals by pressing triangle. Use left and right to select the kind of skill. Left stick to move the area of effect. X to activate. You can do it by visual effect. Go use each portal skill once. Okay. Restore some HP instantly and more of a time. Just a large amount of damage. Can I just do that on the boss? Oh, you can. Okay. Um, should I send in another robot? Are they doing stuff? Oh, there they go. Okay, what if I send in an ice robot? One of each. Because he's going to try... Once I have four robots in a lane. He's going to do stuff. Oh, another fire one. Get him! Fuck him up! No, you missed! FF12 down to the name Gambit system. What? Oh, oh, I have... Oh. Oh. Oh, as you can see, pressing L2 or R2 switches between portals. As I can see, yes. This allows you to deploy robots on other lanes and outmaneuver the enemy. Three portals. Share an HP gauge shown on the bottom right. Oh. Oh, I see. Send the fire robot there. Um, so it's right. So it's per lane. So I might want to flank him. He must defeat the enemy leader within the allotted time. Uh huh. Boom. Oh, big boy. Oh, big boy. Oh, big lad. Big big lad. Yeah, that's fine. Defeated. He defeated one of my little guys. Nice. Currently targeted by five foes. Yeah. Like robots, some foes have advanced actions of their own. Such enemies will be designated by a thing. Well, number. Make sure to assess them to avoid triggering their advanced action conditions. Well, yeah. Yeah, he sure did. Mighty splat! That guy's weak to... Lightning? Oh, but we got him. Oh, no. Blast him. Blast him. Comet. Blast him. Blast these. Blast them all. Boom! Face shift reconfigure. Fuck them up, lads! They did it. I think I get it. It's not too complicated. But it's going to get worse once I'm able to fully customize my little robots. says they're not. <sighs> What's that? It's Wedge. Wedge is in there. I believe that light will lead us to another set of ruins. <laughs> and another font to fix too, I'll bet. Is it okay if we tag along? No. Sure, why not? Whatever beef I've got with you HQ kids, the planet's welfare takes priority. Good. Tears of the kingdom, green laser ass. Um, I gotta release the flow real quick, chat, and I'll be right back. So, BRB. Thank you. I will. I will. I will. I will be right back. Uh, there you go. Everyone, go. I have a stretch. Grab a snack. Go pee.
BRB! Yeah! Chocobo, applesauce. Hey, hey, dude, I'm back. Hello. Are we past Cosmo? Approaching it. Um, we can presumably leave Cosmo now. We're doing a little bit of optional stuff to do the proto relic before moving on. Everything's a secret. I don't know what you mean by that. I love exploring this game's maps. It's a shame we just don't get worlds mechanically designed like 6 through 9 where everything's a secret. What do you mean by that? What do you mean it's a secret? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Little guy. Little guy alert. You just mean in terms of the map shows you where things are? Like when you pause and it's like, there's a thing here and a thing here and a thing here. As opposed to just organically finding stuff in the world. <sighs> to be fair, there is a lot of stuff like, for example, bus stops. And uh, it's like, they only really direct you towards like the first level of Chadley stuff on the map. Like here's expedition intel, here's a field intel, and here's a, a tower. That's kind of the only things they really drop on the menu, or sorry, on the map, in terms of world exploration stuff, which... Divine into- I don't know what the fuck that is. Um... Which I don't really mind- I wish it was tied to, like, towers or something. Either put in the game or expect people to look it up. Well, it depends on how it is. Like, for example, a game like Elden Ring, or Breath of the Wild slash Tears of the Kingdom, don't really put anything ever on the map unless you put it on the map. There's no tower that adds stuff onto the map. Um, because those games are designed around having visually interesting things that you go to, and then there's stuff there. And a lot of open world games, either like traversal is not very interesting on its own, or it's just the open world is just sort of a big level select screen. It's just like, what What do you want to do? You're going to go over there, you're going to go over there. Um, in which case, having things on the map is usually my preference. It deprives you of a feeling of exploration, depending on what it is. But I often don't mind, because it's either that or just run around hoping to find something. Because the, le the, the environments aren't dense enough to support there being just, like, content everywhere. He's got like a little frond on his butt. 
Yeah, like Korok seeds, for example. Like, people might not like them, but... There's a billion Korok seeds. So just from traveling to point A to point B, you're gonna find stuff. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Oh, yeah. Get under the chin. Or the sign dude. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking sign dude. <laughs> but, like, doesn't matter. Like, there's just, there's... You'll be like, okay, there's something interesting in the distance, and then en route to that, you'll find smaller things of interest along the way. Elden Ring doesn't do that quite as much as Breath of the Wild, but Elden Ring fills the world with interesting landmarks, and there's stuff there. Um, so just the act of moving from point A to point B, you're, you're just finding stuff constantly. Um, I don't need a tower. Where am I going? Um, he's everywhere. Not talking about the quest marks, talking about walking to a blank part of the map and stumbling on a dungeon. Yes, which is something that Elden Ring is all about. Uh, a game like this, not so much. Um, would it be neat? Maybe, but... I don't know, a game like Final Fantasy? Specifically 7? I, I feel like... I don't know. I haven't done that much of the open world stuff, so I can't really speak to it. Uh, where? That's through there. Cellar Story Cavern. Is that on? That's up on top. Is there. Is there a Chocobo launch point? Or am I just supposed to, like, continue? I don't know. Let's just try heading that direction and see what we find. And that looks like. Gotta find another entrance to that. That's kind of cute. Unl unless I can literally just open it. If I can, then that's silly. Okay, good. <laughs> it was like, that would defeat... The idea of, like, you can get, like, a sense of, like, oh, it's there. It's kind of neat. Yeah, she did it. All right. It's like a die of cuteness. I, they are adorable. Um, This way. Yep. I hope no Shai Hulud shows up. That would be unfortunate. Like with an overworld map, specifically something decidedly not about exploring at this scale. I think I know what you mean. Um, I think just... I dislike a lot of open world games. Because I'm like, why did this need to be open world? I'm driving through the open world, or I'm running through it repeatedly, and there's just nothing to do in it other than... talk to a guy to make a thing appear in the open world. Like, you can even find stuff, and it says, you can't do this yet. And it's like, why did I even try to explore? There's no reason to go off the beaten path. To me, that's the worst kind of open world. Um, the best kind is when maybe there's people that tell you there's stuff there, but you can just go off and do it on your own first. And the game facilitates that. It just also goes, you can also talk to this guy if you want. He can tell you where to go. All right, yeah, there, left. How stuff is laid out in the overall map? Like something under rocks and things? I mean, there's areas like Gongaga that are more, you know, dense and the map isn't as useful. But I just like that the overworld is filled with fast travel points you can unlock. Is this... The, this isn't where I'm supposed to be. This looks like... Again, this is like, this is cool, and I'd probably fight some dude here as part of a side quest or something. But there's nothing to do here, so it's just like, that's neat. Guess I wait for the game to tell me to come here. Which is, it depends on what it is, you know? If they have a reason to be like, oh yeah, actually, organically. What? Where are you going? That's also where I'm going. The Chocobo Chicks remind me a little bit of the Golden Birds from uh, Ghost of Tsushima, which I've ranted about in the past. Ghost of Tsushima is one of my favorite open world games. I, there's a lot of very smart stuff in there. But the Golden Birds are just like, are you heading in a direction? There's a thing here! It's like, I... I was already traveling on this road. And they're not very smart, so they get stuck on walls and stuff, and it's like, what? Why are you... I'd rather you weren't here at all. It's like, I was already going this way, buddy. Wait! I almost ran off. Hey there. Yeah, it looked like the geese stuff, so... They mod out the birds. No, they should still be here. I don't mind them. They're not as bad as the Golden Birds in Tsushima. You fix the signs with your chuck button, it's way faster. What? You can walk up to them on Chocoback? And it's fat. 
I guess I didn't try it. I just assumed. That's what I get for assuming. Uh, it is up above. Huh? It's up, it's up there. Where is, do I have to go up on the, oh, I have to glide. I see. I mean, Ghost of Tsushima. What? What about it? Oh, oh, because the PC. Oh, you're opening Tsushima. Yeah. Didn't they announce it's coming to PC? Or did I imagine that? Looks like we gotta make it over here. I assume he makes an ass. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm turning off the motion sensor. It doesn't really feel responsive. We can zoom in. It's all. We do zoom in. It's always a discrete location. I did not mean to let go. God damn it. You know what they say about reading chat? Never do it. Skips the open area, but even gives like, like the level of sliders that you stumble on. For sure. I, I think, as I kind of half said, my preferred open world game is when the open world is the game. When just traveling around, which again is why I talk about Elden Ring and Breath of the Wild slash Tears of the Kingdom, and like, that's sort of my ideal. Where it's not like the open world... The open world isn't what you travel through to get to the interesting stuff. The open world is where all the interesting stuff is. And then occasionally, there's a big part of the map where it's like, this is where a bunch of really handcrafted stuff is, but there's just stuff everywhere. 18th of May, hell yeah. Big and red. I recommend checking it out if you're into... Ghost of Tsushima is not as open as something like Elden Ring. It's more in the vein of most open world games where you have mission givers that are like, go over here and then talk to a guy and now you can do cool stuff. But I think it's one of my favorite examples of that. There's just a lot of very good... It's it's primarily the, primarily the fact that the game has almost no UI and the game is built around that. Unable to obtain a sprig! Should take a look at what those use. Um, the just roots. Render. Um... We're just a lot of the things in Tsushima are just diegetic. So you're just as you're as you're running around, you're just finding stuff and seeing things where that are like you know what that is. Um, it's not a great game if you like surprises, I guess. Uh, like Elden Ring, you'd be like, oh, there's like a door, and then at least this crazy fucking contraption room. You're like, what? Where is this? Um, Tsushima's more like you learn what, like, hey, if there's a banner, I know what that is. If there's a red tree, I know what that is. If there's a golden tree, I know what that is. If I see this kind of thing, if this kind of, this type of smoke, I know what that is. Like, but it makes it very organic as you're running around, because you'll see stuff and be like, oh, I want that. And you get towards it, um, which I'm into. Uh, maybe another one of these. Sure. It's fine. Like, just like Minecraft. Yeah, that's basically it, Ramens. Yeah, I was working on a Tsushima video for a long time. And I, 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 I did reuse, I mean, a lot of the Tsushima video was specific to Tsushima and me going, okay, point for point, here's all the reasons why this game is rad. There were some overarching concepts I was able to kind of, it's not like I copied anything over and made it work. Like it, none of it was like copy paste applicable to Elden Ring. But also for a while, the the Tsushima video was just gonna have a section where I just gushed about the opening, which had nothing to do with the design of the game or how it works. Well, I, I say that it kind of did. Um, pull that thought. From my study of ancient texts, mm -hmm. I've deduced this place was built by the Centra to house something alien. Precisely what is unclear. I remember hearing about this growing up. You don't think they were talking about the Gi, do you? Hmm. Perhaps. But the energy signature would suggest otherwise. Given that it so strongly resembles that of a proto-relic, I surmise these structures were designed to contain one. For now, let's continue to restore them. I'm sure we'll find something within. The planet itself is guiding us. I've also developed an additional AI chip for RoboChat. Hopefully, it expedites our work. Look at him! I love RoboChat. Um, so, the the opening title drop of Tsushima starts with kind of like a cold open sequence that sets up the plot. 
And it lasts for a while. It's a pretty extensive sequence. I don't want to get into specifics if no one's if someone hasn't played it. Especially with it coming on PC soon. And you might check it out. Um, so there's a sequence where you start the game running around, and then you go, okay, here's what the plot is about. Go, and they drop you in the open world. And the way that they do that with the title drop is like one of my favorite openings to a game. It's just so it's that it's like it's like I feel like it's the kind of thing where either it hits you or it doesn't. But for me, it fucking hit. It's just so well done and just, like, gives you this fuck yeah energy. Um, but then it drops you in a field, and you're on horseback. And what I talked about in the video was not only is, like, that sequence just, like, really compelling and well done and interesting and just, like, satisfying with the title drop. But then they drop you, and if you just continue going in a straight line, you immediately hit an optional thing. And then you cross a road. If you go in a straight line, and if you go left and continue the road up a little ways, you hit, like, an outpost with villagers in danger. And if you hit, go right on that road, you hit a closed fort that you can try to fight your way into. And, like, all three of those are optional open world things, and none of them are a beacon on the map. Nothing is, like, telling you where to go. They just drop you into this field, and it's like, fuck yeah, where do you want to go? And in the three most obvious directions, there are, like, different slices of, of open world. And I'm like, this game is fucking good. It's smart. And I only discovered that really in replaying the game to get footage of the opening, and I was like, oh, no, this is a really interesting... Because, like, for an open world game, one of the questions you can think about is, if it's an open world, if it's not like this, where it's, like, segmented in little chunks, but even in this game where you have the grasslands, a question you can kind of ask yourself if you're interested in game design and stuff is, why did they choose to drop me here? Sometimes it's not really obvious, or maybe not immediately obvious. Some games just kind of drop you in the middle of the map, um... Because arguably, something like Breath of the Wild, the, the opening uh, uh, plateau is like kind of in a central-ish location. Um, so it arguably makes sense. But yeah, for a game like uh, like Elden Ring, for example, like where they drop you is very deliberate. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to play more robot. I'm probably going to be bad at it. Beep, bop, bop, beep. Just give this more explicitly middle. Yeah. And there are reasons as to that as well. Fuck this minigame in particular. I had someone in chat earlier be like, "It's this is way better than Fort Condor. Because I liked Fort Condor in Intergrade. And I despised it in this. So we'll see how this goes. It's very, it's so good. Uh, Gambit's determined a target. Actions determine what the robot will do to that target. To enhance your chances of victory, reference the information on enemy units before programming your robots, which can be done with X. You also auto-program your robots if a stage is giving you trouble. As Charlie proceeds with his research, more gambits and actions become available. L2, R2 for portal skills. Oh, I can choose a different layout. So hybrid is uh, regen and comet. Offensive is eroga and comet. Defensive is regent and cautious courage and his attack power and defense. So that's so instead of doing direct damage, you're just kind of boosting your robots to help them kind of stay a survival. I mean, this seems hybrid seems good. What am I doing with uh, set auto program gambits? Okay, so we have each of the three elements. Actions occur in the order in which they are set with the top AI slot taking priority. So you want the most specific thing at the top. Which is, hey, if they're weak to this element, use your element. That makes sense. Each robot has several AI slots into which Gambit's actions can be programmed. Once a robot is deployed, it will act according to its AI. The order in which you program the Gambit action in the current situation. Gambits are the target as well as conditions under which actions trigger, such as an enemy's elemental affinity or the robot's remaining HP. Actions allow the robot to perform many functions, such as increasing its HP, healing allies, enhancing your attributes, or exploiting an enemy's elemental weakness. Okay. Sure. So, what else would I... Well, gambits allow the robot to target foes, allies, or itself. It's important to choose according to the situations likely to occur in battle. For a basic offensive strategy, try setting separate gambits for nearby and far away foes. To shore up defense, note that gambits can be used to trigger healing actions. When target's HP reaches a certain percentage. Um, I want to set that to the lowest priority. If my HP is low, plan ahead when choosing actions. Those that exploit elemental weaknesses are a good start. Also worth considering ways to preemptively attack, land the finishing blow, 
and effectively use healing and support actions. In some cases, certain actions will be incompatible with targets specified. If you cannot find the action you should set, try changing the gambit. Once you've decided an action, press X to select. Note that if you wish to prioritize an action, place it in the top AI slot. So if my HP is low, I can fire a projectile that restores HP. Which is just anywhere. Restores HP for a limited time. Fires per tether and term for increases attack power. Maybe I should have HP as a high priority, actually. Because... Um, can I move? Okay, sweet. I can move them around. Because then I might want... Yeah. You don't want to be the last least with Lariat. It'll never trigger. Well, Lariat will fight. I want Lariat to be below weak to an element. Because then it's saying, if it's weak to an element, use Blizzard Shot. Otherwise... If else. Uh, otherwise, lose Lariat. Try regen. And then what else we got in here? Self-modify HP and cost. Allows the world to increase its HP and reduce its cost. Okay. That's just the thing I it just is a set. Okay. So I can forego an action in exchange for making it cheaper or be sturdier. Let's make them cheap. Or let's make them healthier. Man. So the more stuff you add, the more expensive they get in terms of ATB. Okay, I think I'm getting it. Fire shot, foe. What else do I have? Missile. Long range non elemental attack. So I only get one of those. Twice? Two uses, available one out of one. Okay. Blair is infinite. If else. It's all, it's if else is all the way down. That's also how I program. Oh, and then you only get one. Oh, that's what it means by one out of one. Okay. So I can only have one guy do a cure shot, one guy do a regen shot, etc. Man. I don't know. What if I hit auto program? It's like this option will automatically offer your robots for with one of four AI sets optimized for this stage. Feel free to keep auto programming until your robots are assigned the set you desire. Using this feature will overwrite your current AI unless you save it with triangle first. So I can just keep hitting this and it'll keep changing it? I see. So it has a bunch of random preset programs. And you'd be like, oh, this one. Uh, this one. Give me each an affinity. Cure shot, barrier shot, bravery shot. Cost minus two HP up. What about you? Um, all right, that's self-modify HP and cost. They're both taken. That's why he didn't have a thing. Okay. Oh, I meant pull. Uh, I think predictions cost more. So let me refund you real quick. Yeah. Prediction, if or else. Uh, uh, the winner is if? Yeah, I refunded your points to you. Uh, okay, well, I'm just going to try what Chadley says should work. That sounds good to me. Um, go back. Maybe I should look at the enemy intel, huh? Uses potent attacks when several robots are deployed in a single lane or when attacked by several robots. Assess any marshmallows that appear so you know how to avoid triggering their powerful attacks. They're called marshmallows? They're not flans? Your Honor, I cannot read. That is all right. If versus else. Is there a mod around? I know Viz and Gim been hopping in and out. Is Viz versus an option? Hi. Uh... Well, no. Hi, Viz. Yeah, you got it. Uh, go. All right. I'm gonna deploy some robots. Yup. And put another robot over. Oh. Another robot over here. He's probably fine. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Fire. Don't destroy my portal. No, why you don't do that? This is not. This is going great. Thundershot, last use. Great. Oh, they're not very smart, are they? What if I drop a guy over here? Uh. Yeah. Not the bite of 80 something. Oh, that he doesn't have any. Oh, he's biting the robot. He's biting. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
send in the robots. There you go. That'll stop him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, and an ice robot. Four robots present in a lane. Hey, listen, you sent a lot of shit at me. That's not my fault. Uh, he biting? That's fine. He can bite. Great. No, robot. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Yeah, fuck him up. HP low. Phase ship reinforcements. Oh, man, listen. That's fine. Because I'm here to deal damage in an area. Um, shit. Can that reach? Yeah, wait. Oh, there we go. Boom! What is your element? You don't have an element. Then maybe we're fine. Just, uh, put him in there. Oh, he's getting very chomped. I believe in you, little man. Nope. Wait. Wait, everything's fine. No, 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 this is good. Oh! Restore the lads! Should have done that earlier. Come on, get him! Fuck him up! He's almost dead! Bum, 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 bum. How's that pole going? Oh my god, they're neck and neck. We all <laughs> talked about coming out to see the canyon one day. Hey, chat. That night at the bar, remember? Hey, Ty. Yeah. You guys were trying some new cocktails for me. Mm. If an else can't tie. Yep, this is the one. Bartender, <laughs> whip me up another Costa del Sol. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm cutting you off. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <laughs> one more couldn't hurt. Now me, I'm a Cosmo Canyon guy. Mm, Else that one. one was pretty good, but it was missing that special flourish. Ba, 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 ba. Guess what I got? Huh? Cats? Ta-da! Cosmo Salt. Can't call it a Cosmo Canyon without a touch of local flavor, right? Trust me, a dash of this will make all the difference. What's Cosmo about it? It's mined from the canyon itself, the birthplace of planetology, and pretty hard to come by, I'll have you know. Oh my god. That cell's gotta be laced with something. Wow! <laughs> that oh my god delivery was very good. You're right! Wow! It's like a whole new drink. Man, oh my it's god. Too bad the stuff is so hard to come by. If only I had more. I thought you might say that. But out the whole store so you can keep on mixing. Oh my. But those will only last us so long. Especially if this Cosmo Canyon becomes a hit. Gonna need to stock up. In that case, what about a trip to the source, huh? We could all bring back as much salt as we could carry. What do you say? Count me in. Home of planetology, here we come. It's gonna be great. Oh, really? Huh? Y'all think we got money to be taking field trips? Because our books say otherwise. Here. There you have it. The boss himself says it's a done deal. Two are he seems so disappointed in himself. <laughs> to bear it. Bear it. <laughs> Honestly, y'all are just too much. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Look, guys, we made it. No. Would have liked to have gotten here sooner, but. No. <sighs> I thought you said this. Rock was funny. Wait, you fixed it already? I'm sad. Ages ago, slow folks. Come on, double time. <laughs> Same energy, Come seven skinning up on dad to take them to McDonald's. Yeah, except they, they want to. It's like they want to go to the first McDonald's. They want to go to the source of McDonald's. Where do all McDonald's come from, Pops? 
Oh, oh there. Barrett's big on tough love, huh? Maybe I ought to try to return the favor. <laughs> they wanted to go to McDonald's and help that. Jesus There was Christ. apparently a thriving salt industry here. Back before everything went to hell with the fall of the Republic. Wait, yeah, big salt fine. comes from the sea, right? Does that mean this whole place used to be underwater? Oh, wow. what? The planet's just full of surprises. Dang, Billy Bob. Seeing these ruins, I can't help wondering what this place must have looked like when it was first built. Never imagined I'd get this invested, but here we are. Here we are. All right, bye. <coughs> oh, but that's not my bird. Uh, uh, um, uh, down here. That's isn't that on the ground level? What's up? How do I get up onto there? Did I? Did I? I think I went underneath. Let's just double check. Good character stuff. That no, was fun. Oh, I heard what I wanted to hear. Yeah, I'm on the ground. I gotta get. How the hell do I get up there? How in tarnation do I get up there? Uh, do I look like I know how to up there get? Is there a chocobo launching point from the? From the? There's that. Can I get? How do I gain altitude? Can I take a lift? Maybe I just take one of those. Get some uppies. Hello, bird. Oh no. Oh no, she's doing it. It was much more endearing the first time. Um, hello? Bird? Bird up? The chuckles are dressed like them. Gliding range ta- oh, the tower. I'm near a tower somewhere. That tower. Yeah, okay. Um... I'm trying to get up meow. All the way up meow. So I need to find... a launch point. That, that feels like it's too far. Need one that has ramps? Oh, only some of them. I guess that makes sense. Can I see from the map which ones have? Is that a ramp? Is that a ramp? Is that a ramp? Is that a... Um... No. Ah. Uh, can I just run past it? So this is one that also... Can't I just do a big bird jump? I feel like I should be able to do a big bird jump. Come on! No! Damn it. Um, maybe that. That's got, you know, very explicit ramps around it. Cool. Hey, bud. All right. This way. This way. To the... Oh, I am not going fast enough. Uh... I need to hit it from the right side, maybe? There was one in front, but I don't know now. No worries. Come on. Now let's go gliding. That doesn't feel like we're gonna make it either. Uh. Nope. Hmm. There's one way over to the right. Yeah, that's the one. Maybe I can use this to bounce over there. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Maybe. Come on, bud. I wish it was easier to start and stop boosting with them.
Uh, I can't see where it is. It's there. No, that seems too far. Or isn't it? Well, there's one more close to me. Oh, there is one close to me. Then that should give us the lift we need, maybe? Nope. What? Then how do I? Am I just supposed to stop from like that to that? Ugh. Her. There's only one way to get anywhere, even though it seems like there should be many. That's like a little bit annoying, maybe? Also sucks I can't move the camera while I'm in bird mode. I have to just rely on the map to be like, am I going the right way? If there's only one spot that gets you up to where you need to go, and then if you mess up, you have to run all the way back across the world, that just doesn't feel great. So it's right in front of me, but maybe I need to hop into this guy first. Am I going the right way? Yeah. At least right bird because no camera control. That's, I mean, if I have motion camera, no, because it still uses... Just to my right. Am I over it? Okay. That's not gonna happen. Damn it. Well, you know what? There sure is a lower path right here. With a launch point there. Maybe that's where we go. All right. I think I see it. I was going from farther away. But maybe this is fine. Just right here. It seems like this all connects. And in fact, it might even connect from the ground. But yeah, if I could just... It's like left or right stick to ascend or descend. Which I guess I get. Um... Can I... Surely they're not preventing me from climbing up here. It's just a tiny wall. Surely there's a way to get up there. What? This isn't even the last one. This is the third one. Ex really? You if we quick get the yellow paint. They have this gigantic ramp going up this way, and then they say no. It feels like I'm missing something. This feels like they can't be. They can't be. You have to launch across five gaps on the other side of the canyon? Or they could just put a boulder here. What the fuck? What on earth? I have to be over on this side? What? What? Before you get to this one, where do I start from? From here? Or just from somewhere over here? I... Okay, let's, uh... Let's see if we can find it. This is pointing the wrong way, but may maybe this is a starting point for something? Oh god. It feels like every one of these jumps feels bad. It feels like I'm not, I'm like, I know it's gliding. It just feels like am I gonna make any of these jumps? Hello. We could be broing it up with Vinny. Da, 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 Hello. This is nice. The live stream. Cloudish, the life stream. Don't let your bird eat this. It's too rich for his bones. Birds can't eat life stream. Though they do try. Great, I did it. This is what we came here to do. Yay. Cloud, my power overfloweth. Soon I will become as gods. Hey, Cloud. God, I hate how long it takes. You gotta wait for him to put his little thing away and then he stands there from it. Just let me run away. I'm done. I've seen your cool little cutscene. Let me run. Ancient baths. Area of interest. Can I open chests on Chocoback? 
You can? Oh. So maybe this game is good after all. Um. Anybody see any more chests? I am become godly. <laughs> but not godly like the adjective, but yeah. Uh. Meh. Wait. There's boxes. Yeah, kick them. That's a good burp. Uh, uh, meh. Just gonna, there you go. Hmm. Her. This is not the area to get to the proto -lock. I spent a long time trying to get up here. Got it. Whoa. Dave named Dave. Thanks for five gifted subs. To Ah Fooey, X and the Mighty, Cable Clip, The Plot Hole, and Cosmic Yeti. Hey. Hey. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. I hope you all enjoy the emotes. Never forget, we got Bar Et and Bar Ahoy at your disposal. And a few other ones. One or two. Hey, yeah, you can borrow K okay, and be sad in the next cutscene. Uh, okay, so if this is not the way, is that the way? That looks closer. It's part of that landmass, at least. Wait, is it just connected? Is it just... Wait, was that where the first one was? This is just where the first one was. Is this... It just connects to where the first guy was? Can I warp there? Divine Intel. I'm on top of something called Divine. I did want to see what that was. Is that not what? That is an amazing game. Uh. Eh? Meh? When I. Eh? Destination reached. Yeah. I bet I did. Is, is it? Is it though? Which is the number we're trying to get to? Uh, I don't know the number of it. It's it's the Cosmo Canyon Proto Relic. Theoretically, it might be the fifth. But you can't get the Corel one until later, and we skipped the Gongaga one, which we'll go back for at some point. I think it was the spring, but it's still showing up as if I haven't done it. If I'd done it, it should turn gray. But then I don't know what else is directly above me. It doesn't really we can leave. Which one of the... Oh, we're about to do the third one. Yes. Sorry, I misunderstood. Yeah, I have no idea what they're pointing to. Divine Intel's the summon. So there's a summon spot around here? All right, well. I mean, I see there's a big glowy red thing that leads somewhere. Oh. Bahamut! Bahamut? Bahamut? That's a good summon. Attempt to analyze more like succeed in analyzing. I have the memorization of an elephant. Oh god. That's not so bad. Let's go. They seem quite generous with the timing. Look at him! Look, he looks great! Bahamut Arisen! Let's get it. Uh, maybe later. And by that, I mean probably never. <laughs> probably not until I'm done with the game and decide to do that early open world stuff. I know! I know! I was there! Yes! Thank you! Thank you, Chadley. I'm aware. Tell me something I don't know. Um... Oh, Cloud, did you know? Don't care. Bye. So why did it point me there? It's over. It's the icon was here. I guess that's just meant to say it's in that area. But then, I don't know. Because I know you're supposed to find the little glowy crystals and then follow those. A pony. Oh. Goofy. Goofy. Goofy! 
Yuffie, please. Um. So, I wonder if we avoid fighting those guys and head up here. And it's just that easy. It'd be nice if it was just that easy. I like when things are easy and straightforward, especially in an open world game where there's a lot of places you can go. Um, you gentlemen are guarding what exactly? We'll find out. My son can be very annoying, just like children. Mm -hmm. Is this the right way? Doesn't seem to be the right way. Um, is there even anything here? Ish. Okay. Um, maybe we go to where those guys were. Why is there such a big outcrop of dirt in your open world game? And there's not even like a silly little guy hanging out there. Okay. Are you guys guarding something down here? It's field intel. Great. Uh-oh. It seems we've crossed into fiend territory. Look alive. Rare desert salt. Hey, Ink fam. How you doing? Chocoboo. I was saying Chocoboo earns. Thanks for the raid. Hope y'all had a good stream. And by y'all, I mean Ink fam. Uh, we're playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We're currently in chapter like nine or something. Um, we are in the Cosmo Canyon region doing an optional proto relic before maybe continuing on. Don't know. Probably won't do more plot today in terms of main story plot, but let me try doing it with, with the bird. What? That was always an option. Can I pet the chocobo baby from Chocoback? No. That you gotta get off the bird for. Hey, bud. Hello. Pat his head. Scritch the chin a little bit. There you go. See you later, buddy. Thank you. Worth it. Uh, anyway, yeah, hi. Uh, does this continue through? It doesn't. How the fuck do I get to this proto relic? How do? What am I doing? Where am I going? Like I was, I was, I was uh, uh, complimenting my compliments to the chef earlier when I was like, "Oh, it's cool how the proto relics are like these multiple step things, and they sort of incentivize you to explore the open world. And also, if you've didn't done a lot of exploring, you can just kind of fast travel near to where they tell you to go." But now I'm like, where the f how the fuck do I get there? How do I get up there? What do I want to do? Stop moving for a sec. You got it. <laughs> and by stop moving, you mean don't kick these? Eh. I may or may not try to catch that past few streams to tell me about the past times because it bothered me. Oh, God. Well, now I know. So thank you. Um. I can't even see what might be a path. Go to that tower around the corner. Which is a tower. Do 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 That tower? On opposite side, this one? The one I'm looking at? Wait for stream delay. No. The one that's glowing? Over the yonder? I'm assuming you mean Chadley Tower, although I did ask about a non Chadley tower. There's the one that's glowing right there. Look at the map. There's this guy and this guy. And then this one way the hell over here. Do you mean this guy way the hell out over here? This is option A. <laughs> this is option B and this is option C. The second one. The one in the middle. This guy? Hey. Right. I appreciate your help. Thank you. Alright. Uh... To there. Should I do I need to activate this tower or you just just get over here as a reference point? I don't think I need to climb it. Um da 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 ba 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 sha bum 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 So I tried going up that natural ramp up there, but then it blocked me off from proceeding further. Then map. Alright. Keep it zoomed out. 
and it doesn't seem like using the air vents gives me the height I need. Maybe I need to get up on a, this guy, and there's like a... I don't see any of the chocobo ramps, though. It's a fucking roundabout. Go east? Do I have to go up onto this big old fucking thing? This fucking guy? Um... Up this. Should be right ahead. There's that. Old worm clearing. Um, do I want to climb the mountain? Or, I mean, probably I want height, yeah? This is, this is number three. This is Cosmo Canyon Proto Relic 3. Start figuring out the next one. If the next one's worse than this, then God help me. What do you got up here? You'd think that all of uh, Cloud's time as a frog would have made him faster at climbing like this. The way that frogs so often do. You've jumped across all of those gaps to gain height. What the fuck? <laughs> hey. Gives you the Plenty Balloon fans. It seems that not here. There's that there. Oh, I wish there was a faster way down. Maybe I can jump with the chocobo and glide, but I think it's only where they tell you you can't explicitly. All right, fast trail point by three. This wasn't bad for me. Four, I hadn't found this was an issue. Gotcha. Um, I'm just gonna run around here, I guess. Bird. Yuffie! <laughs> it is really way... If it was like 1 in 10, that would be a lot. And it's, it is like 1 in 4, it seems like. Um, I just Did I just do a loop? No, I haven't been here. Though that is an option. No, I don't want to fight you. I'm looking for... Nah, that's cool. Yeah, I bet they are. Hey! I closed my little Chadley bot thing. You're not supposed to talk to me if I close the thing. The way of four is right around where three is. We can get there, we're pretty good. We just gotta get to three first. 15 flashbacks. I much prefer this open world exploration to 15s. 15s felt very perfunctory at times to me. It felt like there was no reason to explore the open world just on your own, but maybe I'm misremembering. I just remember a lot of time being in the car just fiddling with the radio. <laughs> just being like, am I there yet? And then you get chocobos, but then it was just kind of like follow the leader, like follow the dotted line. Try that ramp. Which ramp? Uh, there's a thing going above me. Just the ramp with the uh, the to get air. Where am I? God. Um, this guy. Big ramp. Um. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe this is good. Woof. Why did they, why did they do it like this? Where you can't see where you're going? Why, why, what compelled them? Hey, Square. If you're on the horn, hey, hey. Why can't you see where you're going when you need to constantly be looking down to see where you're going? But then you can't. Why did you? Is this the right way? Mm, yes. I need to put that back there. Do you have a camera zoom on one? Is that a thing I can... No. I don't think I touched the camera zoom option. If it does affect this, then... Then that's... 
something. Um, uh, camera. Uh, in battle, out of battle. Is there like a chocobo? Camera pullback. Out of battle. It's already... The higher the number, the further away it'll be. Okay. Does that apply to chocoback? I don't think so. Change the minimap in the corner, too. That's an option. Nope. Um, switching this back. Uh, gameplay? Minimap. Dynamic? Static. No? Does have issues? No, no, same one. I didn't hate it, but... Location navigation, another place, map display area. Why the area covers? World navigation display. Tracker. Mini map. Uh huh. So now I have a little mini map. Hey! Thanks. Alright. I'm still. I'm not going this way. But it seems perhaps I must? Because that'll lead... Somewhere? Left there? Keep going. Keep going. Wait, no, isn't this where I... This is where I came... This is where I got here. What the fuck was that? Oh, that's just like a banner. I thought it was like a trail for something that was weird. Uh, yes, go this way? Is this not how I came up here? Follow the bird. No. The bird might be lying to me. I am so confused about where I came in from. No, the small way. Stream, I know the stream delay too. The small way, okay, okay. Okay, I'll final fall the bird. Goddamn bird. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Bluster cave life spring. Oh boy. Will we ever see Cloud Jr. again? Yeah, we did see him. He was hanging out. Climb up as high as you can, thank you. We're gonna get there. God willing, we'll get there yet. Keep taking this up once the glide pads notice is number 16, 124 meters. All right. Cloud Jr. is in Bird College. They grow up so fast. Cloud. By analyzing the life spring data, mm -hmm. I was able to locate an old Republic oh. transmitter chip. Those First, are kind of nice. Look for a weathered old ship, then scour the okay. surrounding area. Thanks. I trust you'll have no trouble finding Yeah, right. Maybe. If there's if there's time, Chadley, if you've been good. The dilapidated ship over man. Right. I'm kind of half tempted to look up a list of the transmitter chips and just see which ones I desperately want and try to get those. Um, is this number 16? That's number 15. No. Keep going up. What if I immediately went, that's the one I want and jumped off? Everyone that's been helping me would just leave. It's not worth it. He'll figure it out eventually. Or not. Um... You know what? What are you, what are you sniffing? What are you sniffing? Oh! Sniffing a little guy. Follow that board. What the fuck? Alright. You know, fast travel is good. It's effectively a checkpoint. I would be not like this in our life. Great. So now if I fuck it up, we can come back to this point. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yep. You sure are. Yeah, right. Th yep. There you are. If you see Ch if you see Cloud Jr., tell him I said, hey. Tell him I said, hey. Oh, oh. Oh. I did say earlier I wanted to find another one of these. This is the first one I've found since the grasslands. Yeah, I have a lot of Moogle medals. I say, hey. What's going on? 
Ah, oh, shit. I don't know if it's gonna be the same little mini game where you had to chase them around and herd them like goats. I don't know if I want it to be the same or if I want it to be different. The it's the me? same, but with extra shenanigans. Mischief level two. <laughs> Fucking mischief level two. Malulu. Hey, Malulu. Get the fuck out of here. Go on, get. Get. Go on, go. Get your... Go no. Get in there. Go in. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, there be a... Hey. No. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No. Yep. Come on. He's dizzy. Get up. Get up. Oh, what? Huh? You, you can... All right. <laughs> okay. Well, now they know that that's how that works. Get the fuck out of here. Lure him into a whirlwind. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying. There he is. Come on. Get, grab him. Grab him by the scruff. Shit. Make it. Get there. Grab him like a meowshly. We got Moog. Uh. Malala and Mosh are hanging out. Ow. Press circle at just the right moment to evade the Moogle's mischievous attacks. Some of their tricks like bombs and banana peels cannot be dodged. Okay, great. Good. What? What? Don't know why you let go. Can't catch me, Koopo. If I recall correctly, I can get up to three little Moogle palms on Cloud's head before he instantly dies. <coughs> Come on. Come on, you goddamn Moogles. Get him. Right. Oh, the other one hit me? Must have. I did it. Now I have another store. I really can't thank you enough for bringing it? all the Mooglets back. Whoa. It's such a relief the Emporium that Mog and Mag built together won't have to close down. You're a lifesaver, Koopo. Don't mention it. A Highlands Moogle. May I shop? Welcome, Koopo. Mm -hmm. I'm asleep. I have class if you are. Hope it goes well. Thanks for hanging. Thank you for hanging. Take care. HP up materia. Earrings. Precision defense focus materials. Telluric scriptures. Tale of the Red Warrior. Sweet. Um. How badly do I want these? Not really. I think I prefer. Like, is it nice to free up a materia slot? Absolutely. But accessories, I think, are better served doing things that only accessories can do. As opposed to materia. So. Did you find anything you like, Cooper? Yeah, see you later. Okay. We have to keep venturing up, which is maybe this way. Uh, thank you, Yuffie. This looks like number 16 to me. If I was a gambling man, and I am, I would put it all on the line to say this is number 16. It's number 16! Woo. Oh, shit. Please make it. Please make it a pony. Please, a pony. Yeah. Yeah. Please make it. I'm just, I'm just holding up and I'm praying. Please tell me there's a fast travel beacon around here. I made it. Yahoo. Now my goal before I do anything else <laughs> is to find a bus stop or something. Anything that can serve as a waypoint. Um, all right. We did it. As you know, those guys are very angry looking. Although I might have to to activate the tower. Was there a thing on for the tower up above? There must have been. Hey, how you guys doing? Okay, well. 
I will activate the tower. I thought it wasn't at the top. Hey. What's up? Weak to lightning. The castle protector went. Okay. I missed the yellow paint. Oh, no. Towers count. We have to activate them first, I would assume. Weak to air. Lose energy every time they attack or take damage being pressured once their energy is exhausted. Yeah, all right. Okay. Deal with that. Be fouling wind. Woo. Please save. I no, everything's fine. It's just two guys. I'm not gonna fucking die here. <laughs> I should not be plagued with fire. Um. Uh, yeah, you know, you know. Hey. Yeah, it's fine. Um, the Griffin is weak to lightning, so I will gladly blast him. Come on. Hit him again. There you go. This guy's weak to wind. Aerith can pray, just like chat. And today, I gave Aerith all my elemental stuff. I think Cloud has wind. Yeah. Hello. Sorry, but I gotta. Sorry, but it'd be really funny if I did. Uh, arrow. All right. It's kind of down. Thunder and lightning aren't the same thing, dummy. <laughs> you goofed it up. Oh. It turns out I did miss the yellow paint. I was correct that I didn't see the thing. Th this thing. It was further up. Game Oscars, when you finish challenge, you can find from the Moogle Hut. If I jumped off from here. But now we're good. Now we're good. I'm not gonna test it, but we're good. Like, I'm not gonna jump off. Oh boy, things. Chadley will remember this! Took the slow path. Yuck. When we get the testicular torsion materia, right now. Torsion's your testicle. Right. I'm glad chat's getting along with one another. Um. Let me just see. Fast travel. Great, we're good. Everything's fine. Nothing bad will ever happen to us ever again. Um. I do kind of want to grab this one over here, though. Yeah, I know. Why you got? There are sites here dedicated to a Bahamut variant, a variant known as Bahamut Arisen, with armored scales red in canyon soil, and an engine born of flesh mounted on its back. What? Its capacity for destruction far surpasses that of the original Bahamut. How does that work? It's like a Valstrax. <sighs> Sounds like you just recreated a Valstrax for Monster Hunter. Flesh engine? Yeah. Hello. Hello. A flengeon? I don't love Flungeon. Nah. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum. Hi! Hey, JB Henry. How y'all doing? D me? I'm just summoning a guy. What? It's too fast. 
you doing? Welcome. We're playing FF7 Rebirth. We are over here in... We're over here in uh, Cosmo Canyon. In like chapter 8 or 9 or something, I don't remember. Um, we're doing some optional stuff before venturing on. And just, you know, hitting 50 different world intels. Which other people probably did within the grasslands. Because <laughs> I've been skipping a lot of stuff. Yeah. I've Man, hope you, thanks for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. Um, but if anyone is avoiding FF7 spoilers or whatever, um, we're not really doing main plot stuff, but regardless, if you're going to dip, I thank you for stopping by and hope you have a good. Um, I am heading over this way. Are you listening to the internet about game show bonus rounds? What came out on top? We all love Chadley here? I never said that. Now, well, thank you for not spreading slander about me. Bird! What? I'm not following the bird. I'm going over this way, I think. Looks like. Bonus rounds of chess. When you tie and you have a king off. Uh, that's a big angry looking guy. That I don't personally care to engage. There we go. Hey, I was reading ch- How dare you. How dare you. But yeah, we're doing um, the, the uh, Cosmo Canyon Proto Relic. This is number three of four. And we're gonna do a little mini game with our best friends from FF7 Integrate. Hello. There you are. Yeah. Well, well. Oh. Y'all beat us to the punch for once. Pyramid Double Dare, American Gladiators, Legend of Temple. Chase. We still can't reach yeah. the front. Nice. And there's a weird fiend. Hey, kick. Got any smart ideas? I'm ambivalent at best. Speaking of which. I've prepared an additional AI chip. It should allow you to progress further. Just Why couldn't we have RoboChad instead of Chadley? If Chadley looked like RoboChad, I would feel so much differently about Chadley. If he was like, hello, I've developed new materia, I'd be like, you are delightful. Look at you. You're so great. Let's play Gears and Game, but... Can I, can I just use one of Chadley's pre-built AI s whatever's? A fifth slot has been added. Yowza. Um, Auto-program. Well, that looks pretty good. Is it? I don't know. Cost down. HP up. Gravity shot. If they're airborne. They can be airborne? What, what am I looking at? Enemy leader, King Flan. Changes its elemental affinity and weakness upon losing HP, uses different magic, uses potent abilities when attacked by several robots. In order to hit the flying ship, set gravity shot or missile, which will ground them. These guys have gravity shot. These, This one has missile. Okay. Looks good to me. Uh, Reg Regen Comet, Aroga Comet, Regen Cautious Courage. I do like Comet. I do like that. Let's go. Would kill for Robo Chad, would kill Chadley. Uh alright. Send him in there. What is your what is your jam? Um Self HP less than 60, phase shift to ice. Four plus robots in one lane barrier. Target five foes. Mighty splat. Okay. Not too crazy then. Acid! Hey! Don't do that. What if I uh, I should wait till I have more. ATB. I want to get like another guy in a different lane just kind of doing stuff, but probably better to, yep, make sure I'm ready. But now I could maybe, now I could maybe get blasting him. Oh, hello. Barrier last use, great. Uh, eh. I don't think I do this an element. Targeted by two foes. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, get him, little man. Get him. 
Okay, great. That's going well over there. Meanwhile, you are doing things. Those two are zapping them. Hey, hey, shoot them. Shoot them with stuff. Why are you just standing there? Shit. That's, I'm taking a lot of HP damage to my portals. That one's about to explode. That's probably fine. Oh no. Oh no, big boy. Be glad. Second one, maybe? All right. Shifting to ice. Boss HP low. That was good timing. There's a thunder guy coming. Currently targeted by three. Oh boy. Yep. Um. Yeah. Can I please? One, two, slap. How can he slap? Uh. Please don't die. Ah, no, I want him to die. Shit. Damn, that's a lot of damage. Uh, send in another guy here. Fuck, dude. No. I have my comet at the ready, but he's probably gonna send in a bunch of dudes once there's a lot targeting him. Okay. That one's just flying. He's so good at slapping. He really is. Shit. Am I supposed to just have like two dudes chipping away at him? How is that supposed to work? Blizzard. Uh. Okay. Phase shift to lightning. Great. Is he going to spawn in dudes or is he just hanging out? One, two, splat. That's fine. I'm just gonna drop a comet on him where there's a guy in front of him doing stuff. Oh, comet did not do very much. Uh. Come on, 15 seconds. Please, please zap him. Please zap him, tiny robots. He's almost dead. Please, please, please. Please, little robots. Just one more tap. Please just zap him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Yeesh. All right. Phew. Fourth attempt might not go so well. But, uh, yee. Yeah. Yee. Yeah. How's Wedge doing in the live stream? The trick. Yeah, this one's not even close. Go. It was extremely close. Man. What are you talking about? We really are dead weight, aren't we? Yeah, you are. Just slowing you down. Uh-huh. You could be better. Blessings of the planet be upon you. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, my dear child? She's still drunk. What truth have you to tell us this night? Really, guys? Me? You, a resident gourmand. Come on, let's hear it. The man of the salt. <laughs> Well, I guess... Uh, Can't hear you. The, the truth is... Uh, uh, the truth is, I just want to do more for you guys. I'm sick of feeling like dead weight around here. I just... I... For the love of God, not this again. Come on, out with it. Which one of us said that? Was it me? Biggs? Or was it? <laughs> no, nobody said anything, honest. But you never would. You guys are too nice for that. You really think she's too nice? I'm nice to those who deserve it. <laughs> See? <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> Uncle! Uncle! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, we wouldn't be here without you. Huh. Was always down on himself, even though he shouldn't have been. Wedge worked harder than any of us. That's just who he was. Always trying to do better. Yeah. <laughs> that guy. If only he'd stuck to looking after his cats and enjoying good food. 
Let's go. Yay. Yeah, the do 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 Young Charlie Sheen vibes, and I like it. I see what you mean. Hmm. And the fourth one. Is yeah, okay. Um Alright. I am nervous about how the fourth <laughs> minigame's gonna go though. Um so how in the fuck do we get over there? I've been down underneath there, that doesn't help. Looks like we're up above. Ba ba ba. I do like. Yeah. So where do I need to be over here? That's the airstrip. Um, looks like I need to get up on top here. But if it's anything like the old one, it won't involve going up this way. Go try for everyone one help. Uh, give me help. <laughs> Just go ahead and give me a, a nudge in the right direction. Because it's getting late and I'm getting hungry for dinner. And I want to make sure we finish at least this first. You want to go through that ruins here with the scary dude that's right by Proto 3. To a big rock column with a hole you can walk through, a bunch of guiding spots around that pillar. You want to take glide spot 21. Thank you. Eat the burger. Ooh, burger. Um, through the ruins area with the scary dude that's right by Proto 3. Done. Then there's a go big column with a hole you can walk through. Thank you. Mucho. Down here. Oh yeah, there we go. Bird! Sit down by this guy. Somewhere near him. Past him. What? Dude is just chasing me. Hi. Um. Just somewhere around him is a thing. Is it past him? Was he guarding it? Oh, there's more. That looks like a rock column thing with a hole in it. Yeah. Northish. <laughs> I love interrupting her. I'm sorry. Um, this maybe. What number is this? Twenty. No, you said twenty-one. What about the one next to it? There's also a spot up there. Rare golem. That's 19. Also no. I could hop on there. At least might have stopped from moving. That's why I like my better. There are a bunch of uh, gliding spots around that pillar you want to take. Got okay, so I do want to take these to gain more height. I was like, huh? It does let you. It just was sassy about it. Now this looks like gliding spot number 21. Shit. Uh... 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 Um... But... I found everything except for number 21. That- that one. It's to my left. And down. It's that one? How do I get back down there? Eh. Can I- mm. Could I jump off and glide my way over there? You found all the wrong ones. I'm gonna try it. Turn, you piece of shit bird! Alright. Yeah. Okay. How about this? Is this number 21? There it is! Yippee! Wah hoo 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 Yeah, if anyone has any advice on how to be better at the minigame, I wouldn't say no to that help either, because that came down to the wire. And the fourth one's definitely going to be a step up in difficulty. Just follow the path. Can do. I'm hoping we get a fast travel point up here somewhere. First try. <laughs> Not fourth out of four. Thank you. Go work, Cloud. And... 
Gentlemen. I do like that I can just walk around all these battles. I'm not mad about it. Doesn't look like the HQ squad's here yet. Uh huh. Alright. Every one of those ramps are fast travel points where I got on here? Moon's on there. Oh. What about where I landed? Ruins Elevator? I don't know. Not risking it, but... That's good to know. Thank you. This appears to be the fourth and final site. Once you've repaired the font and opened the altar, the proto-relic will be yours to claim, if my readings are correct. I've applied a final update to RoboChat, which should allow you to handle whatever so comes your way. How do you take the stairs? You can't just cut. Ooh. He said boop, 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 boop. I'm just expecting this to take more than one try, but let's see how it goes. Program should be fine. Just make sure you get them buffs. Keep them buff. The good news is actually that we have flexibility with our loadout. So if it's not working, I can try things. You can now set advanced actions, but with a plus, such as augmentation and shock. You must select from one of four additional conditions. They're extremely powerful. Be sure to program them to trigger at the best possible moment. Uh, King Flan changes the elemental affinity upon losing HP, unleashes more powerful attacks, uses one of abilities, one attack with several. Both whips and marshmallows will spawn. Also, the enemy leader can change its elemental affinity, possessing both enhancing and enfeebling skills. Assess your foes, use your traits against them. Yep. Yeah. Uh, auto program. Haste Fiedled. It's like Garfield. Conditions, self HP minus 50. So it only heals self if HP is low. Cure multi-shot. Fire shot, Lariat, HP. Bravery multi-shot. Just if there's an ally. All right. Um, no lamental field. Neutralizes robots, element of weakness, and activates barrier. Oh. Okay. These are machine learning protocols. One foe down is usually the best option. Let's reroll. But dude has not. Why don't you have any shit equipped? What are you doing? Um. Uh. Uh. There are sure are different tabs. <coughs> what do you mean? Um, is the name of an ability? Hmm. Some of RoboChat's poops sound, his boops sound like low reverb farts played through a GBA speaker. It's like the plus option. Where does that show? Um, minus 50. Why am I not seeing these options? Poops. Uh, so like for example, this shock, it's just one of them on the list. If I did this, these are the pluses. So where, what is the one you were talking about? Go up and select shock plus above. Condition two, currently targeted by two foes. So that's the condition. Okay, select haste plus. Oh, I see. So that's how you set the advanced condition. Okay, so in that case, I see. Um, go back. Let's just uh, re-roll that. Haste field up. Sub HP minus 50. That's fine. Survive 30 seconds, defeat one foe. HP minus 50, partnered by two foes. So anything that has a plus, I can change what triggers it. No lamental field. Um. So you were saying one foe down is usually the best option. So like swapping this out for shock or probably the one that's electric should do shock. So instead of thunder shot, I could set that to shock. It only has one use of it. But I could set that to defeat one foe. So after he takes down a foe, he uses it. No, keep the elemental ability. 
All right. Does this seem good? All right. Thank you. Uh, I do. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to switch to defensive loadout. Because, it, I mean, comp, well, eh, I take it back. Because Comet was really good in, I think, the second one when he spawned a bunch of dudes. And I was able to just kind of delete them. It just seems like Comet's not great about dealing damage to the boss. So, let's go. It's a good, oh god, panic button. Now, okay. Let's see how this goes. Oh, he's got another guy. Uh, hmm. Maybe I send one out over here. I hate that they just ignore my guys. Damn it. Um. Where? It seems like as much as possible you want to have a guy able to just kind of chip away a little bit. Though he is dead now. Hey! Get him. Get him. Survive 30 seconds. Great. Do things. Yeah. He's doing things. This is a bad idea. Defeat a robot. Uh-oh. Is he fine? Yeah. Good. Goo. Giga. Um, mm. Hmm. Hmm. I know he's spawned in a fire dude right there, but I really need this guy defeated. What the hell? Uh, why the hell are they so strong? Maybe I should blow them up? Plus the ability to fill one full elemental shop, airborne enemy for a missile air and cross HP mod. I'm kind of tempted to blow them up because this is absurd. They're just standing there. Shit. Be better with Bow Wow music. <laughs> bow Wow Wow. Bow Wow Wow. Um, why is it not dead? What the fuck? Shit. Yeah. Yeah, spin on him. Shit. Portal HP low. Yeah, I see that. I'm just, like, not dealing damage to these guys. Uh, like, I have a guy who's fire, who's standing right there, and he's spinning instead of doing element. Shit. Yeah, this isn't great. This isn't great. Um. Fuck. I haven't done any damage to the boss, and I'm about to die from portal damage, so... Yeah, this is not going great. What did I do wrong, besides everything? Were my rules just bad? I can just re-roll them and try again, because... I don't know. This is just... Maybe give me a bad loadout as a joke? Feels like that. It doesn't help that my robots suck. <laughs> just sitting there. Man. Yeah, that's it. We're dead. Let's just get out of here. Let's just get out. Try again. Chadley pranked me. I didn't mean to quit all the way. I just thought it would let me change the load out. Whatever. He ran out of element shots and only four shots. That could be. So he's just sitting there. That sucks. Um. All right. Auto program again. Does that change anything? Again, that's definitely different, but kind of sucks. How about this? Is this different? Or is it the same? Melt the baby shot, melt the shot. Through itself. Survive 30 seconds. Doesn't have any. These ones don't have any plus stuff. Only spawn a robot after a slime spawns. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to get one going ahead of time because if I have a guy in an empty lane then he can start chipping away at the boss a little bit so it's kind of nice to try to change icon oh um that was at, at, with R1 brings that up if 
Fire Guys having Bravery multi-shot top prio is really bad. Against an for an ally. Targets allies. Yeah. I'm just gonna. He, he really wants bravery shot multi-shot as the top slot. I mean I can just move it and keep it. Um Shock on two targeted by two foes. Against the airborne foe? So otherwise he won't attack airborne foes? Or he'll just okay, just normal guys. Just foe options. What should I drop in on top of these? If anything. I mean I could just leave it be. Probably should have a way to heal. Daylight savings turn my brain to mush. Auto program, what is all this? I mean it's like, yeah, I don't uh, I'm just gonna re-roll. If it really just wants to put bravery multi-shot here, I can just oops. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um I can move it down somewhere. I don't know if the bottom makes sense, but at least underneath the enemies, so at least it focuses on enemies before allies. Because then if it clears out enemies, then it'll try to boot with boost up allies and then itself. I don't know. We can try it. You just need to use that guy as a support. Yeah, I'm not thinking about them in terms of that. I'm thinking about them in terms of that's the element I want. Um, which also these guys both have it further down. Foe elemental shot. Foe airborne gravity missile, foe layer itself, or foe ability. For which one, Hero? For which one of these guys? T1, 2, or 3? He'll never use bravery multi shot because the boss exists. Is that how the priority works? Because it thinks that there's a foe, so it'll never. Oh. That's the sin. All of them? All of them. I mean, I'm down to try it. Um. Foe elemental shot. Oops. So elemental shot would be fire, which is here. It's just foe. Fire shot. Foe airborne. Uh, gravity or missile. Try that. Uh, foe lariat. And then self or foe plus ability, self cost down or HP up. Gotcha. Um, maybe. Yeah, that. Well, that's fine. Um, haste field augmentation. Let's do haste. Survive 30 seconds. Or defeat one foe. Feeling with both sounds good. Um, actually, because I wish I'm gonna, you can put the bus ability first. Because one of that order, that one should be at the top. The, this should be at the top. Like that. So then it's the highest priority once it kills a guy. That makes sense. Dude, if you want to for all the possibilities and make sure those are at top. Gotcha. So. What's what do you have? Do you think there's a better one between cost reduced and HP up? I feel like HP up. Oh man, but then having to wait longer. I mean, I guess there's there's multiple options here. What if I just move stuff around? Um. Okay, so we have Blizzard shot. We need to add, but this is full airborne. Um, you said gravity or missile. Move that. And then I'll move this to the top. Augmentation. If you want foe, move that to the top. Like that. Both could give one to the other unit. Gotcha, I think. Should probably get one of the bots hyper lariat instead of lariat as well. Oh. But I only get one of them good idea. Um, okay. Cost minus, um... Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. And... No mental field for defeat one foe. Uh... 
Should I hit weak to... It should be weak to element, right? Not just foe. Foe weak to element. To their element. Otherwise, then they can just do Lariat or whatever. Got it. Um, Thundershark Gravity Shot for Airborne Foe Priority? Prioritizes Airborne Foe. Oh! Probably just Foe Airborne. Just grab whoever's nearest um, Gravity Shot. Maybe. And then Foe... Got regular Lariat. And then self-modify. Just cost minus 20, I think. I don't want them to be super squishy. Boss isn't always weak. Oh. Red guy's expensive because hyper layer is a cost up. You're cost upping that for HP. He is very expensive. Good point. Does element priority fix that? Good question. Um. Cost down HP minus. Then he's very squish. I mean, I could just not have him have a thing. I could have a different thing. Instead of a plus. Hmm. Thanks for hanging, Bugaboo. Do, 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 do. Could just do this. He's never going to do that, though. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know. I don't know what to do there. Um, but I can check this. Prioritize this foe's weak with the designated actions element. Could give one cost minus 20. Yeah, I do have that on T3 now. Does this work where... Excuse me, what element... So if, for example, he's rolling up to a guy who's weak to ice, he'll blast him with ice, but then otherwise will he never use this? Because... It seems like I'd want him... I mean, the thing is, if the boss isn't weak to that element, I don't want him using that element anyway. Because that's not going to be effective. I'd rather him do a regular attack. So isn't just weak to an element fine? Or am I misunderstanding? Um. Oops. Hmm. I think I'll shoot ice at weak ice guys, but no ice guys shoot ice at whoever. Yeah, maybe. That's the problem is I'm not entirely sure. Um, how are we feeling about this loadout? So everyone has the thing they're going to do once they kill a guy. Versus weak element reads to only use ice on weak enemies. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Worth a try. Fair enough. I'll keep it on that. Uh, let's go. Come in. Doo -doo 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 -doo. At least now they're much more grouped up and cost. Oh, I chose poorly. Another I uh, another lightning. Oh, he just blew up that guy before he could do a tick of damage. Um I got Yofi's Chug most theme stuck in my head. Godspeed. Wow, guys are rolling up and just getting deleted. That sucks. Why is he not using his element? And he did Lariat. Why did that happen? What did I do wrong? Hey, buddy. Weak to element. Fi I put fire on the ice guy? Wait, isn't that good? Do I want him to do fire on? But he's Lariat. Why are you Lariat? They need the shot. No, he needs to be doing ice against the ice guy. What did I? What did I fuck up? <laughs> that shows what it's weak against. So why did? Why did my ice guys wind up with fire shot? I must have... I must have fucked something up tremendously. Okay, let's try that again. Bulls don't need to have ice on them. So I put fire on the blue guys. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging. Appreciate it. Um, but it said... When I, when I selected him, it was like weak. So why? Why? 
I mean, I could just do this. Whoop. This. So it's like it assumes it is going to be set up like this. I just did the same exact thing it was already set to. Uh. Wait. Fire shot on the red guy. That means weak. Blizzard shot means it's good against fire. Right. Did I just completely miss that? I don't if the exclamation points to the left of the health bar, they're strong against it. Right, but I had the down arrow and I dropped it, and then he just was... So... Did I send... I guess I dropped in the wrong... I don't, I don't fucking... It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna wait for a guy to drop in, which will happen right away. So he says use... Use lightning. So I'm like, yeah, send lightning after him. He says weak to an element, use thunder shot. He uses thunder shot. Okay. So I just chose the wrong guy, I guess, to drop him. I'm sending a guy over there. He murdered a man. Get him. Oop. Right? That means good? That means good. Blizzard shot. Great. Uh, let me change the four weak element because the boss is killing your units, maybe not. Can you, robot? Get him! Oh my God, it's about to die. Just, please. They're spinning on him. Yeah, they're just using Lariat. Granted, I don't know what he's currently weak to. So I don't know. We have a blizzard shot and a thunder shot on them, and both are lariating. Can I see what his element is? There does less damage than the shot. Oh, it definitely does. The question is, I yeah, do I want them to do shot even when it's not? Oh, they're out of shot. He's out of thunder shot. He's not weak to anything. Oh. Then we're just gonna die. Um, send in a robot. Send in a robot. Is this a good time to power up my guys? They're probably going to die. Fuck it. It's in the top corner like other units. Gotcha. I mean, they're chipping away at him. Uh, yeah. Maybe I should send some ice dudes. Phase shift to lightning. Okay. I'm gonna boost these robots. Except I can't boost all of them. So I'm just gonna boost... These? Well, I wanna boost... He's weak to ice, but I only have the one ice guy. So I don't... I don't know... I'm just gonna boost them. Boost the guys, they're still alive. Um, send in more ice. Oh, he's targeted by four. Shit. Nuts. I'm gonna wait for a sec. Face shift to fire. Meaning he's weak to lightning. But I have lightning lives there. Oh no. Uh. Shit. Shit. Uh-oh. Please keep attacking him. Oh, no. Uh. Great work. 
Damn it, no one's attacking him anymore. Ah, uh, what? Okay, who was attacking him? Great work. I thought I had no more robots focusing him. Shit, thank you. That probably would have taken another hour. There was just a mad eye with a missile? Oh, well, okay, great. Proto relic confirmed. Chadley? Oh. Why are you being weird? When I die, will I return to the live stream too? Given what I am? Yeah, it was the last one. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't you? Oh. Chad, you've no soul. <laughs> What's that? A gift Wedge left behind for us. It's salt. Listen, I just... Uh, I want to say thanks. You all being here, it helped. Oh, we... We didn't really do anything. Now that the ruins sure are fixed, didn't. what's next? Uh, actually, I was wondering if maybe... We could... Join up? with you guys sure wait you can't be serious think about it we haven't heard jack from hq but these guys are out there making a difference uh, i know but what do you say we'd be happy to tag along if uh and who the hell said you could people not willing to die for the cause got no place with us uh, i'm sorry i just thought that your hearts are in the right place but y'all, y'all got a different path to walk. One that's all your own. All right. Man, I can't eat another bite. Eat too many pizza. I suppose it's time for yours truly to say his piece. Here it comes, the grand finale. There's only room for hey, one more on the Bronco. Guide your words. And keep him brief while she's at it. <laughs> <clears throat> so, the five of us here all came together because we wanted to save this planet of ours. <laughs> ain't made much money, ain't made a lot of friends either. But the one thing we do have deep in our hearts is a passion, a fire that burns for the cause. It won't stop burning till Shinra goes up in smoke. Wedges out. The road ahead won't be easy. But I ain't stopping. Because even if it costs me my life, I'm uh, taking down Shinra uh, and taking back our planet. So if you got the guts, uh -oh. then come with me. He's got the guts. <sighs> I'm hungry after all. Okay. For justice. <laughs> Aye. We're good. You no, know I man. My man. Well, if everyone's feeling it, how about we keep things going with another round? <laughs> Tiva, get me another Cosmo Canyon. Sure. Make it five. <laughs> <laughs> the end. And they all were fine and no one fell out of a building. Tifa. Hmm? This isn't what they'd want for us. Now, I'm not saying we should forget about them. No way I ever could. But you and me, we gotta stop living in guilt and regret. Yeah.
Today's a new day, people. So let's not waste it. Come on, y'all. <laughs> hey, wait. Forgot this. Oh. Here. Oops. How did we forget that? Is Greg gonna say hi again? Gambit, pay it up. Hey, Greg. <laughs> At long last, the knave returns. Beneath the moonlight, in victory shall I revel. My Genji! <laughs> Chadley? <laughs> None other. After analyzing the phenomena associated with your sudden disappearance, I was able to devise a way in which to join you virtually. Virtually? Ah, no matter. Be gone, foul conjurer, or I shall make this place your grave. Oh my! This is simply fascinating! <laughs> I'm Chadley. You must tell me about yourself and about this place. You dare demand answers of me? Such impudence! I want to display of disrespect! Loves of wealth! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kill him. <laughs> uh, these cutscenes are not going in the direction I thought they would. Chadley, you okay? I believe so, yes. Tell me I didn't dream that shit. Correct. That was no dream, Cloud. You and I were there, together. Wherever there was, that is. I presume it was another dimension. Nothing's ever simple. <laughs> I sense exasperation. I, however, am emboldened to solve this mystery. I only hope that you will assist me in my quest for answers. Thanks, Shaley. Inspired by your proficient programming, Chadley has made some adjustments to his game to offer an increased challenge. Yippee. We unlocked hard mode. Yeah, I'm good, though. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about the SRC, would you? They were trying to make a deal with HQ, and I don't know what their game is, but it smelled like trouble. Well, here's hoping it's just a misplaced hunch of mine. Meow. Wait, come to think of it, I don't see Gigia. Did he? He went off on his own after we got to Cosmo Canyon. Said he had something to take care of. Hope Gigi's doing all right out there. That's so sure. It's only worth a Johnny thing and a 20 party XP. A Johnny thing, though. Had to go and assume, didn't I? What was I thinking? I want a Johnny thing. Let's go back. We did it. Bring. Does Chadley actually like Cloud's company or is he just here for scientific anomalies that follow us? I think both. And Cloud just puts up with him. <laughs> Hooray! Another proto relic in the can. Um, thanks for all the help. Font shrine. Eh. Kick him. I like the screams of fear. Yeah, I liked watching him run away. It was very satisfying. There's two treasures here. Yeah. Eh. There's one of them. But where is two of them? Where could it be? There it is. I've solved the ribble, the ribble of the roots. 
Yeah, boy. Um, cause drag to generate an interesting response from Chadwick. That it did. Uh, sweet. Thank you, fast travel here. That's good. Uh, then we are good. Um, I don't know if I fast travel here if it's gonna immediately start plot. I imagine we have to interact with a thing, and it's safe to do so. Okay, thank God. <laughs> then this is, I think, where I'll leave things for next time. Dun, da, dun, ba, da, dun. Go see Vinny. We're gonna go say hi to Vinny next time in Nibelheim. Fuck Condor hard mode. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that. Check Chadley develop material for area. What? What? Do you mean, what? Make you be sing again. Check Chadley develop material for area. Says so I gotta go bed. Are you saying I should um Chadley? Who knows, but meh. He sells stuff for region because I've gotten a bunch of progress in the region. Yeah, it was supposed to be a sad one real quick. Um, he, yeah, I know. Yeah. Are you in need of guidance? The notice board. Gotcha. Need some new material. Cloud, I've developed a new ingredient. Pardon me, I gotta talk to the child. You may now face off against Bahamut or Risen. Yeah. A winged being possessed of phenomenal powers of destruction. No, I'm, no, I'm I encourage good. you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. Yeah, maybe if I get all three of them. Um, synergy allows an ally to follow attack leader's attack command with an attack from linked materia. Poison and petrify. Perhaps. I have, a, I have 130 points. Jump, leap in the air during battle. After disappearing in the sky, drop down to deal damage. Slightly fills the ATB gauge when multiple ATB commands are performed. Yup. Hammer. That's all I can afford. <laughs> but I don't regret it. That was fun. I, I want to jump. To sing when you Let Cloud jump. Let him jump. Better than nothing. Wait, did I... I did get the bonus from that. Oh, it is tempting to drop down in order to... Get more materia slots. Or is there a different thing here? That would be an upgrade. Oh, man. Maybe Cloud don't jump. Maybe someone else jump. Maybe Red can jump. Who's in my party? Um, yeah, Everyone's got all their stuff. Let the cat jump? All right. Wait, by cat, you mean Kate Sith? Aerith jump? Who big jump? For funsies. Everyone gets the jump. Let the cat jump. Yeah, Kate. All right. Uh, there you go. He can jump. Great. It's silly. All right. Anyway. You make in your travels. Yeah, thanks. Uh, but, 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 anyway. We're going to hop on that airship next time. On that plane. Not airship. Um, but thanks again for hanging. We made it through a bunch. Got through all the Cosmo Cannon shenanigans. Cloud can yump. Now he can yump whenever you want. Let me get caught up on alerts and then send y'all on your way. Thank you so much for hanging. Uh, Tornado Owl, thanks for converting your Prime to a Theater 1 and also 69 bits and showing us game design from Ireland. Uh, Universe Fireworks, thanks for 100 bits. Women go in the education fridge. They're fine. They're learning in there. Uh, Smash for thanks for 100 bits. Oscars are happening, if anyone cares. I forgot that was today. The Boy and the Heron won animated feature over Elemental, Nimona, Robot Dreams, and Spoiderman. Only categories interesting in. Miyazaki wasn't there to accept the award. That was awkward. <laughs> it does feel when it's like, oh, we, congratulations on this person. And they're like, I didn't even bother. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, and thanks again for the 10 more bits. Uh, Y'all are lucky for only watching Barry stream. Jimmy Kimmel's making me cringe so hard my face hurts. Yeah. I didn't even know he was hosting, but uh, yeah. That checks out. Herbivore Gaming, thanks for 30 months. Hot Flax, thanks for 73. Coyote Boy, thanks for 25. Screw Me Flamingo, thanks for 32. Goat Show with 18. Lubin Doobin, thanks for 29. Strawberry Mango, thanks for 10 bits. Wedge is dead. Yeah, no, he's fine. He hit the ground and then entered a portal into the Zack universe. So he's going to be hanging on there 
paying some cats. He was too busy not making his next movie. Affectionate. Man is A3. Yeah, he's old enough. To... Even if he wasn't. It's fine. Gam, thanks for 75 months. Final Fantasy, and yet it's the seventh one. Hmm. Nerd is the word. Thanks for the tier three for four months. I hope you enjoy all the tier two and tier three emotes. And I thank you uh, for the resub. Um, Twitch did add tier two and tier three animated emote slots, and I haven't added any to them yet. I have a couple ideas for things, but most of them still focusing on tier one subs. Obviously, more people get that. But I genuinely really appreciate anyone subbing at tier two and tier three. Uh, thank you. Dave named Dave with five gifted subs. Again, that went to Afui, X and the Mighty, Cable Clip, The Pothole, and Cosmageddy. Uh, we had those raids earlier from Ink Fam and JB Henry. Thank you both. And Cake Mittens, thanks for 15. Because baby, tonight, DJ got us falling in love again. He used to kite where the truck was the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. Uh, thanks for hanging, everybody. I'm having fun with this game. I'm very excited because next time, next, next, next time, we head to Nibelheim. We return. Well, we were, I say return, but, um, what's the raid message? We're going to go say hi to Dan. Dan's doing some Elden Ring level one, no weapon upgrades, because he's a mad, mad lad, and he's currently fighting a Godskin Noble. And he has not been hit once, because I imagine if he gets hit, he'll die. <laughs> so, I mean, he's wearing good armor, I think. He's having a good time. Oh, ch chocobo, chocobo, cho I'm on chocobo. You're on chocobo? Works for me. The Dan Jones? Correct. He is a cool guy. Because I Chad. That's Dan. That's an autobiography in an emote. Uh, yeah, next time we're going to head right back because we had Nibelheim in the opening prologue flashback with Cloud and Sephiroth. And if you recall, that flashback ended with Nibelheim being burnt to the ground. So us going there to find a Shinra terminal should uh, should prove interesting. And we get to go say how to sit again. He's like over there. Like the board slam there. It's both, both good. So, uh, yeah. Maybe see you then. Regardless, thanks so much for hanging and watching. I'm having a lot of fun. I appreciate all your help. Help me get through stuff. And also, I'm just having fun playing through this game and enjoying it with you all. So, thanks. Uh, go say hi to Dan. And uh, I'll be back on, on Tuesday. Maybe see you then. Goodbye. Go, go sing Chocobo things to Dan. See you later. I'm going to keep waving. A couple seconds left. Bye! Hey, VOD watchers! I hope you uh, have enjoyed another stream VOD of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Colin, this time we went to Cosmo Canyon. Well, we didn't come. We were in here already, but we ran around. We talked to Bugen Haugen. And uh, he's a fun guy. And so are you. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go. Okay, bye.